All right, guys, today we're going to check out a new adventure slash horror game called Burnhouse Lane. I'm going to be playing as a nurse attempting to complete five impossible tasks in order to win my life back. There will be puzzles, we'll make friends and enemies. This is a long game that consists of seven chapters, which are about an hour and a half long uh, from what I can tell so far on YouTube. So let's get to it. Uh, that's probably important, right? Think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences that cannot be undone. Hi, Angie. It's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up. And it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest. Right in the middle of bloody nowhere. But... It's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy. You know the drill. His regular carer's off sick, and he needs someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know... Kids and... I'm stuck in the office, as always. But you'll love it there, I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. Okay, <clears throat> so sounds like my name is Angie, right? And I'm a sort of like a nurse. I had a job offering just a minute ago, but I something came up and I uh, just can't do it. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, now, the last thing I want is the coffee table breaking under my weight before I'm even ready. Let's take a look at the picture. Me and James on our wedding day. Why do I still have it? I shouldn't throw this away ages ago. Okay, so, I'm assuming that is a, um, her ex-husband, maybe? Or a boyfriend? If <laughs> you throw the picture. Okay, she didn't mean to do that. The glass is everywhere. Okay, so we made a mess. Let's go ahead and smoke our... Uh, smoke our... <laughs> smoke our game. Let's go save our game by smoking in the ashtray. Okay, so the game is saved. Um, okay, so there is something on top here that looks like I'm not able to do anything yet. Okay, this is it, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Press Y to open the inventory. Is she gonna hang herself, isn't she? Because I know this game is about like a different world. A rope, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I guess this is the only choice we have, so let's do this. Put nose. Ah, put news around your neck, calm down, okay. Oh my goodness. Painful to watch. These last two months have been the best months of my life. Will you marry me? A nurse falling in love with a patient? God, no. Marrying a dying man. I never understood why she did it. Japan? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to go. It, it's only like the best place on earth. I'm afraid the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. April. That's perfect. We're gonna see the cherry blossoms. James really shouldn't be traveling in his current condition. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. It's all right. We'll go once I'm done with this <sighs> fucking keeper. Angie. I'm sorry. He was... James was a great guy. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm 
sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> That's a nasty cop, Angie. Should go have that looked at. You okay? You look a bit pale. Everyone felt sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Weber. Worst, I'm afraid. It's lung cancer. Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Maybe if we found it sooner. But at this point, it's so far gone, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weber. We cannot cure your cancer. You have about six months left to get it. So I was definitely ruined by the picture. I did not see that coming. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay. I mean, what's not to like? But it's all right. I've got my best nurse on the job now. It's all good. I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It'll be good for you to go out there and, uh... Tracy, this is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then... I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. Well, okay. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? I'll let you know when I get back home. Bye. All right, chapter one out of seven. Don't let the cats in. And from what I've read, this game used to call Cat Lady 2, maybe? Uh, but then they changed the name to, you know, Burr House, um, what was it, in? Alright, so we arrived. Um, I don't have anything in my inventory, but I know I learned how to run, so that's good. I'm not sure what the other buttons mean. A fancy white car, it probably belongs to the farmer's daughter. I'm supposed to be meeting her here, okay? It's a sheep pen. It's better keep the gate shut. The gate shut, who knows what this ship can do? Yeah, sheep. I should probably say hello to the owners first. Okay, so I can't go in there yet. Where's the owner? You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. 
He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Sounds like whatever I pick here is going to be the same outcome. Yes. It's a beautiful place indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. After you. Meet Angie, Dad. She's gonna look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it. Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five half past tops. Ugh, oh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta ta. That was my freak. Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I'll leave you a list of his favorite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days, he still manages to dress on his own. And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break a zip or something. Dad likes to be called George. You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> Hello? I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please, keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Um, I'm assuming there's like a checkpoints in this game. Game save, fantastic. Okay, so we saved the game. Uh, let's see what's in this dresser. Uh, wardrobe. If I ever need to hide a dead body, there will be a room for at least two of this. Okay, good to know. If I find something pretty i can put it on this shelf it's a flashlight all right so it looks like i got an item in my inventory i think right that's a flashlight use switch okay fantastic on and off i don't know if i can just do it now or not yeah i don't see a way to use it I can still see the... let's save the battery for later. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what was that door? So I can go downstairs here if I need to. I'm assuming that that's him. 
Oh, okay, there's looks like there are lots of rooms here. Okay, so that one is locked. Before I go downstairs, let's I want to make sure I got everything here. Yeah, no, I just missed something. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a. Ah, I see. I bet that's the room I just came from, mate. Maybe not. No, that was the lock room. Looks like a hamster cage. I can't tell from down here if that's a ha hamster inside of. Where, where is she? What? Oh, up top, the hamster cage. Okay. Got it. A hole in the wall. I can see the other room through it. Yeah, that, might be, that must be his bedroom, right? George's bed. Nothing fancy, of course. An old guy like George doesn't care much about comforts of the modern world. Just another house plant. Old suitcase. Covered in dust. I wouldn't feel right to look inside. Alright, it's probably his personal things. Okay, so nothing special right now as of yet. We we'll probably still need to <clears throat> use that suitcase and plan for something, or else what? Why are we interacting with them, right? Oh, that's all the computer she was talking about. Pressing the on button doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so maybe at one point we'll have to fix it. I'm not exactly sure. This is not a small house. We're still just upstairs. The bathroom sink. Clearly, this is George's space. There are shaving utensils on the side of bits and bits of hair everywhere. A little messy old guy, huh? Alright, so that's it for now. So I guess that we only have can go downstairs. I forgot I can run. This is where I came from, right? This is it. Wanna make sure I got everything here. I believe so, okay. Alright, so is that outside? No, it's a little small bathroom here. Examine. Looks pretty clean, I guess George, is, George uses the other bathroom upstairs, yeah? He sure does. Uh, you stole it. Let's flush it first. Okay, so let's go ahead and use it. Well, it's a good thing I had to go, right? So now let's go and flush this. I don't know, let's close, let's keep the loop closed. Alright, nothing special about this bathroom, I can use it, I can use the sink, but for some reason I didn't wash my hands. Listen to the basement, okay? Ooh, there's a picture. Family picture, this little boy, could it be George and the girl, his older sister perhaps? Maybe. Should we go check out the basement? Uh, let's do this. Okay, so there's a, I'm assuming that's a water heater. A red blinking eye of the boiler. Okay, so that's a boiler. It's a fuse box. Uh, it's locked, I need some tool to open it. Okay, what is this? New objective added. There's a strange sound coming from the other side, it sure is. It's locked. Okay, so I got some kind of objective. I wonder how do I get to my objectives. Mm, interesting. Alright, so I couldn't figure out where to find my objectives. I don't know where that is. Um, so maybe this fuse will actually let me open this door if I fix this fuse box somehow. Open it up. 
Uh, we'll just have to look around and see what we can find. Uh, red blinking eye, so that means it's not working. There's a random door here. Alright, so that's the basement. Um, yeah, let's go in here now. I don't know much about plants, but it's a nice plant, I guess. Empty wine bottles. They use this as a candle holders. holders. Oh. Okay, this actually opens. Um, well, let's take a look at this door first. There's nothing else here, right? Oh, okay, so that's... This is the exit. Okay, so I've been here before. So hang on. We'll come back here in a minute. Oh, this is like a backyard. Okay, very cool, very cool. I'm assuming I need some kind of tool to open that fuse box. Um, maybe look at there's a sh oh, what is this? Oh my goodness, this looks like a dug up tiny grave. There's a slightly decomposed hamster inside it. Oh, the hamster died and they buried it. My goodness. Okay. So that's what happened to the hamster. The cage was empty. Okay, this is locked. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a shed, maybe not. But we're gonna have to come back. So this is only our only way to go is this way now. It's an old R C R T TV. You can't buy this nowadays. That's yeah, pretty old school. It's an urn. If I had to guess, I'd say it's holding ashes of George's late wife. It's probably better not to touch it. Uh, look at it. George seems completely focused on the TV. I guess let's make a small talk. Georgie. Anything good on the telly? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one of those um, American films. Ah, right. Okay, uh, I guess we keep talking to him, right? You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, you just had one, thank you. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no, thank you. I'm quite warm. Wanna go for a walk? Oh, well, that's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. I think I'll give it a miss, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Okay, so last one says, uh, it's all bloody awful, isn't it? What? Should I even say that? This is all bloody awful, isn't it? What do you mean, dear? I don't even know. Don't listen to me, George. I'm okay. just having a bad day. Okay, well, he seems to be a pretty nice guy. Uh, there's one thing left to say, I think. Let me know if you need anything, yeah? Uh, right, old dear. <laughs> Will do. Okay, so he doesn't really want anything besides maybe a sandwich, but his daughter told me not to give him sandwiches every day so he can probably have one it's okay um oh so i have oh okay i can go here okay so here's the kitchen okay take can of tuna take fancy tea box tea box close the cupboard okay there's some kind of recipe book right she left me maybe 
That's gotta be it, right? I'll take it with me. What? Guidebook. Okay. Oh, here's the objective maybe, right? Investigate. Okay, now I got that book. Now I can see the objectives. Fantastic. So we do actually need to make a sandwich for him. Uh, water the plants and investigate the door in the basement. So, how the hell do I make a sandwich? Pick up a note. Examine. Cooking isn't my strong suit, but old George doesn't really strike me as a fussy type. Pick up note. New item added. What is that? A handwritten note from Sarah. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he left in the basement last week, please tell him I've put his toolbox in the workshop outside at the front yard. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, maybe that's our next step. Um, check calendar. September 3rd. Prepare a meal. Oh boy. Okay. Five ingredients. Bread. Uh, what does he want? I mean, what kind of sandwich? Is there like a... Like I said, there's gotta be a cookbook somewhere. But I can't exit the screen out. Alright, so let's do a mayonnaise on it. Um, we have tuna in there, right? So let's make him a tuna sandwich. Sure. Tuna. Let's put a... Lettuce. Let's do tomato. And let's do another bread. Maybe. Okay. You made a strange sandwich. You know what? This is how I eat my sandwiches. Probably add pickle, but there's only you only give me five ingredients. Let's go ahead and take this. Okay, I'm afraid he's just not gonna like it. Um, do I have that sandwich, right? It's still in here. Okay, I do have that sandwich. It's a bit of a mess, but who knows? Maybe George will like it. Okay, so let's give it a shot. He's probably gonna be upset at me. He's eating it, but he doesn't seem to be enjoying it much. Okay, well, I completed it. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me know. Okay, so at least I completed that. So I need to do that no longer. Um, I need to water the plant somehow. I know where to get the water from. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so we got a new item. Let's go to the plant. I don't know if it has water in it or not. Yeah, it doesn't have any water, so I'm gonna have to get water elsewhere. Oh, the sink, right? Like the sink? Elsewhere. Where's the sink? Ah, oh, there was one upstairs. There's another one here. Slightly rusty kitchen sink. Okay, so we got that. So now I have a watering can with a bunch of water in it. How do I water it? Same way, right? Fantastic. So I have to do this every time, which is no big deal. Alright, there are plants elsewhere. How much water I got? 40%, I'm not gonna have enough. Might as well go back and get some more from the sink. Although I think the bathroom um, has sinks as well, that works. All right, plants. Uh, let's go left first. Alright, we just got one more. Plant, 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 plant. 
the hell are the plants? Yeah, so this works too. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're not gonna get the water from the toilet. I just need to find another freaking plant. I already watered this one. No, there's no freaking plants here. Yeah, this requires key, uh, wherever. I mean, what do I... How do I fix this? There's nothing to water here, of course. Okay, let's find this last plant. I'm assuming I have to go all the way up. There may be one in my room. Right? Yeah, that's where I came from. Was locked. The hell is a plant? All right, so that plant was in George's room. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. The power is out. Probably just a fuse. Right. So I cannot go to the fuse box. Um, new objective added. Fix a fuse, investigate the door in the basement. So let's go back to the basement really quick and, um... You know... I need to go downstairs. Oh, hi, George. Time for bad. Night, night, my dear. Good night, George. It's pitch black down there. There's no way I'm going without some light. Okay, so I do have flashlight. There we go. Okay, does it have batteries? I don't know. It doesn't really tell me. Oops. Yeah, so I need to just go and find some kind of tool somewhere, some kind of shed uh, up front. So I need to go back um, to the beginning. Okay, so I see it's somewhat kind of light outside, so. Let's go ahead and just turn this flash light off. I don't know if there's a battery or not, but I just turned it off because I can see. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a rat. What is going on with this? That is freaking crazy. Gross, some sick bastard cut open this rat, but why? That is really freaking weird. Oh, pull out the screwdriver. Oh. It's really stuck in there. Whoever did this must have been very strong. What? I can't even do that? My goodness. Okay. So we have a screwdriver that I really need, but I can't pull it out because I'm not freaking strong enough. Whatever. Spider webs everywhere. I hate the damn things. A metal box. I'm sure I could find something useful in there. Okay. Take pincers, box cutter, toolbox. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna need both of them. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So we got the screwdriver. <clears throat> um. I'm sure that's not gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so now hopefully we can... Now, do we need to put anything back? 
No, you can't even do that. There's no option. So I stole I stole tools from the handyman. It better to keep the gate shut, yeah. There's a ship. There's my ride. I can't leave. So let's <laughs> let's run back. Fortunately, I could run, so that's really good. If I was walking that slow the whole time like this, that would just that would just be very bad for me. Okay, so I guess we are going down stairs. I think. Or upstairs and downstairs. Something like that. No, this ain't it. Okay, so that worked. Let's see what's inside. Examine. Ah, cool, it's a fuse box. Okay, so flip the switch. Fantastic. That is fixed. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh. Hello again, little one. It's alright, you don't have to be afraid of me. It's alright. You don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite. Not running away this time. Good. You know I wouldn't hurt you, my little furry friend. I love cats. In fact, if I wasn't fucking dying of cancer, I'd probably get a dozen cats to live with me. People would call me a crazy cat lady. But I just wouldn't give a shit. I'm very curious about that key on your neck. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? Kitty? Don't leave me alone down here. Okay, <clears throat> so something is... She... That cat has the key to this door, I'm assuming. Where did the cat go? That's the question. And... Okay, so let's follow it. Okay. I got an idea. I do have an idea. Um, and I'm hoping I'm right. Okay, remember to take can of tuna. And you know what? Might as well take all of this, right? Just to have it on us. Kitty, where are you? What if she went in this door? <clears throat> There's a hole in there. There you are. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? Yeah, she's right by the hamster. Pick what up? What did I? Oh, I got the cage. Uh, place cage on the table, sure. <clears throat> okay, hang a second. Tuna. Let's give it to the kitty. Cat doesn't seem interested. It's not hungry, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Never mind that idea. So what do I do with this cage? Oh, there's another one. Look inside the cage. There's a dead hamster inside. Judging by the pink color, I can only assume it was a girl. Mm, pick up the dead hamster. Let's go bury him. I don't want to... Pick up a dead hamster in my pocket if I can avoid it. Okay, so I need something um, to pick up the hamster with. And, oh, there's a box here. A tea box. That's right, I just picked that up. Okay, now I got the hamster. Okay, so... Where are you off to now?
Okay, for now she wants me to uh, bury the hamster uh, with um, its boyfriend or whatever. So let's go back down. And is it all the way this way, right? Rest in peace, old guys. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. I wish I was this lucky. I'll probably just have worms with me in the coffin, munching on my carcass. And spiders. Horrible fucking spiders. God damn it. I'm really not ready for any of this. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to die. But you're just a cat. You don't know anything about these things. I'm telling you because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Let's be nice. I'm telling you this because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's take the cat's key. Let's pet the cat first. If we can. Thank you, darling. Okay, so we have the key now. Um, I'm assuming it's not to here. Yeah, that's not it. So I'm assuming that's the door in the basement. So the door is unlocked. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm ready for this or not, but I feel like I should save my game first. So dark. So, aha. Uh -huh. What? How do I go back? What's well, weird? Oh, maybe it's just this door. Yeah, that's probably just that door. Well, this is freaking crazy. I can hear wind blowing gently on the other side. Is there so oh my god, there's somebody there. Footsteps behind the door. What in the world? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the first one. The one we just opened. What is this door then? Is that not is that the door not back? There's someone someone moving in there. Oh my god, what in the world is that? Or something. Either way, I don't really want to know. Okay, she does she doesn't want to go inside. I know I blame her, but what is my god? That's impossible. Am I going crazy? I think I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, another- oh, that's a scary freaking monster, for sure. Yeah, this looks a little better, but... This can be real. It's just a torch, so... Can I go inside there? A hospital bed. Is this where I'll be spending my final weeks? Uh, an ancient corpse of a woman is bound by dry roots. There's something in the middle, right? There's a metal rod sticking out of the, the 
diamond and a piece of paper. Could, what could it be? Let's take that. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what you just picked up. Here lies a pa path to Burn House Lane. One with the blue sky and above you whisper. I'm on only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Interesting. Is this? No, I don't want to look any closer. Say, I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Mm, wait a minute. Okay, I can't go back, so let's do this. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. One of the boards is loose. Could there be something hidden underneath this bullet? A gap is too narrow to pry with my fingers. Okay, so we got something for it, right? Hopefully. Yes. Take a scrap of paper, plug in electric cable. Let's take the paper first. <clears throat> As the reptile's gaze falls falls up on you, as her just is the justice the end or just is the end plug in electric cable oh boy. so we plug that in so let's open this door again if we can okay Okay, what what did that just happen? See, I can say those phrases, but anywhere. Let's go back to where you, that picture just ended. Oh, that picture was pulled, and I don't know where exactly it was. Oh, this is it. A hidden comp. Apartment, that was kind of obvious, I should have known. So then we got now three pieces of paper. With these words, pray to the gods at the altar of sun, give myself to you. So why are these doors open closed now? Can I say something here too? I guess we can. Is this the end? Yeah, what the hell did that do? Okay. Mm. So let's take a look at see what we yeah, let's take a look at this again. As the reptile's gaze falls up on you, hang on. That's a reptile. Wait a sec, which, which number was it? Number two, right, I think? Is this the end? Oh, the crap. That was number two, right? Yeah, is this the end? The reptile, the picture right above, that's a reptile. So anything crazy happened? I should know about. There's a torch. Flowers. Sun. Is there something with sun? Okay, number three, right? Sun. I 
I give myself to you. Maybe it has to be more here, maybe? I don't think that worked. Okay, so let's keep looking above. Maybe this has to be in order. Oh, this is where we're beginning, okay. So, um... So the first one... So we got the reptile, we got the sun. What's the first one? Uh, with a blue sky above you, whispering. Afraid of dying. Blue sky, then maybe that's what we're looking for. Blue freaking sky. Blue sky. Right here. Okay. So this is one. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So then the reptile. Which is number two. Is this the end? Aha. Uh -huh. And then let's go back to the sun. Give myself to you. Fantastic. Okay, we got it. So. There's no way someone built this under the farmhouse. What the hell is this? Is this hell? God, that is not good. I'm um, still alive. Okay, so we're still alive. What the fuck, right? Indeed. Um, I wish I can run right now, but that's okay. There's a ladder. I will go straight. Yeah, that's it. That's a dead end. Birdhouse Lane. Yeah, there's no way to go inside this door. 72, eh? Like, where the hell am I? There's a window that's, um, ah. Okay, so looks like we can go in here. 71. Oh, this one's locked. This one's locked, too. Stinks so bad. Great, everything is locked. So, what the heck? Oh, there's a park. Thousands of wire and chains around it. It is definitely locked. Cherry Blossom! Japan! Oh, okay. This one stays open. It's one of those greasy Indian takeaway restaurants. Okay, so let's check this out. Is there an asteroid here? I would love to save my game. Yeah, there is. Hello? Yes, yes. Hello. I know you're in a hurry, but please. I'm almost done here. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this last portion. You, a smoker? Fancy a smoke while you wait. Go ahead. That ashtray is there for a reason. You want me to smoke in a restaurant? I really wouldn't go as far as calling it a restaurant, darling. <laughs> Actually, you know what? A cigarette sounds great. I will have one, if that's all right. Okay, <clears throat> saving my game, which is good. Hopefully I didn't need to do anything, um, uh, what in the world? I 
Okay, so let's talk. Job's done. Now, how may I help you? Is there someone in your basement? Yes, well spotted. It's Ruby, my girlfriend. She's always there. Um, she's making some strange noises, right? She's, um, making some strange noises. She just gets a bit agitated when she's hungry, that's all. But now that she's fed, it should stop soon. Well, for a couple of hours anyway. She has quite an appetite for a girl. I know. We're already on a third roll of meat today. Where does it all go? So she just sits down there eating kebabs all day. Yes, she does enjoy my donna kebab quite a bit. All my girls do. We have a strict feeding routine here that brings real results. That's what they sign up for, and that's what they get. No fooling around with bread or salad. Just the good old meat. Are those chains? Is she chained to the wall? Of course she is. Safety first. That's my motto. You can't do that. No, see, you don't understand. It's all mutually agreed. It's all good. She actually signed a form letting me do that. Wanna see? Um, maybe later? I know, it looks a bit odd, but I've been doing this for a while, and trust me, the chains are necessary. Especially since the Destiny incident. Oh, Destiny. I'll never forgive myself for that. Well, uh, as long as she's okay down there. She's more than okay. That basement is probably the safest place on Burnhouse Lane, if you ask me. That's why I don't go out so much anymore. But what do I know? Don't mind me. I'm just a guy who makes kebabs. <laughs> Burnhouse Lane. How did I end up here? Judging by the smell, you crawled out of the sewer. No offense. But I was in a house in the countryside. No cities around for miles. Just hills and fields. And then... Listen, I don't want to be rude, but that's just none of my business. Occasionally people like you stop by this place. They always ask questions, try to understand. They say, where are we? Where's everyone else? Why me? But I don't have any answers. And I'm not even interested in finding them. I'm just a kebab guy from Burnhouse Lane, and for five ninety-nine, I'll make you a nice donut kebab. Do you want one? I'll eat when I get home. What's your name? Darling, I'm just an ordinary kebab guy. You really want the bother of remembering my name? Yes. Well, you can call me Omar. But I bet you won't even remember that tomorrow. Shit, you won't even remember that in 20 minutes. And what if I do? Then you get one large doner kebab on the house. <laughs> but really, I just don't care. You mentioned someone called Destiny. Who's that? Destiny. She was... She was the love of my life. Live down in the basement, same as Ruby now, but Destiny... Oh, Destiny made my heart beat like a drum. You know, boom, tada boom, tada boom. So special, so beautiful, so big. She was able to eat twice the meat other girls could, but then one day... Let me guess. She ate too much and exploded. No, no. She 
She got so big and strong. One day she just smashed the hatch, climbed the fuck out, and went for me like a raging bull. I believe her intention was to consume me, like a delicious morsel. So anyway, she surely would have torn me to pieces if I hadn't crawled in the freezer to hide from her. Then she left, and I've not seen her again. It's kind of your own fault. It's all these kebabs. I'm not surprised she'd lost her mind. You don't understand. She loved it. She begged me to feed her. But by the end, I wasn't able to satisfy her cravings for meat anymore. It was never enough, and she was always hungry. What do you think will happen to her now? She roams the park nearby. I hear screaming sometimes, late at night. That's her, feeding on some unlucky passers-by. My poor darling Destiny. There's not much of humanity left in her, if any at all. So there are other people, like me, who found this place? I see them sometimes, not very often. It's funny, but you all smell the same. No offense. What do you mean? Smell of what? Sickness. Well, I'm not staying here. How do I get back? You sure you want to go? I could put you up with Ruby. She won't mind. That's very kind of you, but there's someone at home who I'm supposed to be watching right now, and he might get in trouble if I'm not back before dawn. I see. Well, I won't stop you then. But hey, I just remembered something that might help you. Last week, I heard cats making noise over at the old clock museum. And? Cats know things we don't. They're the only ones who can slip in and out of Burnhouse Lane whenever they want. Okay, I'll try the clock museum. How do I get there? <laughs> That's the problem, you see. You just can't get there anymore. Why not? Remember when I told you about Destiny? How she roams the park? Well, that's where the clock museum is. Right there on her feeding grounds. What if I decided to go to the park? I went past it earlier. I'm pretty sure the gate was locked. That gate's always locked, but there's a way in through the public toilets. They're right next to the park. You can take the toilet's key. There. Just bring it back later. I'll need it for the customers. And if you see Destiny, just run. She's strong, she's aggressive, but she's also clumsy. You can dodge her if you're swift enough, but if she grabs you... I won't let her grab me. Good. I'd be sad to see your pretty face turned into Lachmajun. <laughs> Uh, I'm not scared of a fat chick, that's funny. I'll be in the park if anyone's looking for me. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's try I'll that. I'll be in the park if anyone's looking for me. Okay, so we got the key. Um, should we go ahead and just, yeah, save this just in case. I don't have to... Somehow I die, Destiny gets me. I don't have to go all through all this again. Okay. So we got Ruby down there. We got Destiny. Um... Get out of here. Okay, uh, we passed that park already, right? So we kind of know what to go. Let's take a look at our objective. objectives. Mm, find and investigate the clock museum. Okay, so I know we're going the wrong way, but I just want to see what's up here. Yeah, this is locked. But what is this? The road ahead is blocked, so this is dead end. So now I know for sure there's nothing there. Yeah, I think everything's gonna be probably locked. Okay, so we have the key, right, to this. Ah, uh, wait, that's the key for public toilets, right? So we can get the through there. <clears throat> well, 
let's go ahead and just unlock both of them for now. Okay, so let's go to ladies first. There's something in the mirror, but I can't see through the thick layer of filth that covers it. Um, I don't think I have anything I can really use for that. Yeah. Ah, oh, wipe filth. Okay, never mind. Hang on. It's been here too long. I can't. I can keep wiping it with my hands, but it's just not coming off. Well, I just don't know what to do. So I don't have some. I don't have a rag to wipe this with. Search. It looks filthy. I don't want to do this with my bare hands. I need some kind of freaking gloves. That's what I need to get. It's gloves. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the men's toilet. Yuck. Ashtray, okay. Okay, examine an old letter. It's an old letter from someone called Mary. She seems disappeared with her husband as she had not kept his promise to take her somewhere. A vacation, maybe? I don't think it's anything to do with me, though. Hmm, vacation. The heck? Is that destiny in there? It's like from the inside. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, so we got in the park. We still don't know how to wipe any of that stuff. Um, you know, I should probably save my game and then just come back. Alright, so I went back and saved my game real quick. You guys didn't have to see that. Uh, but... Do I need a flashlight, I wonder? Destiny! This is not a small place. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, clock museum. Okay. So, nobody got us, which is good. Hello? Yeah, nobody's there. Uh, to buy tickets. You know, the ashtray. I guess might as well since I'm here. Right under the no smoking sign? Well. It's not like anyone cares. Look, there's gonna be another puzzle. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Oh my god, I can't I can't do anything with this. It won't let me. That's crazy. Aha! We got the gloves. Who are you? Can you let me out? Charles locked me in here. He was going to get help, but he didn't make it. She got him. She fucking ate him like an animal. I saw it all through this hole. God fucking damn it. Um, yeah, who are you? Who are you? I'm. What does it matter? anymore who killed your friend she did this we we were in the park it was pitch black and then we heard those loud footsteps and the gurgling so we ran here charles was going to get help but he never made it out after that i've just sat here waiting for someone to save me where's the key charles had it I'm pretty sure he hid it in his chest pocket. In that case, 
Assuming Charles is the guy in the back room with his guts out, the key must be in his murderous stomach. Along with Charles's liver and kidneys. No. Shit, no. You must get it back. I don't... I can't be here anymore. But what can I do? You want me to wait for her to shit it out? Although, on my way here, I did hear some strange noises coming from the toilet stall. What if that was her? I don't know. Just do something. Anything. Just kill her and rip the key out of her fucking stomach. I don't care. Okay. I'll find a way. I'll be back soon. You hang in there. I can't believe it. She hit... Okay. <clears throat> so I gotta get the key maybe from that stall where she was... Pooping it out, in a nice way to say. Yeah, he had the key, so she ate him. And she now has the key. In her freaking belly. So I do have rubbed gloves. So let's go back to the bathroom. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh my goodness. There she comes! Okay, press RB one round to dash. RB. 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 Got it. Okay. Clumsy she is! I got her! Aha! It also says some walls can be broken um, by dashing like that. I'll have to kill Destiny if that's the only way to get that key. But how the hell do I kill her? Examine. There's a massive shit in the toilet. Clearly it's Destiny's. No ordinary human could ever produce something as disgusting as this. Uh, so here's the toilet. Yeah. Look at the scrambles. Okay, I feel like I need to like write it down or something. Um. Okay, so take cleaning spray. What? Okay, I gotta be cling. Oh yeah, cleaning spray. Okay, let's put rubber gloves. Yeah, and search the toilet with that. Okay, I got some kind of valve. Fantastic. Well, yeah, I should already search through it. Um, okay, so nothing else. We can just close it for now. I uh, already looked at that. Yuck. Yuck. Alright, so we got the cleaning spray, so let's go to the other bathroom. So let's see, let's go ahead and spray this. Um, Okay. Burn house lane 72A. This time I will fucking do it. Come watch me. Damn, 72A. I think there was like a house number 72 either. We've seen that. I believe. Um so there's the toilet. Put the gloves on. The hell? Is there nothing in there? Really? I don't need to use it right now, okay. Let's go ahead and close this then. I think that now well, there's another one here. Okay, what is that? Oh, pistol ammo? Really? I'm gonna have a freaking gun here? Well, that's cool. 
I'll be shooting some people. Uh, so can we, we can close this, right? Hmm. Okay, we got a cat, a clock, clock cat. Alright, so we have a valve. How did I... Uh, yeah. What a lovely little trinket. I guess it would look nice on the shelf in my room. Yeah, it would be. So what the hell do I do now? I gotta get a gun somehow. I have the bullets. Do we try to go back to that... Um, Let's try it. All right, so I think I remember how to dodge. Yeah, Destiny. Wait, was that was that um picture? Oh, never mind. <laughs> She's definitely coming though. I don't know if I need to go back here uh, or not because I don't have the key yet. I don't think I need to go back here yet. So we just need to go back. Alright, so next stop is a, um, I think 72A. That's where we need to go. I'm assuming this is all still locked. Uh, let's try this. That's not gonna work. What? Okay. Whatever. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Who the F is right? This is definitely like we don't have a key for that. Yeah. Alright, 71 is locked as well. So we need to aid, this is it. It's locked, but wait, there's an intercom. Maybe it still works. Yeah, so boom. I, I see I wrote it down. This is it. Enter. I forgot what he said, what room number it was in that note. Uh, locked, of course it is. How do I get in now? Did he said two or something? I don't even remember. So actually, there was no room number. Um, it was just, you know, 72A and that's it. five okay we got a kitchen uh, look down jump down the hole let's just look down okay let's jump down the hole good lots of prescription drugs everywhere I don't recognize any of the names on the label TV I heard once that if you stare at white noise long enough, you will eventually start seeing things. Holy crap. Wait, it's not that guy from the Easy restaurant, is it? 
Omar. I'll never know who he was or why he chose to end his life this way, but I hope he's found peace, whatever it is. Oh, that's Dan. That must be Dan, right? His name is Dan, according to the mirror. This guy is firmly stuck in his dead grasp. If I want to get it out, I'll need to break this stiff fingers first. My god, okay. Crazy! Okay, so we got a gun. We need to kill Destiny. And take the key from her. Okay, so there is a light. I don't find a key. If I don't find a key for this padlock, I guess I'll have to break it somehow. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, how do we break this? Um, see some items that just disappear after you use them? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Can't break this padlock with a screwdriver. A hammer, maybe? I don't have that either. Okay, so maybe we'll be looking for a hammer. Locked, of course. What the hell do we do now? Oh, this is great. Did we just shoot it? Ah, uh, okay. Easy enough. Let's try to shoot that lock. Maybe that'll work. Ooh! Eight bullets left. All right, Destiny, here I come. Now, that's not what I meant to do. Since I'm upstairs, I might as well check this door again. What is this? Like some kind of... We're just a hole in the wall. Yeah, this one's on lag, but I don't need to go there. I'm gonna shoot that thing dead. Okay. Mm. So we got the gun, we got the bullets. Uh, we have a monster that's chasing, ch uh, you know, chasing us. We're just like, do I need to kill her though? Maybe I need to like spare her for some reason. Save the game now. Okay. Pistol ready. Destiny. Okay, Destiny is down. Uh, they didn't give me like an option to choose, it was like, should I kill her or not? But I, so I guess this has to happen. Holy shit! You did it, smoking girl. Smoking girl, there's a key in her stomach that I need to recover. There's a key in her stomach that I need to recover. Yes, the key. I'll get it out for you. How? See this knife? But wasn't the destiny the love of your life? But wasn't destiny the love of your life? And now you just want to gut her like a pig? I'm totally over her. Didn't you say that she broke your heart when she left? Time heals all wounds. Except those gunshot wounds you put in her, obviously. Those aren't going to heal. Oh, shut up. Just get that key, will you? Is this the key you were after? 
Why? Did you find more than one key in there? No, but I found a golden watch and I'm keeping it for myself. I don't care. Just give me the key. I'll see you again, smoking girl. Okay, it's Omar. Bye, Omar. <laughs> you did remember it. I promised I'd give you something if you do, so here, something to remember me by. Okay, what did he just give me? Um, so I got the key. And, oh, he gave me the dinner, right. Not sure what to do with it. It smells pretty good, but I'm not a big fan of this myself. So I'll just cancel it for now. What if this lady is bad? What if this is a monster? Uh, there's nobody there. future propane no gas supply oh yeah this it is gas to no gas examine the main gas supply box okay so let's just kind of take a look first I will I won't dare to look at her face what else is there pull red handle push red button pull green handle if I know what I need to do with this burn it push in Oh, budge. Okay. Uh, pull red handle. Oh, push red button. Okay. Pull green handle. Let's go ahead and push the body in. What? Uh, push red button. Nope. A red handle. Okay. From the gas on. Ah, oh, the valve is missing. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Okay. Where's the red button? What? What did I miss? Got the gas on. Close it, right? There we go. Woo! Was I supposed to do this? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I had to, right? Okay, so we burned the body. Oh boy. It's really smoking here now. Can we uh, turn, this, turn this off or what? That's not good. Did we die? talking to Angie Weather? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, you came to us last week to run some tests. The results are in, and... Are they okay? Dr. Matthews asked if you could come in. He'll explain everything. Wait, is something wrong? Am I ill? We don't give out this kind of information over the phone, I'm afraid. Let's arrange a visit, shall we? Can you make it this afternoon? Sorry, can you repeat? I can't hear you very well. I said... I want to help you. Draw that 
knocks on the door and come to me. What? I want to take a closer look. Who is it? Wait a second. So is this like a memory? Did this already happen? Oh, wait a second. I'm glad I did that. Uh, glowing chalk. Okay. Strange. Dark energy. Piece of chalk. Okay. I guess we'll get out of here now. What the hell? It wasn't like before. Great. The voice told me to draw an X on the door. Okay. We got an X. Now what? Yes. I think you might actually have a chance. I have a good feeling about you. It's your voice I heard on the phone, isn't it? Who are you? As you can see, I'm a cat. I used to have a lovely warm home, but one day, Andrea got sick. She came to Burnhouse Lane. I followed her, and I stayed. Where else can I go? Who's Andrea? She was my friend, of course. A long time ago. We both died in that fire, but I simply refuse to accept it. Why am I here? This is where the sick come to die. Where else would you be? Are you sick too? No. I shouldn't really be here. But cats never obey the rules. Instead, sometimes I try to help poor souls like you. Because I know how to cure your cancer. This rotten sickness slowly killing you from the inside. I can give you a fresh start. If you're willing to work for it, of course. There's no cure. There's nothing they can do. But there is something you can do, Angie. The cure's inside you. You just need to reach in and find it. But it will not be given easily. You must prove something to me first. Prove it to yourself. I'll do it. Just tell me how. I'll give you five tasks. Complete them all, and you will live. First task is to bring an evil man here to Burnhouse Lane. You're going to meet him very soon. Don't let him lull you into a false sense of security. But make him follow you here instead. He won't come willingly, of course. So use the chalk you found to draw an X on the door. It'll take him straight to Burnhouse Lane if he walks through it. Here he will pay for his evil deeds. Go back now. A new day is coming. But... We'll meet again soon. But now, take the door. Go back. I believe old George will need your help. Flashlight any longer. Okay, so let's go back to George. 
And I'm assuming that might be end chapter one, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, back here. Yep. All right, guys, chapter two, little lamb, it's the wolf. Was Birdhouse land real or just... Or I just imagined it. No, it didn't feel like a dream at all. And if the burnt cat was right, that means... I could be cured. I could get my second chance. I've never wasted another minute of my life ever again. But I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Let's just see what happens. This morning already, I've been away all night. I wonder if George is alright. The burnt cat has given Angie a special gift. She will be able to make one person tell the truth, no matter the circumstances. Interesting. Press A button to continue. Okay. Mr. Gray, once a day, force someone to tell uncomfortable truth. This is one. This is once a day. The first power, Mr. Gray, can be used during conversation when you see, okay, star sign next to dialogue option. However, Angie can only use this power once a day. The star sign indicates that the power is already depleted. Got it. You can check the status of cat powers in the inventory screen. Very fancy. Okay, so we are back, right? A big old wardrobe. Yeah, so there was something I think I could have pulled it. And the shell, right. Mr. Gray power daily uses plus one. Okay, so I can use that. Oh, it uses two. Interesting, I see. Okay, so if I didn't have that, I would have only one. So I wonder now we can actually use two of those in each day. And it's not just gonna, be, you know, it's not just one time thing. If I find some pretty, I can put it up on the shelf. Okay, anything pretty? Chalk, can you put this up on the shelf? No. Alright. <clears throat> so let's see objectives. Find George. Let's see what he's up to. Georgie. There's like something on top I feel like I should be able to grab, but... No. I'm assuming he's watching TV, but since I'm here already, I would like to check just... George? Uh oh. Maybe he's gone downstairs already. Okay, so yeah, he's he was sleeping. So actually, I'm glad I went here. There's not a houseplant. Old suitcase. There's no chair here I can move, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll check downstairs. No, may not. Georgie. Mm, I don't think I have anything to yeah. To fix the computer yet. This way, I think it is. Because this is how it's raining. Okay, let's not go here yet. But is it this way? Yeah. Oh crap, he's gone. <clears throat> what happened to George? I really messed this one up. Oh crap, 
I gotta get my gun. Who is this? Morning, dear. Looking for Joyce. Joyce! I need to talk to her rather urgently. Is she around? Who the hell is Joyce? Who are you? Sorry, but did you let yourself in? Sorry, but did you just let yourself in? Well, I've been ringing the bell for quite some time. No one answered the door. That should have been a good indication to you that either no one's home or someone's busy. I am a man of God, and God needs no invitation. Besides, George knows me well. And so does Joyce. And speaking of Joyce, where is she? I have a little business to discuss with her. Well, she's clearly not here, is she? But she's always here, looking after old George. How else would he manage the way he is these days? Oh, that Joyce, the caretaker. Yes, that's the one. Where is she? Just had a car accident. I'm sorry, but I know you. It's best that you get in touch with your daughter, Sarah. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sorry, but I don't know you. It's best that you get in touch with George's daughter, Sarah. She'll tell you all about it. But why? Has something happened? Listen. I'm Father Rob Collins, a longtime family friend and a pillar of this community. And I think I have a right to know. Well, all I can say is that my name's Angie, and I'm an agency nurse covering for Joyce during her absence. Oh, well that makes sense, but... Hmm. How long will you be here for? Just a few weeks. Few weeks? What do I do? What do I... Ah. Oh, this is no good at all. What did you want from Joyce? It's... I'm afraid I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm sure you understand that what's said in the confessional stays in the confessional. Okay, <clears throat> so I can use this Mr. Gray thing. Um, and if he tells me... If he tells me... I can get him to tell me the truth. Okay, let's just try what, that first. Did she murder someone? I couldn't tell you even if she did. That's how this works. Everyone knows that. I'm sure you know that too. Morning, nurse. Morning, father. What? Another one? The hell is this? Who are you and how did you get in? That's just Kieran. Don't mind him. He lives on the farm and does the sheep. Quite literally, I've heard people say. Don't listen to that fool, nurse. He just likes to bully people, he does. Well, you're Welsh, right? And I've seen you around sheep. I'm a bloody shepherd. Of course I'm around sheep. We look after them. These poor creatures look absolutely terrified every time you get near them. That's exactly what I thought last time I came to your Sunday Mass, Father. And when was that, Kieran? Ten years ago? Twenty? Stop bickering, you two! Okay, so... <clears throat> I don't like this... I don't like this... I don't like the priest. I really don't. Uh, what did this guy what want? What did you want, Kieran? Well... I was on my way to the sheep pen. To feed my sheep. Not do anything horrible, right? So I'm walking through the east yard towards the house. I'm not too happy. Because it's absolutely pissing with rain out there. And I can already feel I have water in my boots. But then guess what I see? Poor old George is sitting right on top of the barn. I called out to him. I said, come on down, mate. You're going to fall. But he just blanked me. So I thought, I, oh, I can't deal with this. Because really, I, I'm just here to look after the sheep. <laughs> Crazy old people are way above my pay grade. Shit. Isn't it your responsibility to keep an eye on George at all times, nurse? Leave me to the barn, Kieran. I'll deal with this. Let's all go. By the sound of it, this situation may call for some divine intervention. 
Okay, so I'm not able to ask the father that question yet. Have him tell him the truth. Um, should have done it before, I guess. So that's a lesson learned to me. I'm sure I'll have another chance, no big deal. Come on, buddy. Oh, he wants to talk. Nice plant. Now he doesn't want to talk, so he keeps... Oh, <laughs> it's because it's not this way. Bloody rain. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been found with the honor. Okay, I see him. Right there on top left. Did you see him? That's up the barn. Up there. My goodness. How the Fuck. how <clears throat> How in the world he got Sorry. up there? But why would he go up there? Why don't you tell us? You're the caretaker. George! Come down for goodness sake! See? Nobody listens to you, mate. And neither does George. He probably can't hear me from up there. Are you any good at climbing, Kieran? Oh no. I ain't going up there, nurse. I'm sorry. The planks are all rotten through. And those ladders? Well, they weren't built for a man of my stature. Oh, your weight. Can you just bugger off? I don't even eat much. I've got a fat gene from my mother. That makes my agility a wee low. So what? Oh, I've seen you step dancing at the village fest. No fat gene hindering you there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so maybe try this. Are you sure you don't have other reasons not to do it? Oh, no, that's for... Oh, okay. Fine. Last thing we need is you getting stuck on the roof as well. Father Rob, any ideas? I wish the Almighty gave us angels' wings at times like this. But since he doesn't, I think I'll resort to the next best thing. Which is? I'll pray for his safety, dear. Why don't you really climb up there and help George? Um, yeah, let's do that. Why don't you really climb up there and help George? Well, I don't want to risk my life because I couldn't give a flying fuck about George. Okay, what? I don't like him. Were you saying something? No. <sighs> I think I'm getting a migraine. Has George done this before? I wouldn't know. I usually stay with a sheep. Ah. I swear, if you call me a bloody sheep shagger once more. Well, I've not called you anything. But you know what they say, Kieran. There's no smoke without fire. You're both useless. I'll get him. Good. That's what Joyce would do. Be careful up there. Okay, <clears throat> the objective, uh, save George. So, it's gonna go, go this way, see if it's what's up here. Oh, hey, what we're seeing? Beautiful animal. Sit. Sitting on the wet bench in the pouring rain seems like a really terrible idea. Okay, what about this flower? Mmm, let's go pick him up. Okay, I got a new item, which is the flower. Triple flower, fantastic. Let's keep going. That's where that one dude lives. Yeah, okay. Let's go inside. 
Maybe we can find some kind of tool to help us. Oh my god, there's a shotgun. The scope rifle looks like it could kill an elephant. Wine bottles. Scope shotgun. Alright, so he's got some weapons. This is it. Alright, so we got flour so far, and this bench is wet, so we can't sit on it. We got a horse. Let me try to climb up somehow. Okay, it looks like there are two freaking ladders that go up. shot. Push. Okay, I can't push it. There's something heavy inside. Okay, that didn't work out. Let's go back down here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Hey, lady! You're trying to kill me! Did you see that? This metal rod almost impaled me! Okay, so there's a metal rod there. Uh, we should probably go and pick that up because we probably need this for something. Sorry, buddy. It was this close. <laughs> Let's Let it be go. nice. It's out there with this box I gotta do. I just can't figure out what yet. So let's try to use this rod. Down here. Yeah, pry right it out. Okay. What the heck? Can you please give us a word of warning before you start dropping heavy objects from up there? I mean, it was a close one this time. Whatever, dude. Okay. Open bag. The only way to open is to cut through the canvas. Okay, so we do have something like that. Mind your heads down there. It's about to rain potatoes. Ouch! Okay, can we push that now? Ugh. Yes. Climb out. Ow, the window. Okay. Okay. How the hell did George get there, right? That's that's my question. I think he's on the other side. Hey, Georgie. Are you out of your mind, George? Come on, mate. Let's get you out of here. Nice view, huh? Nice view. Hmm? You can see for miles from up here. Aye. Do you mind if I sit down with you? You sure? You'll get a wet bum. It doesn't matter. I'm soaked through already. Tell me a story, George. You don't want to hear it. Yes, I do. Tell me about your life here. What was it like? Well... I've had a very good life on this farm. But... It took me a while to realize that. But when I was young, I wanted to go out there and see the America that I knew from the movies. See the wild west for myself. But I never did. It used to be my father's farm. And when he passed away, he left it to me. He was an angry man. Who always shouted at people. Anyway. I was convinced I'd follow in his footsteps 
and live a, a mediocre life we never wanted. Until something happened. It was the 4th of September, two years after Dad had passed away. I was on my tractor, heading up the hill to mend the fence, when I heard a crash. I stopped, suddenly. I got off, and I saw this bicycle, all crumpled up, sticking out right from under the tractor's front wheel. And I saw a lady's foot. Well, I had no idea at the time that six months later, we would marry that foot and its owner and that it would be the love of my life. Penny was her name. She was a new vet in town, and the most gorgeous woman I had ever laid eyes on. I picked her up in my arms, my heart racing, ready to rush her into hospital. But she just smiled and said, are you George Taylor, or are you, you have a sheep that's poorly? <laughs> Would you believe she was more concerned about the sheep than herself? Bless her. She really loved animals more than anything. Luckily, she wasn't nearly as damaged as her bicycle. Just a couple of scratches and a sprained ankle, which was quite extraordinary, considering she'd been hit by a bloody tractor. We waited for her, with a bouquet of flowers in my right hand, <laughs> and a box of chocolates in my left, right outside the hospital. We both knew that this was meant to be. My lovely darling Penny. <sighs> I tell you, she turned my life upside down. The farm that I despised so much finally became a home. All of a sudden I couldn't care less about Wild West and the cowboys. Penny opened her veterinary clinic here. Then Sarah was born and we started a family. Life was good. But good lives don't last forever. They're always followed by the dark times. There was an accident one day. We had a lot more horses here back then. There was this one bad stallion, Derry, he was called. Nasty old thing. I had jumped and kicked Penny suddenly while she were giving it injections. And she just flew and hit her head on the wall. She didn't die straight away. I was in the hospital with her for three days, watching the life in her slowly drain away. She was only 42. That's too young to go. Too young. Hey, look at me rambling on. Oh, I didn't mean to bore you with my old man's stories. See you back at the house, dear. What the? That's a nice cup of tea. It'll warm you up, George. You'll be all right. Of course he'll be all right. He's a tough bloke. He wrestled bears and punched wolves back in his days. Isn't that right, George? Oh, we don't know about the bears, Kieran. Where's Father Rob? He said he was going to look around. Yeah? I bet he's snooping again. Why are you here, Kieran? What do you mean? I live here. <laughs> Not in this house, you don't. But I've known George for a long time. We're all pals. He doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you, George? Oh, I don't mind, Kieran. Well, if George doesn't mind, then neither do I, I guess. You can stay. 
I mean, as long as you don't sneak up on people, or, like, murder me. I won't murder you. Nah, too much trouble getting rid of the body. <laughs> Besides, let's just be friends, for George's sake. I'm not looking for enemies. I tell you what, I'll cook dinner for everyone first, and then we'll shoot some bottles. How about that? Oh, so you can cook too? Hell yeah, I can. I make a smash and roast lamb with Brussels sprouts and mint sauce and all. George loves it, but there's no oven in my caravan, so we'd have to cook here. I don't know, Kieran. I think we could all use a proper meal after a morning like this. But I I'm going to need some cooking wine. I doubt there's any here. George has always been a sherry kind of guy. Someone say sherry? There's a bottle of red in my caravan. Could you get it for me, please? Why can't you get it yourself? Well, a dinner like this is a lot of work. I'll never make it on time if I don't get started on the vegetables straight away. Plus, ah, the old leg's hurting, like a son of a bitch. And you'll be walking that way anyway. Joyce always does, this time of day. To do what? To feed Richard some carrots. Richard? The horse. He lives in the box just outside the big barn. Okay, so let's go ahead and give him the kebab, right? Because I don't know if I'm going to have another choice like that or not, so boom. Have you had your breakfast yet? Because you can have this done a kebab if you want. Oh, nice. You sure you don't want it? I'm sure. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice. Ah, this will keep me going until dinner. Cheers, nurse. Okay, so <clears throat> that was good. And I think he's a good guy, honestly, but I could be mean to him, too. I'm just going to try to be nice, hopefully it pays off. Uh, Richard, that must be the worst horse I've ever heard. Carrots, you say? I'm sure Richard's not a rabbit. Carrots, you say? Are you sure Richard's not a rabbit? All horses love carrots. Don't you know that? Um, yeah, sure. Of course I knew that. You go in, then. Because I'm sure Richard's starving. I'll go then. Anything else I should do while I'm there? Milk the cows? Harvest the crops? No. Just get the wine and give Richard some carrots so he can love you forever. Okay. But you better watch George while I'm gone. Well, I won't let him out of my sight, nurse. Okay. <clears throat> objective uh save the george now get why uh, feed richard the course optional okay i do want to do that uh where the hell do i get carrots at again what, about this? what are you even doing here are you deaf that man's gonna turn you into dinner run oh, we're not eating midge there's lamb meat in the freezer silly oh Right. Then, I guess you can relax, Mitch. Just don't look in the freezer. Okay, <clears throat> we're not even Mitch. I still don't know where I get curious from. I don't know if she, um... She said that I already missed it or I forgot. Um, I don't know. Good idea. Nope. Oh, wait, I need to um I need to go outside, right?
All the potatoes are gone, somebody ate them. Okay, I was, these are the carrots. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and feed the horse. Okay, <clears throat> our, our relationship has improved. Fantastic. Let's do it again. Yeah. Okay, just once a day. Richard. Okay, can I sit down here now? Yes. Mm. Lovely day. That's it, really? Okay. Okay, which one are we picking up? Okay, we got a new wine. Um, I'm sure I can do anything with those guns yet. What in the world? What the heck? I don't like him. All this fine weaponry in the hands of a drunken retard. Don't you think it's a recipe for disaster? Don't be so rude. A priest shouldn't be talking like this. You want to teach a man of God how to talk now? You! A big city girl unfamiliar with our country ways. You're just a little lost lamb in the deep, dark woods. And if you don't want to end up on the wolf's table, you better start talking right this minute. Tell me, where is the lamb? Um... <clears throat> The lab. Is that one of the... yeah. Is that one of Kieran's guns you're holding? This? Um, yes. Yes, it is. A custom-made double-barrel shotgun. Fine craftsmanship. It's one of a kind, this one. It fires both barrels at the same time. Okay. But why do you have it? I was looking for the lab. And it called out to me. So I took it. You don't have a problem with that, do you? The lab? Yes, the lab! Where she makes it! Who? The carer? I've had enough of this shit! It's time to spill the beans, city girl! Where's the lab? I... Where the fuck is it? <laughs> you will confess everything. It's just a matter of time. Crazy, Battle knocked me out. Am I, um... Where am I? Where did he put me? Am I a hostage now? At least he didn't shoot me with two bullets at once. Let's pick the wall. Solid brick wall. Can we break it? Oh, I can't break the brick wall. Right? This is solid rock. Okay, so what about this? <laughs> Still not, it's okay. It's like tight, of course it is. I'm a prisoner here. Yeah, this is bad. Not good, this looks like dried up blood. It's all cracked and unstable. Maybe I can knock it down somehow. Okay, so let's try this way. Aha!
All right, so we said my game. Fortunately, uh, what is this? Before we go there, that's it. Okay, so that door is no go. Uh, this is gonna be unlocked. What about this one? Locked. Okay. <clears throat> the side doors are unlocked. What is that? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Woman, behold my the son, behold the brother. Wait, wait. Okay, we don't have anything to lock, but I should keep looking for a key. This gate looks like it leads up to the surface. Okay, so let's try this gate. Uh, what is this? Jump down, examine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We can. Let's see. Maybe well, we can solve this right now. Okay, so first one for dimness, right? So we got five. Oh my god, my god. Second, man. It is finished and uh, command my spirit. Aha. Take piece of paper, take all key. Close. Okay. Four digits written down on the piece of paper, 10 sand. So I'm assuming. I'm assuming that key is for this door. Um, over here, this gate, maybe. Oh, that's not it. That is surprising. Okay, so we're gonna have to actually jump down for real. Yeah, this wasn't too bad. Okay, the slot a light is not plugged in. Um, you oh, might crap. as well say it. But it's just the Lord listening, and the Lord can see through your lies. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to say? You are such a bad, dirty woman. I'm disappointed with you, Jennifer. I'm sorry. I'll be better, Father. Oh, we both know that's just another lie. But fine, we'll do it the hard way. Since you keep asking for a rod, I shall not spare it. No. No, no, no! We'll slice off the evil in you, so you are ready to accept God into your heart. 
Two minutes to compose yourself, Jennifer, to think things through, and to pray. Then we shall start again. Okay, <clears throat> guys, a psycho. Uh, no file. See me, and we'll be lucky again. Um, okay, so he's definitely there. Let's see what this is. I could probably push it, but I can't see any reason to do it now. Okay. What's the point of that? He's like he's still down that way, right? Doesn't work. Uh, should I? Where were we, Jennifer? Should probably go back. All right. So I think I got an idea. So that's a gate I was I couldn't get through before uh, because it was like from the other side. So now let's go ahead and jump down, and I'm hoping this will work. Let's get back to your confession, Jennifer. Shall what? We? What? How is he back already? That is not cool. Why is this not working? Was that not fast enough? Yeah, okay, now I'm a little lost, so let's just um, go back upstairs and see if maybe we can use that key for something else. So I don't know what to do here. Yeah, okay, that was it. Hey, there's a little peephole in the wall. Yeah, there's a bed and there's a door. Is that where I came from? Right, maybe? Who knows? empty uh, 
Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, there's a cupcake, so let's go ahead and take the cupcake. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this open. Okay, so... Now, we can try something else. Okay, do I take it before I turn off the radio, I wonder, or after? Let's do it before. Ah, patient's heart. Can I go ahead and inject it? Oh, I can't. I need, like, syringe or something. My goodness. Alright, back to zero. Um, oh, this works now. Oh, wait. We got that combination, right? What the heck? She's still alive, but her pulse is fading. Her heart will stop if I don't do something quickly. Where's the syringe at? Okay, this is actually working. That is not how I thought I was going to use that. Again. The devil plays tricks on me. That's what it is. It must be. Okay, maybe he's gonna, you know, pay attention to her this this way. Oh, maybe I could have hid. I probably could have hid in a closet. Yeah, I think I should have done that. That's not. Mm. Huh? Yeah, I could have hid in a closet. Grab the key first. Take the key. Okay, new item added. I got the key. Who's who was in here? Uh, black cable. Black plug in. Black cable. What? Uh, am, I, am I supposed to turn this on? Aha! Uh -huh. So that is working. Mm. It won't block the door if it don't close it first. Oh, this door. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. So he's blocked. Um, the power is on. I don't know if I need to keep this on, keep this off. I have no idea. Okay, now. Okay, I saved her. I think. Wait, you're Jenny Wilde, the actress. Yeah. And who the fuck are you? I've been trapped here just like you, but I'm breaking out. 
Wanna join me? Hell yeah. <sighs> I don't know you, but I already like you. Okay, so me and her are gonna break out. I uh, <clears throat> I do have the key, so hopefully. Oh my god, he just freaking killed her. Trying to blind me, bitch! That's not gonna work! I have stared into the light of God himself! And it only made me a stronger man! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Mm, okay, so what do we do? What do we do? What does that do? Is that anything different? I'm probably gonna die. Oh, okay, okay. Do you think we could climb up that rubble? I guess. But he needs to stop bloody shooting at us. Huh. That shouldn't be a problem. He's down. One of the bricks hit him right in the face. What if she going the wrong way? Oh yeah, no, this is the right way. Okay. Where'd she go? Hurry! Wild, <laughs> kind of instantly recognizable, obviously. And what's your name? Angie. Nice to meet you, Angie. And thanks for saving me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But what's an American movie star like you doing in a place like this? Oh, we just uh, finished filming last week. I met some people. I'm to some parties. <laughs> You know how it is. Not really. No. Yeah, definitely save my game off of this one. There's no one to hide from, uh, points taken. Okay, I think this one, this is locked. So is this. I need a minute to rest. I thought I was already dead. He was either gonna cut me to bits with that big fucking slicer, or turn me into a sex slave in his stupid sex dungeon. Rob's a real piece of work. He'd probably do both. Ugh. You hurt? Uh, no. Not really. I'm asking because I'm a nurse. I can give you a quick checkup. Oh, maybe later. Uh, I'll be okay for now. You sure? You're covered in blood. I got a, a few scratches on my legs. He uh, punched me once or twice. Smash my poor little nose. But most of this blood isn't mine. That's, to be honest, I'd rather not talk about it. If you don't mind, I've 
I've seen some things down there that will <sighs> last me for a lifetime. Sure. I get it. How did you end up in the catacombs? Oh, I met Rob at a party. I think that was three days ago. Yeah. He must have put something in my drink, because I remember feeling dizzy and Rob offering to drive me to a hotel. And you know, I'm a big girl. I'm well aware you don't get into cars with men you just met, because that's just asking for trouble. But he was a priest, for fuck's sake. I really didn't think he'd spike my drink, take me down to his secret lair, and try to fuck me. That man's a weasel. I had a feeling there was something wrong with him, but I ignored it. I'm not making that mistake again, so before we go... Yes? Okay, tell me you're not hiding anything from me. <clears throat> yeah, but let's do that. I kind of want to know. Tell me you're not hiding anything from me. I... Um... Fine. He didn't really drug me. He... Gave me some coke because he knew I wanted it. And we... Snorted it together in one of the bedrooms. And... Uh, I'm so sorry. I knew it was wrong, but... It's alright. I'm not gonna judge you. I just wanted to know. Huh? I, uh... I think I drifted away for a second. Uh... What did you say? It's nothing. Don't worry. Okay, so that was my last one. I'm assuming that's still the same day. Uh, although I did get knocked out and woke up. Do you think he's dead? Well, that would certainly sort out a lot of problems for us right now. But I doubt he is. Me too. That would be just too easy. I wish I could have saved the other girl too. The one that was screaming? She was dying right in front of me. And there was nothing I could do. So I used her as bait. What did I do that? Hey, it's all right. It's not your fault. It's Rob that's guilty of all of this. And he'll pay for it, I swear. Let's go. Wait, what's the plan? The church seems all locked up. We have the fence or something? Actually, I know this might seem strange to you, but there's something I want to try. You see, I think I can lead Rob into a trap. And how the hell are you going to do that? I'll put a spell on the door and he has to walk through it. Trust me, I have my ways. I'll draw an X on the door with my magic chalk. Oh, yeah. I'll draw an X on the door with my magic chalk. What? <laughs> no, are you a witch? No. It's complicated. <laughs> you must be crazy. Maybe. But I really think this will work. A magic chalk? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, where do you even get it? Mm, let me be honest. Cat like creature gave it to me. Um, right. You sure a falling brick didn't hit you on the head back there? No, I'm not. But this is gonna work. I feel it. I'll start by getting up to the top floor. Then we'll set up the trap and attract Rob's attention. I'm pretty sure he's not far behind looking for us. Okay, so we actually have to go back. Top floor, do we need to... Press button, what? What are these for? Okay, I don't know what that just did, but... Uh, what is this? Remove painting. I'm reading notes. Really 
Nine little lambs gathered before the god with wolf's face and prayed. But god with wolf's face was hungry, so he took the lamb closer to, closest to him and devoured her whole. The praying lambs took no notice, so he ran past them and ate the third one from the back. The praying lamb took no notice, still hungry, the wolf god ended his feast and a lamb that sat right in the middle once his belly was full, he, the gates of heaven opened and he returned home. Okay, wait a second, so let me write this down. Okay, so nine lambs and the wolf hid the first one, then he ran and ate the third one from the back and then the last one was the middle. So. I'm assuming those nine lambs is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, what the hell is a wolf though? Mm. Press button. Okay, so maybe we need to uh, disable those buttons. Okay, so what the hell is wolf? I'm assuming he's here. I'm not seeing wolf's face. Uh, I might be blind. Okay, let's just. Uh, this looks like looks like a wolf on top of the cross. Maybe I don't know. Okay, first one. Then third one from the back. One, two, three. Then the middle one. Yeah, this one. Gates of hell. <clears throat> Where'd she go? Mm, there's a rope of this, there's stairs. Oh, it's Let's try the stairs. After the catacombs, are we really going to be scared of a dark attic? Good point. Ugh, that's better. Oh my god, there's another person here. What is this guy's problem with young women? He thinks we're all sluts, I guess. But it's more complicated. Down in the dungeon, he... Wanted me to be his new mistress. Cause the old one. Well, she wasn't really up to the task anymore. Oh, there he is. With a broken leg, hopefully. Well, that door is open. I know you're hiding here. I'll find you. It's just a matter of time. He's here. And it sounded like he blasted the shit out of the back door. It's okay. We have another door right here. What if he destroys it too? I don't think he will. He wants us alive so he can, you know, take us back to his sex dungeon. I ain't going back there. No way. Then let's set the trap. This seems like a good place. Okay, so uh, let's give the chalk use. Okay. Um, do we need to close this? Interesting, okay. So I guess we just wait. And I cannot do anything with this girl. Hello? Oh, this window is locked. Got it. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, do I need to ring the bell? That's what it is. Okay. Did I? Did I just die? Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. I barely made it, but I guess now he knows where we are. I must hurry. I won't be long before he comes up. Okay, I don't know if we were supposed to drop the bell or not. Okay, there we go. You destroyed half the church by the sound of it. How is Rob gonna get up here now? There's another door leading to the attic. I'm sure he has the key for it. Right. So... Uh, what happens now? Now it's time for Father Rob to atone for his sins. I can smell you up there! Dirty whores! You in there? Keeping Millie company? How nice of you. You know, Millie had a hard time accepting Jesus into her heart. In the end, I ripped her chest open to let Jesus in. But enough of this dilly-dallying. Ladies, you better be ready. Your good shepherd is coming home. Okay, so that was it, huh? That worked. Um, that, yeah, pick up the shotgun. Hunter's keepers, that's right. Stay here and wait for me. What? Why? I'm going after him. Well, shoot, okay. Alright, so game is saved. Uh, let's go do this again, I guess. That's not good. Okay, I do have a shotgun. Okay, how do I reload it? Oh, there are more than that. Oops. Am I dead? <laughs> Crap, I am dead! Okay, it's actually for someone. The good, good thing I just saved, right? Okay, so X to reload, got it. I didn't reload in time. Alright, let's try this again. Wait. All right, no rush, no rush. Where is this dude at? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so he has to be kind of close to me as well. Like that. Another one? Switch box. Shotgun shells. Fantastic. Like it's behind me. Come on, 
Last shells. There he is. Do I need to shoot him too? What? Get the hell out of my way, you stupid! Hey! Oh my! Ow! And as the wolf opened his jaws to swallow the lamb, he found there was already an even bigger wolf hidden inside the lamb. The tables turn quickly if you're not careful. And when you live a wolf's life, you've got to know there is a price for each drop of blood that you spill. Sooner or later, you'll have to pay it. Thank you, Angeline. This is the man I wanted. Your first task is completed. It's time to end it. Unless... Well... You have his gun. And a first-hand experience of being his victim. Perhaps this kill belongs to you. I'll let you choose. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what should I choose. I kind of want to watch the okay, cat killer. Enough. He's all yours now. Very well then. And I get the two shotgun shells. All right. So now this is chapter three. All right, guys, chapter three, these woods are dark. Here we are. You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. Don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom, just past the staircase, and in the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh, and uh, can you please make me a nice big cup of coffee? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, five sugars, please. Five? Okay. Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? Uh, what is that? Uh, it might be yesterday's dinner. Let's choose that. I think it might be yesterday's dinner. This frozen lump of flesh? Yep. Well, no offense, but it doesn't look very appetizing, does it? This guy, Kieran. Offered to make roast lamb yesterday. But I guess he fucked up. No shit. Never mind. At least now I know I can't rely on that lazy bugger. Right. Uh, I'll go wash now. Past the stairs, last door. You can't miss it. So I really didn't give him the bottle of wine he wanted either, so that'd be my fault. Turn on the oven. Salmon. It's a gas cooker. An old one. Okay, so am I supposed to go make this? What is this? Add coffee, five sugars, add water. Um do I need to like what do you hot water add? Take Mm, hang on a second. So we need to make a cup of coffee and find clothes for Ginny. So let's do coffee first. Um, 
You, oh, there hasn't been one day yet. He uses zero, okay. Uh, what I, how do I, maybe kettle's already hot? Okay, so let's, uh, add water. Let's examine. Call an empty cup. Is this hot or what? It's an, oh, it's an empty kettle. So hang on a second. Let's get some water. Okay. Let's turn this on. Let's go ahead and add coffee and five sugars. This coffee smells good. Okay, so I think we got the coffee. So we made the coffee. That's great. Now we gotta find some clothes for her. Um, where did I do that at? This is outside, right? This is where we're back. So can we go in here now? Yes, we can. I don't think I've been here before. Oh, yeah, I have. I have. That's where the freaking rat was. Um, there's nothing here. Okay, so let's try to give find her some of my clothes maybe. I have like a bedroom upstairs. We can try that. There. Would you come closer, please? I could be losing my mind, but did I just see a naked lady run past here a minute ago? That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days, and I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to put some clothes on. You know, in case that vicar comes round again. Speaking of clothes, do we have anything we could give her? Well, I, uh, I don't know much about ladies' garments, dear. It's all right. I can give her some of mine. Wait, I, uh, I still have some clothes that belong to my wife. It's a skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were a favorite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. You sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penny, uh, always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear, uh, any chance of another sandwich? Well, I waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. Huh, I wonder why. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute. So I wonder what happened if something happened to that one guy, right? Okay, so um, let's get her some clothes, maybe. Oh, there he is. He fell asleep. Bastard. He didn't just forget to make dinner. He got drunk of George's sherry too. I'll need to have a word with him when he wakes up. Great. Okay, where was my room at? I don't think it was that. Your coffee's in the kitchen. I'm just letting you know. Nice! Thank you. I won't be long. Okay, let's get her some clothes. Uh, I think I need to go upstairs to that, right? Right, maybe? That's well, the basement. I think it's locked. No, that's not it. No, this has got to be it. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a cat here. Ah, uh, no, that's my bedroom. That's not his. Let's go ahead and set my game, though. Alright, so game is saved. Let's see what's in here. Examine. Uh, do I have something pretty? 
Like a flower? That's not gonna work. I bought a cupcake. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work either. Mm. So that's luck, right? Yeah. Is that the suitcase or? No, there was like a one somewhere else. No, that's in the in his bedroom, right? This is the wrong room. It's gotta be the bathroom, I think. No, it's not. This is the, this is what we need. Okay. Okay, so we got some clothes. Jenny, I found some clothes that should fit you. I'll leave them here on the floor, just outside the bathroom. Thanks. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> so we got that. So I guess let's go. Um, let's go back and make him a sandwich. though oh there we go okay so I got the bread we're gonna do him this time and um, let's see let's do mustard and bread or is that it let's let's, let's see that because he said he's like a simple guy right strange sandwich again are you kidding me Okay, bread, ham, mustard, another bread. Oh, you made ham and mustard sandwich. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so that actually worked. Okay, let's take the sandwich. He seems to be enjoying the sandwich. Fantastic. Great deal, George. Uh, what's the sound? You hear that, George? What, dear? It sounds like you have a giant cat purring in your basement. Oh, scare it off, would you? Sarah hates it when cats come inside. And investigate noise in the basement, so let's go ahead and I think we completed everything else, right? Anything here we got? Ah, uh, basement. Wait. Okay, this guy's dead asleep. Um, that is outside. Why don't I still know this? The way around in the house. Here we go.
Right, save my game. Just because I probably will die. Uh, who is purring? Like, seriously. Either war, I probably had to go here anyway. My god, this is burying now. I don't think it was burying before. Oh, I can't go back there. Yeah, he won't let me. Do I still have shotgun? No, I don't. Oh, hey, kitty. What? No, he's gonna attack me. No, he's a nice cat. Well, aren't you a cutie? Living on Vern House Lane, of all places. This doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you. Want to come with me? Okay, wait a second. I got a new ability. Moonlight. Gain control of a cat. Passive ability. How the heck do I do that? What the heck? Okay, maybe only in certain situations I can do only do that. Wrist in the middle of the city. Okay, we got a. It's not a wooden doll, it's just a creepy doll. Uh, some kind of shed we got here. And we got somebody scrying. Oh my god. <clears throat> Help me, you're my friend. Meet little Sheila. She's been stuck in this hole for a while. Who's done this to her? A psychopath called Walter Green, who lives in the woods, not far from the farm. Walter likes to trap people, hunt them down like animals. Sometimes just to slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark. Okay, so it sounds like we're dealing with another creep that we need to punish. And I'm assuming, is this the next day? I must have fallen asleep waiting for Jenny to finish her bath. Just leave my clothes on, I guess. Alright, check on Jenny, head out to the woods. Okay, so now it's a new day. I got uh, two abilities. Cool. And then I got a new ability as well. All right, game saved. Let's go check on Ginny. Gonna look, search those rooms real quick. Just make sure there's nothing new. I'm probably wasting my time. Yeah, let's just uh let's just go check on Judy. She's not here. It's a bathroom sink. Uh I can't search it. No, okay. Where, where did I leave her? 
Does that look like somewhere in the ship, maybe? We forgot. Continue. Really? You're awake. Well, what do you mean? I wasn't sleeping. Liar. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? Late twenties? You mean Jenny? Yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? Uh, the last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. Do you want a cupcake? Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a cupcake? In that case... Here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. Okay, so that was good, I think. Um, what was that rose slam you promised us, hmm? Well, where's the wine? Right. You went to get it, and you never came back. I was... Ugh. It's a long story. But now that I think about it, you don't actually need red wine to make rose slam. You just stick the damn thing in the oven. It's that simple. Well, not the way I cook it. And what is your way to cook it? Let me guess. Getting pissed on George's sherry and falling asleep? I guess it's better you never actually started it because you'd probably just burn the whole place down if you did, you drunken fool. Hey! That was George's idea to open that bottle. Okay, well, let's do this. Is it really? Was it really? Because I can tell if someone lies to me, Kieran. I... Okay. Yeah, I... I'm sorry. I'm a pathetic, disgusting lump of fat. And all I want to do is drink because no one ever loved me. That's enough. I just wanted you to tell the truth. Sometimes, I drink three or four bottles. And when I sleep, I wet myself and the mattress and I... I said that's enough. I'm not your psychotherapist. I don't need to hear it all. Okay. Don't sleep on the sofa with your boots on ever again, understood? I didn't. You snored like a pig? I could feel the house trembling. Again, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting, all right? Also, I didn't take my boots off on purpose. Oh, yeah? I was being thoughtful, and I kept them on because my, my feet don't smell all that nice today. I'm not surprised. That's not my fault. I have a condition. Condition my ass. You're just a dirty man who doesn't like to wash. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air. You know? You don't want to go to that forest. I mean, this is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees, yeah? Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over, and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. 
See you later. And don't do anything stupid. Me? Never. Okay. So, I still need to check on Ginny. I haven't found her yet. Um, so, let's just look everywhere, I guess. Oh. Um, I see you've met Jenny. Uh, this lovely young lass wandered in. I offered my chair to her, and she must have been very exhausted, because she just fell asleep before I could even offer her a cup of tea. Do you want me to...? No, no, leave her. That's fine. As a matter of fact, I'll go find her a blanket. That's a bit chilly today. Okay, so we checked on Ginny, uh, head out to the woods. So that's our next step. Just leave it alone, I guess. Okay. Nothing in the kitchen. Uh, that is actually the wrong way. So we need to... Here, I believe. Okay, it doesn't look like anything changed here. I can still climb up if I need to, but there's no need to, I'm assuming. There's nothing else for me to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a new day for the horse. Okay, <clears throat> she likes me today. Fantastic. Richard the horse. It's a shame I can't pet it. Might as well. Continue my tradition. Nurse! Can I interest you in a little game I've invented? There's prizes to be won. What would I have to do? You uh, ever held a gun? Yes. Well, then I throw some empty bottles up in the air. You try to hit them before they fall. Easy. What do you say? What are the rules? I'll throw five bottles in the air, one at a time. Your job is to shoot them down. You'll win a nice prize if you manage to hit at least three out of five. But there's a special prize if you beat my personal record and hit all five bottles. You want to try? Sure, let's try it. Okay, so at least I need to hit three. Nice! You got it. Oops, I missed one. Whoa Three bottles, very nice. And here's the incredible second prize. Ah, oh, that's cute, this? but I it's a little sheep. Get the best Isn't prize. Isn't it lovely? I got it at the car boot sale last year. Thanks. It'll look nice on the shelf, I guess. Do you want to try again? Yes. Okay, so I actually got all five of them this time. Five bottles! You're amazing! Here's your special ultra rare first prize, as promised. A large caliber Desert Eagle bullet. Just one? Oh, they're quite expensive. But let's be honest. With this sort of weapon, all you need is one shot. 
Really? But I don't even have a desert eagle. Well, I'd lend you mine, but uh, well, you know how it is. I grow attached to these things. It's all right. I don't want it anyway. Do you want to try again? No, I mean, you already gave me all my um, prizes, right? Okay, no. so I actually tried it twice again. Uh, yeah, take your gun back. I got three I'm off to the bottles woods. and I got five, but he still didn't well, give me any prizes because I already won. Going this way? Well, yes, but uh, you don't really want to go there, nurse. You should leave that for me to decide. Alright, I would like to... Can I come in here save my game? No, okay. I guess no break for me until I find a nest, right? That already doesn't look good. Do I have a gun? Uh, I do not have a gun, I have a sheep. I have a bullet. to see you made it. Midge is here. Fantastic. Party bus. Three sixes. Uh, reverse cross. That's not good, right? But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Maybe someone flipped the sign by accident. Maybe. But I don't think so. How big is this forest? Look down. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Let's go ahead and jump. So this one is higher, um, but I think it's still okay, right? Oof. Okay, what we got here? So we got the cones on top. Okay, I can looks like I can go in. Hi there. Um hi. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arno. I'm Angie. So who are you, Arno? Is it okay to ask? Oh, I'm a journalist from Finland. Finland? That's nice. Why come to England? Well, I've been planning this trip for a long time. These woods have been calling me all this time, reaching out to me like a distant melody. And yesterday morning, when I arrived, I could feel it. I knew that this is my destiny what is to become the man who captures walter green and proves the legends were all true that's very bold aren't you afraid that he'll stick you up on a tree and pull your skin off or i don't really know what he does eat your eyeballs 
Chop your head off. Eat my eyeballs. He's a serial killer, not an animal. He he just mostly grabs and stabs people multiple times. So if you ever get near him, watch out for the grab. That would be my advice for you. Right. Good to know. What are you doing here? Alone? In the woods? I'm tracking the legendary Walter Green, of course. And these woods are his hunting grounds. So I've heard. But... Why do you track him? It doesn't seem like a very wise thing to do. Only if you aren't familiar with his patterns. But since I've studied Walter and his mythos for a long time, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I will not let him kill me. What is this shack? The Satanist Club? Not quite. It used to be a lumberjack's cabin back in the day. But it's been abandoned since 2013. You see, that's when all those grisly murders started to happen in the area. Jeffrey Brand, the lumberjack, was one of the first they found. Where? Here? Here indeed. If you look closely, you can still see his blood on the windowsill. Right. Lovely. And what about all those satanic drawings? Ah, yes. It's widely believed that Walter Green worships the devil. He makes them all over the forest, as well as little shrines to Satan, built with bones and feathers. They usually mark spots where he killed people. You seem to know a lot about Walter Green. Of course I do. I don't mean to brag, but I'm the world's biggest expert on what they call the Walter Green mythos. I've read every single article ever written on it, including the unpublished blogs and letters. I've lived and breathed these stories for almost six years, and I feel confident to say I know his greatest secret. Something nobody else knows. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling it. It's a secret. But if you want to know more, there's a Walter Green's fan page that I've run for the last three years. It's a lovely community. You should totally join it. Tell you what, if I'm still alive by tomorrow, I totally will. I'm looking for a small chapel with a creepy doll pinned to it. Please, I really need to find it. Any chance you saw it? Yes, I think I did. Where was it? I'd have to draw you a map, I think. Because you know, the picture is worth a thousand words. That would be great. Thanks. I'll wait. Actually, I was just about to start a fire for the night. It's still early. In these woods, you see, without light comes death. Don't forget, there's a dangerous serial killer lurking nearby. He could be watching us right now. So... While I draw the map, would you mind lighting a fire in the fireplace over there? I would appreciate that very much. Tell me more about Walter Green. What would you like to know? How can I tell if Walter is close by? Well, if you can't see him, because it's either too dark or he's hiding in the trees, you can always hear him. Julie Marsh, who witnessed Walter during cold winter of 2017, described the sound he produced as rapid breathing of a scared animal. So keep your ears open. Or go home while you still can. Well, if Julie Marsh made it, 
Who says she did? They found her notes written in a little diary, stuffed inside her hollowed out chest. Her guts scattered around in a 10 meter radius inside a large pentagram. Two large pine cones instead of eyes in her eye sockets. Thanks. I get the picture. What's his weapon? Good question. According to autopsy reports, most wounds found on Walter's victims were puncture wounds inflicted by a large single-edged blade. A carbon steel 12 inches combat knife, similar to that used by American Marines. You see it, you turn back and you run. Don't even think about beating Walter in close combat. He'll just grab you, stab you right in the heart and bleed you dry. And then he'll probably cut you open, pull out your intestines and offer your soul to Satan. So... Yeah, stay away. Go home and make a cup of lemon tea. Best strategy for someone like you. No offense. It's also a great cold remedy, especially this time of year. You mentioned a secret. Oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Come on, you can tell me. That's the thing, I can't. It's my secret weapon. The ace up my sleeve. So forgive me, but no. This one stays with me. Okay, <clears throat> should I go ahead and use it? Tell me his fucking secret now. I... Um, shit. It's... Well... Walter Green is a woman. What? A woman. And if you call him, her... By his real name, a woman's name, he, she, will let you leave. And what is that name? I don't know, yet, but I will find it. Okay. Oh, did you feel that? Feel what? This cold draft. I think a ghost came through here. Jeffrey? Is that you? Relax. It was just the wind. What does he look like? You mean, you don't know? I'm, I'm not from around here. Oh, well. In that case, imagine a giant bear standing on two legs. His body is so muscular, it's easy to imagine him lifting a fallen oak all on his own and throwing it in the air like it's no more than a twig. He wears a soldier's attire with leather straps and belts that hold animal bones and talismans attached to them. On his head, an old canvas bag with two holes for eyes. And that's why I'm here. To be the first to remote that bag and see the face that was hidden for all these years. The face of a killer. That's all I wanted to know. All right, I'll get a fire going for you. Wonderful. Now, see this axe stuck in the wall there. You will need that. The axe? Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, so I decided to be nice and, you know, start some firewood. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab the axe. Huh? Got some kind of sort of weapon now, at least. Uh, what is he taking freaking notes? Okay, let me go ahead and save my game. Can we talk on? 
Uh, it's okay if I keep the axe. Okay sure, let's ask him that. Yeah, keep it. I have a spare one in my backpack. Thanks. I can use it for self-defense if I bump into Walter. Oh, it wouldn't work. Don't even try. How do you know? Stephen Brumble, 2018. He tried the axe. And Stephen was a burly kind of guy. No offense, but way stronger than you. Let me guess. He died? Yes. Shocking. I'll see you later. Sure. Unless you see Walter first. Cause then, let's face it, you probably won't. Okay. So he really thinks highly of this Walter kid. Um, so light the fire for Arno. Collect blocks of wood and make firewood. Okay. So let's go. We got the axe. Um, this is a log, right? Let's pick that up. Okay, so how do I chop it? There's a tree here. <laughs> it's too far to the other shore, yeah, so I can, uh, it's too far to jump. What if we push it? I have the axe, I can just chop it down. I'm not sure why I don't, I don't have that as an <laughs> option. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's um, uh-huh, chopping block. Chop, chop, chop. Got it. Okay, uh, I think I got some firewood. Yes. What else is here? Should I jump in or break my spine? At least I won't have to worry about the f cancer anymore. That's funny. But then who's gonna find the girl in the hole? What was her name? Um, Sheila? I could be wrong. I think it is Sheila. I think, maybe. Oh, I actually I can jump in if I need to. Let me see, what if, what if I'm gonna break my neck? I get a chainsaw for this. I definitely don't have a chainsaw yet. Okay, here's another log. And this is dead end, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can actually make the fire with what I have right now. Make this um How's the coming guy. along? Good, Happy. good. It should be ready really soon. Oh, you know what? I forget well. One and two more to go, so I need two more to go. And I only have one. Yeah, just one more, so I don't know where it's at, so I think we actually have to jump in this well. So hopefully I won't die. My goodness, that's okay. I think it was a soft landing. That's what I heard. It does look soft. It looks like I landed on the freaking rocks. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the log. Okay. <laughs> How to get back up? Wowza. Uh, examine. This is a rusted barrel. Okay. That's a flashlight. I got a flashlight. Fantastic. Uh, there are no batteries. So it won't let me go any further. Take out the batteries. Fantastic. Okay, so we do have some light, or we should have some light now. Uh, maybe? Yes? Yes. Enough to uh, keep me walking. Mm. 
Well, this sucks. I'm stuck. <laughs> now what do I do? Oh, you know what? I think I got an idea. Yep. That's it. Uh, I'll turn off the torch here. Yeah, fantastic. Save the batteries. So we have the last log. We just gotta crack it and um, hopefully it's enough to start the fire. Actually, I had some matches somewhere, somehow. Thank you for doing this. You are a real friend, Angie. Nah, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is. And I will now return the favor. I draw a map that will lead you to the place you mentioned. A little chapel with a doll hanging outside. It's not too far. Just keep going east from here, across the river and through the burnt forest until you see a rock with Walter's drawings on it. You are looking specifically for one with three sixes repeated six times on the same rock. That's where you make a turn and go through the briar patch. Be careful so you don't cut yourself on it. Then, on the other side, you should see the place you are looking for. Right. Thanks, Arno. Here, take the map. But you should just wait until morning anyway. I can't wait. There's something I have to do before midnight. You'll just get lost in the dark. I have a torch. He'll find you. He'll sneak up on you in the dark and he'll stab you. I'll walk really slowly and listen out for him. Well, I applaud your courage. I just hope I don't have to drag your dead body back to the village tomorrow. I can take care of myself. If you end up dragging a body back to the village, it will be Walter Green's sorry ass, not mine. Well, I will certainly keep my fingers crossed for you. But please, be careful anyway. You are nice. You helped me. I don't want to see you get hurt. Don't be silly. Now, take care and good luck on your hunt. It's time for me to go on mine. You can access map at any time from the inventory. Fantastic. Now I have the map. But does it tell where I'm at? Probably not. It's okay, not a big deal. All right, got my game saved, and I think it's time to go. So let's take a look at the map again. And I'm assuming that's me, so I just gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go through the river. And there's a swamp there and stuff. All right, so I don't know if we need to really stop anywhere, but we'll just keep going and see what's going on. How do I chop this guy? So what the heck? Oh, well I can just swing, right? Oh, duh, stupid me. So I didn't really need to wait for the option. Okay, that was kind of cool. Okay, what we got? New objective added. Find Sheila. Yeah, I got that. An old motorcycle helmet seems to be a part of a totem. Like for ritual stuff. I think totems, they use totems to bring like people back to life. Or try, try to. Yeah, this is a little spooky, I would say. Okay, this is the rock he was talking about. 
satanic symbols again i don't know why but they give me goosebumps so i don't need to go that way right um but what if i go straight like i mean what if i make a pit stop here the heck what the heck if i go keep going straight where am i going don't really know back here what in the world how did i make some circles that is kind of unique that's weird okay so let's just go here what I feel like i was here earlier Let's say 666, right? Oh, six times 666. Hang on a second. I'm going to keep going straight. That's not it. Who freaking knows? Yeah, this can't be it. So let's go this way, this time, and let's go through here. Okay, 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 so we're elsewhere now, this is different. Cool, aha! Uh -huh. It's a creepy doll again. Let's save my game, great. I know it's right, this is definitely the place from my dream. Uh, what is this? It's a trap. I would be pretty stupid to fall down there again with no means of getting back up. Okay, but I have no other option, right? Pull me once, shame on you. Pull me twice, shame on me. No, I'm not getting down there. I need to make sure I have something to climb on first. I don't want to die in that hole. Okay, what does that mean? What do I need to grab? I need to find a rope or something? Oh, I can't leave. There's like nothing here to grab. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh my god, that's right. Sorry, Jira, you were right. Okay. 
Okay, what's going on here? She's not moving. Sheila? You okay? Let's get you out of here, girl. Oh my god. Shit. I'm too late. Well, that is unfortunate. That doll, there's something written on it. The name Sheila is in. Okay, so it just says Sheila on it. Any objective added? Ah, uh, leave the forest. Okay, so we now have the doll. What is the doll? Name is Sheila. When I shake it, I can hear something rattling inside. What could it be? I don't know. That's not gonna work. I feel like I should get my axe ready. How long did I spend in that hole? It's gone dark already. But at least I found Sheila. Now it's time to get back home. Well, let's get my axe ready. I'm assuming I need to... F what the hell was that? That is indeed the question. Okay, so I just have my game surprise. Somehow she turned flashlight on at the same time as having the X too. What the hell is she doing? Okay, whatever. I'm afraid to go fast because, you know, I gotta listen for the breathing. Okay, I should have probably run just now. If I remember where to go. Well, she's still behind me, so it should be okay. Oh, shit. Come on. What the heck? Why is this not working? Really? She's coming. This is not good. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I think I'm safe at least. Oh, what the heck? Where the heck am I? I 
I like the looks of it, but like new objectives added. Investigate the manor. Okay, so we are in some kind of manor now. Must be um the serial killer's one. What this is. Okay. I don't want to go there yet. It's an old stall. One of it still works. I need some kind of fuel to light the stove. Okay, so we're looking for fuel now. Let's go up, I guess. Yeah, this is locked. Like, break it. No, I can't. Uh, I'd like the room upstairs. Got it. And there was nothing here, right? Yeah. Okay, so the only way is to jump down, I believe. Break it, it's too heavy. Take some coal. Okay, so we got some coal. We still need my oh god, we still need some kind of fuel, I guess. So many corpses, are they really here or am I tripping again? Oh boy. Fill the combustion chamber with coal. The stove should burn nicely now. Okay, let's let's try to light it. So that's all I needed to do. Okay, so that is lit. So what now? Jump back down. See if anything changed. Ooh. Seriously, nothing, huh? I can't pull this level any longer. Mm. Let's try to open that door again, I guess. The one that's upstairs. Maybe I need to burn something. Maybe I need to burn something. Maybe I need to burn the doll. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We're doing something here. Okay, we got a key and some kind of coin. Key and a coin, what are they doing inside the doll? Cool. Okay, 
So, what does that say for the key? I found inside the burned doll. Who knows, maybe it'll bring me bad luck or good luck. Um, so let's go up and try to open the door now. Okay. This coffin covered with flowers. Whoever was inside, that must have been very important. Somehow, a part of me feels like I should also pay respect. Pay respect. I do have a flower. Oh my god, that worked. Okay, great. Here's one more from me. Surgeon? Walter Green. What? If this is Walter, then who the hell just chased me through the woods? Wait, Arno said something about the killer being a woman. And the doll, it didn't belong to the dead girl down in the hole. The killer is uh, Sheila. Maybe. It belonged to... The real killer is Sheila Green. I found her after all. We got it. Okay. Is that it? Did I take anything? Like, I don't know what that is in the middle. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Okay, so we know who... Oh, shoot. Oh my goodness. That's not good. That is not good. At least it's a lovely land. So now I'm the cat. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm a cat and I can jump pretty freaking high, honestly. Wow, I can jump there. Fantastic. Can I run? Yes, I can run. Can't open the doors though. No problem. Is my body still there? Yeah, my body's still there. Oh boy. Oh, find crap. a way out. Get help. So yeah, that's my special ability. I can transfer into a cat. Oh yeah. Watch out, um, Sheila. Okay. Uh, so she's right here. Yeah, she's just sitting there or something, right? The cat doesn't want to go there, which is kind of understandable. So let's go and try to find some help somewhere. <laughs> I can't save, can I? Oh, that's unfortunate. Really? Even with the cat? I guess cat doesn't smoke, right? Alright, hopefully I won't be cat for too long. Oh, I can jump freaking high. Well, not high enough. Where'd I go? Where the heck do I go? Ah, oh, I see. Whoa, whoa, it's a mouse. Gotta feed myself. Ah, uh, that's how I say the game of the cat. That's really cool. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm hearing different noises now somewhere. I'm not sure what that means. Not the best at being a cat, as you can tell. Woohoo! Okay, so that was good. Can you just jump up here? No? Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm still alive though. So maybe that's supposed to happen. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be here. was not supposed to happen. At least, like, it didn't really <clears throat> bring me back to the uh, mouse that I ate. Kind of started off here, which is good for me. Okay, so we're back in this forest. Um, I don't know, do I need to go right? Probably not, just gonna go back, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is dead end anyway. So hopefully that guy in the cabin can help me out, maybe. Oh shoot, that's not good. Okay, so I got to miss the cat as well. Okay, I heard some kind of fire right behind me. So maybe I need to go run back. And use that fire against the wolves. Oh, never mind. Go ahead, little one. Our wolf brothers won't bother you. Thank you. Hey, dude, how'd I get to you? I get to jump up. I don't know, maybe he's not supposed to help me. No, I think he is. Yeah, I can't go back at all. Okay, so how do I get inside this cabin? That's my next, next task. Do I get to jump in the well? No, I can't even do that. Oh, okay, hang on. can jump on this thing. And that's it. And enter. Hmm. 
It's got to do. It's got to be something with this thing. Yes, that's the only thing I can jump on around here. Hmm, who knows? I told her not to go. There's no way we can find her now. And let's face it, she is probably already dead. Which is unfortunate because she was nice. I liked her. What if it's not too late? We can't just leave her there all alone. Let me explain it again. These woods are dark. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe, if we had a tracking dog. Or... A cat? Hi there. So that's my actress friend. I saved her, she's gonna save me. Fair enough, I like that. I can't believe we are following a stray cat through the woods, in the middle of the night. Stop whinging. I really feel like it's leading us somewhere. Ugh, this bog stinks of death. Really? To me, it just stinks like shit. Well, yeah, that too. Death and shit. A popular combination. So I'm actually controlling him now. This is it, the Green Family Manor. Most people think it's just a legend, but it's really here. Great. But take it down a notch, man, could you? Remember the dead girl in the cave? Yes, but don't worry, I've got this. Well, you keep saying that, but I don't know. That shit was fucked up. Yes, I agree. But unlike her, I know what I'm doing. I don't see you carrying any weapons. That worries me slightly. We don't need weapons. Just stay back and let me do the talking. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, I can't even open inventory, nothing, so... This is not gonna go well, I don't think. It's really you. Hi there, Walter. How are you? It's not Walter. Oh, do not be alarmed. I come as a friend, so please hear me out. My name is Arno, and I'm your biggest fan. I know everything about you. I even know your secret. The thing no one else knows. But that's okay, because it's safe with me. I just... I really admire you, and I understand that you have done all these horrible things for a reason. I came all this way to tell you something important. Something that will change everything. Walter, I... No, don't! Stop it, right now! Arno? Shit! Let's find Angie and get the fuck out of here. Okay, so Angie was upstairs, right? Jenny? What are you doing here? Returning the favor? You're lucky the key was still in the lock. 
there's no time to talk, we should get the fuck out of here, Angie. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so how do I save um how do I save the dude? Spare Arno, absolutely. So this girl, should I get some kind of weapon on me? Uh, I don't have a miss. I don't have any uses. That sucks. That really does suck. I don't think I can do that. We know her secret. I know your secret, Walter. Or should I say, Sheila? Yeah, you're a girl, all right. Sure, you pump iron and you eat raw meat out here in these woods. But I think I know I have done all this. I don't know. You've seen the horrors of war, and you can't escape from all that pain and suffering. But trust me, killing that man will not bring you peace. Stop! <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> that, that is the wrong one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's eating his freaking heart. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, so I actually had to replay the whole game just because I read that saving this guy is pretty crucial if I want like a pretty awesome ending. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, it took me a while to replay this, uh, but hopefully, you know, hopefully it was worth it. So uh, let's see. So let's do this. I know your secret. I know your secret, Walter. Or should I say... Sheila. Yeah, you're a girl, all right. Sure, you pump iron and you eat raw meat out here in these woods. But I think I know I have done all this. Well, let's see. It's because your father, isn't it? You loved him and wanted to be like him. It's because of your father, isn't it? You loved him and wanted to be like him. I bet it was him that taught you how to fight, and how to survive. You two must have had a very special bond indeed. That's why you couldn't accept his death. You couldn't move on. But then you discovered black magic, and you tried to bring him back. For years you killed people, not because you got a kick out of it, but because you needed to make sacrifices for your dark ritual. Except... It was to no avail. Walter Green's bones gather dust in the coffin upstairs and no amount of spilled blood will ever bring him back because Walter's gone and he is never coming back. Okay, um, you can still make a choice, Sheila. You can let us go. Please, it doesn't have to end like this. You saw me put that flower on Walter's coffin. You know why I did it. That's probably important. You saw me put that flower on Walter's coffin. You know why I did it? It was to honor a dead man. A soldier. A father. To show him the respect he deserves. Now, I didn't know him in life, but I never judged those who've passed away. We're all equal in death. Deep inside, you're hurting. But I know you don't want this. We are not your enemies. Okay, this is what I was missing. Uh, I only had, I had zero uh, abilities for some other reason. I don't know why I had zero abilities. I'm not sure I used two of them for some reason, but um, here we go. 
Now, stand down, soldier. Okay, I hope that works. What? Stop. What? Maybe all maybe overall I didn't have to do that. Oh my god, I can't believe I thought I saved him. Alright, try number three. Should let them go just now after a stand down soldier. After I use my ability. Let's see if that works this time. Move out of yes. the way, nurse. Yes. The cavalry's arrived. Ship guy showed up, so I actually had to replay chapter two and chapter three. And I had to be make sure I'm extremely nice to the bigger guy. I had to, you know, give him food twice, the cupcake and the kebab. Um, I had to, I had to be funny with him, um, joke with him at the bar and, uh, about something, the stick that hit him, something like that. <laughs> anyway, you have to be extremely nice to him to do, to get this, to save this, uh, Ernie guy. Don't shoot him. Sorry, nurse. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Ooh. Good job, buddy. Ernie, you are saved. Fantastico. I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day. But never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. It was Sheila Green that you shot. Her dad Walter didn't have anything to do with this. He's been dead for a long time. For reals? You found her father? That's amazing. I killed a woman? Damn, feels bad. Woman or not, she was a merciless killer. These woods will be safe, for now. All thanks to you. I wouldn't be so sure. Still, I'm glad I was there to witness the death of a legend. Death of a... Hey, that's gonna be the perfect title for my book. Just so we're clear, I refuse to have my name mentioned in it. Why? You are a hero. You went to the dark woods at night to look for your friend, and ultimately, you saved her from a gruesome death. You shouldn't have risked your lives for me. Maybe... What if I was supposed to die in that house? Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? Okay, this is a tough one. Um, let's be honest, right? I have cancer. I'm dying anyway. You? What? No way. You're shitting us, right? I wish I was. You've all put your necks on the line for someone who's one foot in the grave already. Why wouldn't we? You've been so nice to me. Damn. I don't know what to say. There is nothing to say. Let's get back to the farm. I bet George is up already. Someone's got to make him a sandwich. What about the new guy? Me? What about me? You wanna come to the farm with us? There's a room you can have, and, and I know George won't mind. He likes new people. Oh yeah, George is cool. Hmm. That would be nice, I suppose. But... Is that all right with you, Angie? Ah, uh, yeah. So I um, think we'll be can, we can be delighted to have him, right? We are not mean. We'll be delighted to have you. Uh, I'm assuming this is chapter four now. Uh -huh. Chapter four. Alright guys, chapter 
four. Chapter three was tough. It was tough. I had to replay it several times. But I'm glad it's over. Bloody Mary, who? You guys, go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but try not to upset any more serial killers. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. But it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep's poo. Those are well-trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. Cheap guy's funny. Okay, so what am I? You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. Is it a little cat? Oh, is it a different cat? Yes, my name tag. Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. Okay, so we have our last ability, Mila. Reanimate and control a fresh corpse. Interesting. Pull out cat's name to activate. Only on Brunhound's room. Right. Okay, interesting how that's gonna work. I can actually control a corpse. Uh, make another sandwich for George. Great. All right, anything here? Can I actually go back if I need to? <laughs> I probably could, uh, but we're not going to. Yeah. Ah, uh, George, you this way. Wow. Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? The cats. Just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. But don't worry. We can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. Hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, are you? Yeah. You hungry? Oh, you wouldn't mind a nice sarnie, yeah. Right, I'm on it. Okay, so he wants a sandwich, another one, of course. So let's try to make him another one. Uh, what do we want to make? Okay, let's do a. <laughs> he said he like he likes like super super um, easy stuff. So how about something like this? Yes, a gem sandwich. Okay, cool. That worked. Fantastic. What? Okay, maybe, maybe that didn't work. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be like this. Um, 
I don't have flashlight any longer. I do have like bullets and all this stuff still. And I still got... When you just can't be bothered. Right, I still got the sandwich. I haven't given it to him yet. Alright, so... Oh! Okay, we do have an axe. God. Oh, that's. Oh, that's all me. That's me. Did I just pick up? Okay, I got some kind of sort of key. It's got like a lion's head on top of it too, or on it. Last one. Uh, so I gotta bring this to quarantine area. I was made in 2019. <clears throat> or 20. Okay, so we got the key now. Is that the cat? Yeah, that's a cat. Man, he's got him bigger. Why is he so big? You look bigger today. Do I? Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay. But what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then you must make sure she consumes it. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible like Mary. But won't that kill her? No. It's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. 
you'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. You know what I should have done? I should have fed the horse <clears throat> while I was right, you know, right outside. Angie? It's the cancer, isn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Is there something I can do? Uh, there isn't just don't treat me like I'm dying. I really don't need that. You can keep it to yourself. I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. Mm. I could use a friend. But, you know, I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it, if I want. Oh yeah. This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. So I'm gonna take him up in his offer and stay for a while. The thing is, I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fuck up. And I could also use a friend, Angie. Okay. There's just one problem. The room, well, it's locked. And neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it? I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. What does it look like? It's, uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. Well, wait a second. <clears throat> I have it. I have the key. <laughs> wait, didn't I pick it up in the gym? Why do I still have it? Okay, so uh, let's give her the key, or try to, and let's feed Georgie. Okay, he's joining it, fantastic. Hey kitties, kitties. Should I talk to him? I probably should, huh? Mike's not talking. You alright, George? Uh, quite fine, dear, thank you. You alright? Okay. He's not a big talker today, which is totally fine with me. Uh, let's go and find uh, her. Whatever she went. So he said upstairs, right? Is it uh, like on the third floor? I know there were a couple of locked rooms, I think. Like this one. That was it. You found the key? I didn't realize that I've had it on me all along. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Shall we go in? Don't ask me, it's your room. One of the perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels, wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and Mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's something that floats your boat. But this house and this room, they're just so much better. In what way? No one's pretending anything here. This shit is real. So are the spiders. Just wait till you find one. I don't mind spiders. This place is oh, exactly what I need in my life right now. Jenny, 
Are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses? Because let's face it, this house is a bit shit. I don't care. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, in that case, enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. In Honiton? Please. The only thing that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I... I didn't mean to patronize you. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah? Right, uh, drive to Huntington, so I actually have to go outside and drive. Okay, so things I need to do, I think. Uh, sheep toy, hang on. I think. <laughs> yeah, that will be rude. So let's not do that. Uh, there's another room I haven't been in. But for now, let me do this. Fantastic. Friendship plus one. That is good. I think I should have done that earlier. Alright, so off we go. I save my game. Um, I do want to pet a horse if that is even possible to do. Um, I don't know if it's going to let me to go there or not. But we can try. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I did. So, <clears throat> hopefully your horse is happy, and hopefully that will do me good eventually. Fantastic. Alright, super sunny out. I'm assuming that's just early in the morning, that is why. Uh, I have no business snooping around working workshops right now. Fantastic, okay. Hey buddy, my hey, savior. Where are you off to? Honiton. Shopping? Not really. I was actually gonna give some blood, you know. Oh, like to uh, to save lives and stuff. Yeah, that's right. To save a life. Okay, anything else? That's it. like we got a storm coming so um <laughs> there it is oh and i got that umbrella of course uh, I'd better go on food from here. I don't want to alarm Mary by pulling up in front of her house. Okay, we gotta find this Mary. And we gotta feed our blood um, to her. I guess that Mary is really a bad person. Maybe when I'm down with Bloody Mary, I should bring some fish and chips home for George, Ginny, and Arno. Yeah, him too. What is this guy looking at? Playing with puddles? I've never been a mom. Can't say I understand kids. I guess I will never know. Um, yeah, he's just looking at the puddle. 
to be added. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can do anything. Right? How about a coin? Oh, no. Nothing to pay for here. A big commercial building like this is going to waste waiting for someone to rent it, but the business isn't exactly booming around here. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Looks like local kids scribbled something on the sign. Bloody Mary. Yeah, three times, huh? Okay, so we got... Okay, so this must be the Mary's house. Fantastic. Uh, let's see if she's home. Okay, we got the old fence. Uh, enter backyard if we need to. Okay, so we'll just take a look at the path. This narrow path seems to lead to the back of the house. Okay, so I'm assuming this front door is locked in, right? Ah, it's locked. Uh, that's not a good idea. What would I say to her? Hello, herbal crazy lady. Would you like to drink some of my blood? No, I need to find another way to get in. Okay. Looks like she's all the way on the third floor because there's a light on. Okay, so this is locked. How the hell did we get in? Oh! Hello, Moonlight. Can I call you that? Did you follow me here? To Honiton? Really? Boy, you're gonna wish you didn't. Hmm. I have a nasty feeling that nothing good's waiting for us here. But, since you're already here... Will you help me again? Let's break inside this shitty old house and give Bloody Mary her medicine, shall we? Press RB. Okay, so now I am a cat. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... Okay, obviously we're not jumping there. Um, where do we need to go? Where are we going? My goodness. That's not working. Okay, here we go. So now, um, we're gonna talk to these pipes, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, Bloody Mary spooked me. Okay, now what? Get out of here. And now. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What opened this? There's a freaking chainsaw here. Oh my god. This lady's crazy. Uh, he doesn't want to go inside. Obviously, he can't. How do we open any of the doors? Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, so maybe that's how. 
And I'm assuming I'll have to open a door for her. Maybe. Do we go that way? Is that way? Um, I don't know if I like this sound. Okay, so this is nothing, right? I can just jump on top of some things. I guess I have to go upstairs. Oh, we got something here. Oh crap, is she here? Oh, who is that? Oh my god, there's a man with no legs here. Okay, she's definitely bad. At first I... Thanks, buddy. This guy has no legs. That is awful. That is awful. Yeah, let me see if um What's this way? Because the more open the more doors I open the better, I'm assuming. Look at all this blood. Okay, at first I thought it was like, hey bloody Mary, you know, she doesn't sound too bad, she just drinks blood from the hospital, right? But now she kills people, so She's very bad. Oh crap. Not good. Not good. Is this supposed to happen? She's coming, she's gonna get me. I guess I should have hit somewhere. Get out of here! Oh my god! You stinking little carpet pooper! I'm not having another bleeding cat sneaking up in here! I hate her. Now, she actually is still- I thought that I'm gonna restart the game. But no, she actually buried this cat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this supposed to happen? I hate her. She's dying. She's going to die. All right, Bloody Mary, I had enough of you. What is this? It's a heart. I can't just carry a heart in my hand. Okay, so we gotta find something. Uh, go down to the basement. Should we go down to the basement first? Let's go to the basement first. Okay, so now I can go there. Okay, we gotta figure out how to p 
pick up this heart, maybe somehow. Oh, hide, I can hide. Where, what the hell am I hiding at? Like, what is this? Okay. That's where the guy was, right? So I can hide here too, okay? That's good to know. Take brain. No, I'm not tasting that. Add own blood. Should I go ahead and do that? Uncommon pot of vegetable soup is simmering in the stove. It looks like it looks pretty nasty and smells even worse. Okay, let's add my own blood. Okay, right. Adding blood to Mary's soup is definitely the way to go, but I'll need something sharp to cut or stab my finger. I uh, didn't have. No, I don't have it with me anymore. Okay, so we're gonna have to go elsewhere to find it. Grandfather's clock, I can hear any tickets, probably needs to. Okay. I need to wind up the clock with the key first. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with the clock as well. This is just the highest place. Got it. Okay, before we go upstairs, let's go and um uh, <laughs> got this bedroom. All typewriter, it doesn't appear to be fully functional. Take page. Okay, we have some kind of page for something. It's Mary's schedule. Jimmy breakfast. Uh, oh my god. She basically eats people. I bet it's an old copy of Huntington Tribune. I bet that in the past they wrote about Mary when they cut her with all that stolen, stolen blood. This should be cut once she's been released. That's crazy. She can go to jail. Uh, is this going back, right? It's going back, I think. Oh, shit. That's not good. Hide! No! No! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's okay, save my game. So do not go there, got it. Okay, so there she is, I'm not gonna go there. And um, I didn't go to this room yet, but this is exactly where the kitty basically died. Here's that little bottle he dropped. I wonder if I just didn't go into this room, what would happen? Okay, so I've been here, I've been there. Let's go now to, um, all the way upstairs. There's a pig here. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's Jeremy. Okay. Normally, you'd expect the dog size of a German Shepherd eaten from a bowl like this. But this one clearly belongs to this horrible looking pig. The name is Jeremy. It's written on the side. Is that what the pig's called? What the heck? You don't like me. Hmm. We need to fix the clock, we need to know what time it is. We need to know what to feed Jeremy, maybe? Yeah. yeah. He definitely doesn't like me. Okay. So what the hell now, right? Like, where do we go? Uh, I think I've, like, been everywhere. That's back to the basement, I think. This is locked. Oh, let me think. Let me think. Can we pick some stuff up with this newspaper, maybe? Oh my god, yes. 
can. Okay, so there's a heart and there's something else, like a liver. What do we need first? That is not... I don't know. Let's just take this. I still got some newspaper left, so that's good. Okay, we got the heart. Um, what else was there that we can take? Or well, something else, right? Yeah. We got brain. I'm not tasting this. Okay, let's try it. No, no, she doesn't want to. Okay, so is that where? Um, no, this is closed. Okay, well, let's try to feed the pig, maybe. And um, this is back to the basement. There was nothing there. Let's go back upstairs and go back to the pig. going to get a uh, brain. Let's do a heart. What's wrong? I bet you love this. You don't want to eat dinner, Jeremy. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh, Jeremy. You poor bastard. What has she done to you? She's going to eat him later. That's a bad pig. Bad pig. Okay, so what do I do? Put something else in there? Okay, he wants a lot. See? I'm friendly. I'm totally friendly. Okay. You just eat there, Jeremy. Okay, what is this? Lots of corny trinkets. For slain pigs, Mary is really obsessed with them, but why? Uh, let's take a look at the book. A quick browse reveals the diary mostly talks about pigs' dietary development and training. There's also some more intimate Intimate details that make me wish I've never looked up the damn book in the first place. Okay. This looks like a Valentine's Day's gift for the pig. I doubt it. That poor bastard only sees to enjoy meat and blood. I bet she bought this heart-shaped box of sweets for herself. Look inside the box. There's a key there. Got the clock key. Okay, we got the clock key. Okay, and now what is this here? This shaft seems to run down to the basement. It's crazy, but I think she really built it to shell out pigs. Oh my god. Okay. Right, so we do have clock key, so let's try to turn the clock. I don't know what to turn it to, but. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's ticking out, so it's 3 or 5. Three or five. Uh, I can send it manually as well if I need to. Okay, but what time is it? Like, how do I set the clock? Let's see. Okay, so. I'm assuming I just got to pick one of this. Um, breakfast? No, she needs to leave that kitchen place, right? Lunchtime, Jeremy. Drink. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh god, okay, well that worked, whatever that is. Uh, I should probably hide. No, no, no. We've already drained today. What's wrong with this thing? Okay, so that didn't work. Um. So she already did that today. That means it's past 3 p.m., right? So um, let's try 6 p.m. Maybe it's 6 p.m. Okay, that's probably worked. She's gonna feed the pig twice. Okay, so she left. That means I can uh, be able to go past this place now, right? Whatever this thing says. Oh my goodness. It's this guy with my legs. Hello there, Angel. I've been waiting for you. Uh, what the fuck happened to you? I don't like it when strangers call me Angel. Sorry, I wasn't aware there was someone waiting for me. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't aware there was someone waiting for me. I would have come sooner. Oh, don't worry about it. Now that you're closer, I don't think you are who I took you for anyway. And who was that? It was... I don't even know. Someone else. Doesn't matter. He was ready to go. Look at me. How could anything still fucking matter? What's your name? Ben. I used to run a barber shop. But that was then. And now it's gone. Everything's gone. Did she do this to you? Well, what do you think? But why? One day, I went for the pig. I tried to strangle it. I wanted to beat that fucker's fat ugly face into a pulp. See, you can't defeat Mary without killing the pig first. I mean, you can try, but it's like punching a concrete wall. It just ain't gonna work. So, she amputated your limbs as punishment for attacking her pig? <laughs> yeah, but that's not even the worst part. She made me watch. I'm sorry. It's fine now. I've accepted my fate. I'm just a dead man, waiting for my angel to take me home. So, you're a prisoner here? I think so, yes. My memory's fuzzy, and the worst part, I can't tell what's real from what's in my mind. I'm real. You're real? Right. What about the big spider? The one right behind you? Um... What spider? Spider? What spider? Oh. It's gone now. I must have just imagined it. What's the deal with the pig? That fucking pig. They share a bond, they do. She loves the pig, and the pig loves her. But there's more to it. It's almost as if that bastard is the source of her power. She bottle feeds the pig with the blood she drains from my body. And in return, I know it's crazy, but that 
damned animal makes her strong as an ox. And honestly, there's no stopping her in a fight. I saw it with my own eyes. If you want to get to Mary, deal with the pig first. Right. Noted. How long have you been here? Weeks? Months? Oh, I don't know. Everything's a blur. But I know one thing. I won't be here for much longer. Don't say that. And neither will you. What? How do you... I saw you on the other side. Oh, yes. It's only a matter of time before we both cross over for good. Is there anything I can do for you? I... I'd love to give you a haircut before my time's up. I don't think that's possible. No? Why? You know why. Oh, right. You thought I meant here? No. Just find my other barber shop when you're ready. The one on Burnhouse Lane. Burnhouse Lane? How do you know about that? I keep dreaming about it, and in my dreams I can walk and hold scissors again, but the shop's empty. No one ever comes. Please, will you come? It would mean a lot to me if you did. Yes, I'll come. Thank you. Thank you. I have to go. Yes. You fly, my angel. Fly like a bird. Okay, so he, um, <laughs> I can probably check him, check with him back in the birdhouse lane when I, next time I go there. There's one last little in the box, I'll take it. Fantastic. Okay, so I got something to pinch my freaking finger with. Um, but like, I still got some stuff. Well, this is like old, so maybe I don't need this. So maybe we'll try to go ahead and put my blood in the kitchen. Uh, I think we have to go downstairs for that now. Because that's where the pig is. Uh, yeah. Okay. And where she might be? She's feeding. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun. No, no. I didn't know how. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Bloody Mary. Okay, so I think we're gonna try this again. Um, well, the phone is gonna ring, right? I have to hide. That's upstairs. I don't think we have to go. We're gonna have to go downstairs now. There's nothing. There's nothing here for me to do. I've done everything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about the needle. Okay, I got the needle. Uh, I just need to use it in the soup, I believe. She didn't see me. <clears throat> Fantastic. Um, was it a phone that was ringing? Mrs. Willis. Miss. That's a Miss door. Willis. What do you want? My name is Detective Kagan, and this is Detective Underseat. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Can we come in? Not really. I'm in the middle of something. You're not going to keep us out in this rain, are you? It's just a standard procedure. We won't take long. Oi! I said! You just barged in! That's rude! Very, very rude! We're looking for someone. A man. Tall, dark hair, in his 40s, 
Goes by the name Benjamin Mitchell. What's that got to do with me? He's gone missing two months ago. So? Lots of people do. Right, of course. And when they do, it's our job to look for them. Yeah? Well, it's not to do with me. So go away and leave me alone. Is that blood on your fridge door? What? Oh, that. I... I had chicken liver for lunch. Ah, chicken liver. That's my favorite. Don't be disgusting, Dave. But that soup smells nice. You and your veggies? I just don't get you people. Look, I'm very busy. What? What's that sound? Did you hear that? Yes, like little feet tapping on the floorboards. Is there someone else in the house of you, Mrs. Willis? No. But someone's clearly walking upstairs. It's just the bloody rain tapping on the bloody window. Let's check it out, Detective. I bet she's gonna kill him. Wait, it stopped. Yep. Don't say I didn't bloody warn you. Shoot her! Step back, Mrs. Willis. She just killed the person in front of you. My God. It's Miss. Miss Willis. Hmm. Why is it so hard to remember? What a mess! Now I'll have to clean up these two. But not without my cleaning tool. You're such a good pig, Jeremy. Thank you. Okay, now she's talking pig language. Looks like it's time for plan B. What's the plan B? Oh, to kill the pig, right? Because, you know, everything is basically locked. The doors are locked, the windows are locked. God damn it, I could really use that gun. Okay. Now what? Um, make Mary consume Angie's blood, get the gun. Let's see. I thought I, thought I was gonna poison her freaking soup. Is that like another thing anymore? Use a needle to draw to draw a drop of blood. Why is it? I mean, why is it not my obje objective anymore? That's the question. All right, so let's just let's just see what happens. The soup's been poisoned with my blood. Objective completed, but it wasn't on there. But while I wait for her to eat it, I should get that gun. I looked like Jeremy... It looked like Jeremy took it upstairs with him. He's a clever little bastard, I give him that. Okay, wait for Mary to eat the soup, get the gun. Let's get the gun. So the needle is gone. Oh, there it is.
I feel like I just want to go and save my game from the basement somewhere. Oh, Jerry, me. Okay, there he is with the freaking gun. Give oh, me yeah. the gun, Jeremy. I fed you, buddy. Come on, you don't need it. He doesn't Picks know what that is. Guns. I hope. Stay away from that hole. He's gonna drop it in there, in here. Yep. Bastard. Jeremy just effed everything up. Okay, is that... That's gotta be the basement, right? You spiteful bastard. What's in? Whatever, dude. Okay, find the gun. Um, it's gotta be in the basement, though. So we have to be careful. We're just gonna go downstairs. If she's blocking my way, I would probably have to use the clock again. I know she's going she's getting the cleaning supplies, I don't know where. Hopefully it's not in the basement. Oh my god. You two ugly birdies will have to wait your turn. Vegetables. Oh. I'd have to be mad to eat those bloody things. Oh no. He's gonna feed it to the pig. Oh my god. It's time for your soup, idiot. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't give me that. I've had a difficult day. I don't care. Oh. You don't care, do you? I shit on you and your fucking soup. Oh, yeah? Didn't I bloody tell you? I'm having a difficult bloody day! Fuck you, bitch. Nice. Real nice. Right. Well, here comes your soup. Whether you want it or not. have to put up with any of your dilly dallying anymore. Okay, so I'm wondering that could have been avoided. What if I didn't poison, you know? What if I didn't um, put my finger and drop my blood in there? Well, we'll find out, right? Let's go ahead and save the game. And try to find that freaking gun. It wasn't here somewhere. Yeah, that's definitely where it is. Oh, it's poisonous. Okay. Search. That was not here. Okay, let's go back. Gotta be it. What?
What? I'm gonna fucking die? What in the world? How? How do I? It's a good thing I saved, I guess. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to die. Maybe I'm gonna go into um, Burnhouse Lane. Oh, I bet that's, this is this is supposed to happen. Yeah. Omar. Hmm? It's you again. Who else did you expect? Hi. You are right. I don't know. Am I? I don't think so. You look ill, honey. And that sweet, rotten smell of death on you is stronger than ever. I wouldn't know. I can only smell old kebabs in here. Yes. Like you and me, they decay slowly. Soon this place will rot to hell. And I don't even know if I care. Why? What happened? Well... I'll be honest. Things have been pretty fucked up lately. What's wrong? <sighs> it's Ruby. She's gone. Ruby? Oh, the new big girl. From the cellar? Yeah. She went feral the other night. Just like Destiny. So, I closed the shop. There's no one here that needs my food anymore. I feel like I should leave, but I don't know where to go. Where did Ruby go? The streets, I think. I can hear the pounding of her feet at night sometimes. I just turn off the lights and hide. My advice. If you happen to bump into her, make sure you have enough bullets on you. Or just run. That's what I'd do. She's slow as shit. Just dash past her and you'll be all right. Have you been eating? You look so skinny. With Ruby gone, I've lost my appetite. All this food in here, and I just feel sick looking at it. You're wasting away. You shouldn't worry about me. Don't you have enough problems of your own? Because I'm good, I'm okay. I'll go somewhere, get some sleep. Yeah, that's what I need. A long, long sleep with no dreams. You can't just give up, you know. I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. And I've accepted it. What else can I do? Just wait. Be patient. Sooner or later, someone new will come along. And you'll make food for them. Isn't that what you want? No. Not anymore. I can see things clearly now. And I'm okay with all of this. I must go. We must all go, in the end. Any other threats out there that I should know about? Well, have you met the dead guys? Yeah. I met a whole bunch at the cemetery the other day. They looked like burnt corpses. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to eat me. What are they? <sighs> They're the poor sods who won't accept their fate. That's all. They were weak in life, and they're just as weak in death. Sometimes a single bullet is enough to bring them down. You still have your gun, yes? I wish. But no, I lost it. Well, I'm sure there's another one somewhere out there. How do I get back now? Why? What's there to go back to? Would you understand if I told you? Hmm. You're right, I probably wouldn't. This place has been my home for as long as I can remember. But it's not mine. Not yet, anyway. All right, all right. I know just the thing. There's this guy, Ben. Ben the Barber. He said he was expecting you. Expecting me? 
said something about a haircut. You two had an appointment? Not exactly, but... Well, his shop's here on Burnhouse Lane, just a few doors down from mine. The problem is the road is blocked. You'll have to go out the back door, then cut through the old swimming pool. But no rush. Have a nice smoke first. I'll open the door when you're ready. Right. I'll have a smoke now. Alright. Find Ben the Barber, uh, cut through the old swimming pool. So, uh, I think I have to cut through the old swimming pool first to find the barber. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, did I save my camera already? You done? Then cross over the counter. I'll take you to the back door. Okay. Um, Not that way. <laughs> just try to see what happens. This okay. way. Let's go. Good luck out there. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Thanks. Yeah. See you next time. All right, Omar. Thanks, buddy. Always a pleasure. So let's go. Hopefully, we'll find that gun. Maybe he'll give me a gun. I don't know. I can go here. This is just burning and stuff. All swimming pool. Uh, nothing by uh, towels. Beware of showers. Interesting. It's one of showers. I'm gonna save my game, so I don't need to do this. Uh, hopefully, you know, showers. Okay, we got a ladder that goes up and a ladder that goes down. Um, go up first, maybe. So I move these chains. Okay, hang on a second. What am I? What am I supposed to pick up? Hmm. And for what? Chlorine. Okay, let me go down first and see what I gotta do with this. Okay, that's poisonous gas. I could turn off that gas here, but the valve is missing. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay, so this is not good. So, somehow we gotta go to find a valve first. What the hell is a valve? Okay, let's just move stuff around. Oh, wait, chlorine, chlorine, right? I'm trying to think what chlorine has to do with your gas. Chlorine hazard area. Chlorine hazard area. Uh, okay, now I won't have to drag that thing all the way up there. Uh, that's what I needed to do, okay. Anything else? No, this is done. This is done. Okay, so how the hell do I get up there? Okay, 
I saved my game recently, so I'm just gonna go for it. See if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And there is. Okay, fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There are zombies there. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We're doing it seven off. Okay, so this is where I put it. Uh, turn the water on, take valve. We turn the water on? According to the signs, I can turn the water in the showers on and off here. Hmm. Read instructions. Fill the tank with chlorine. It says here that a single dose shouldn't exceed 100 millimeters, milliliters, but I feel it wouldn't hurt to add a little more. Okay, so we can grab this, guys. Fill the tank with chlorine, sure. Put the entire bottle in there, and now the chlorine levels are way over the limit. Okay, maybe we'll kill the zombies that are in there. We can go ahead and take this. Turn the water on. Oh, yes. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. Too much chlorine is bad. Okay, turn it back off, right? Because we got to go through there, I'm assuming. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this valve with us. There we go. Alright, so I feel like I should go ahead and... Um, I don't know if I need to do this or not, but I have the valve and it let me take it, so I'm assuming I really need... I need it to uh, do something in here later. Probably could have done this later, but oh well. On. Okay, gas is off. Uh, let's go ahead and take the valve. Uh, search the corpse. What you got? Pistol ammo. This should come in handy. Fantastic. Anything else? This poor guy died poisoned by gas. The looks on his face proves that it wasn't an easy death either. Oh my god. Okay. So let's go where the zombies are, were, and see what's up there. Showers are off. Oh my god, there's another freaking zombie here. Do I need to go there? No, maybe not. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this one was empty. Oh my god, do I really have to dig through this one? Yeah, I guess I am. That was all for nothing. Okay, I feel good about this one. There's somebody to the right of me too. I mean, that's not gonna work. We get a gun. She's dead, okay. Not strong enough, can't do this anymore. Goodbye, Burnhouse Lane. 
Okay, they all turn into zombies. I have a gun. Let's go ahead and uh, do we get reloaded? No, we only have 10 bullets. I'm surprised I didn't find anything in this freaking toilet there. So we can now shoot the zombie. the bullet. This sucks. Okay, got more ammo. Ah, there's another one here. Yeah, probably a good idea to save now. Search mailbox. All right, well, we got pretty decent amount of pistol ammo now. Um, thirty-five. Where's the barber shop? to um to shoot her Miss Alamo plus 10 barbershop locked it's not good I have a key I don't have a key but she freaking ate it and of course all right big girl let's see what you got She's definitely not very fast. Did you have the key? She got some kind of mask on. She didn't really have the freaking key? Well, why did I kill her? Oh, now it's not locked. Actually, I think I had to kill her. Got it. Angel, I'm here. Come closer. You came. I knew you would. It's you. The torso guy. I prefer Ben. Ben the barber, at your service, Angeline. How did you grow your limbs back? How? It's simple. That fat evil woman chucked a pot full of boiling hot soup all over me. And I died. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, mate. It's alright. I was too tired to carry on living anyway. And here, on Burnhouse Lane, I can finally give my very last haircut. The finest I've ever done. So, she didn't eat any of that soup. So, she didn't eat any of the soup? No. Why? Did you poison it? Yeah. Well, sort of. Mary hated the vegetables. She only made it for me. She said a healthy diet was meant to help my body make new blood quicker. And yet, it ultimately killed you. That it did. Ironic, isn't it? Ah, oh, those Brussels sprouts always made me wretch. I can still smell them, even after death. You died? Does that mean I'm dead too? You're not dead. Not yet, Angel. But this dreadful illness you have is killing you fast. You're one foot in the grave already. It's just a matter of time. How do you know about it all? There are no secrets on Burnhouse Lane. I, myself, 
have been a frequent visitor here for a long time. Enough to get used to it, and I can tell you, this place is horrible, but it kind of grows on you. Stop it, Ben. The only thing that grows on me is my fucking cancer. Quiet day. I don't see any other customers. It's always quiet here nowadays. The shop is just a ghost of its former self. The kind of people that live on Burnhouse Lane, they... I guess they don't have a great need for barbers anymore. That's what it is. What people? There's hardly anyone here. Oh, there's people here, all right. They sit at home, quiet-like, with their doors locked tight. But why? I guess they choose to suffer in solitude. It's not exactly something you want to share, is it? You didn't help me. Did you not hear the gunshots outside? Forgive me, Angel. I couldn't interfere. That thing was yours to kill. I nearly died. You could have... You could have opened the door and let me in. That's not how it works, I'm afraid. She had to die. There was no other way. Who was she? She was Ruby. You already know that. Yes, but I feel like I'm missing something here. I want to know the truth. Who was the real Ruby? What does it matter? Okay, um, I kind of want to know, honestly. Let's go ahead and use my ability. I got two uses, right? Come on, Ben. Tell me. Who was she? She was merely a voice inside your head. A voice that says more. A voice? It's gone now, but that's okay. You never liked it anyway. Did you say something about cutting my hair? Yes, the chair's ready for you. But I thought barbers were for men only. Not this one. Women are always welcome here at Ben's. Especially you, Angeline. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready for the haircut. Then please, take a seat. If you require a cigarette first, the ashtray's over there. I'll wait. Uh, I don't know why he wants me to save my game so bad, uh, but let's just do that. Okay. Oh, the scissors feel good in my hands again. God, how I've missed this. It feels like there's this electricity flowing through my veins instead of blood. I wish I'd understood it all before, you know? Sometimes, things just inexplicably happen to us. But at the same time, these things are what's meant to be. I mean, a grave digger doesn't bury you in the ground because it pleases him. A bee doesn't sting you to cause you pain. Or a doctor. A doctor doesn't cut you open to punish you for something you did. They do it because those are the ways of the world and always have been. What? God. We were happy back then, weren't we? Long ago, in another life. Little kids splishing and splashing in the puddles on rainy afternoons. Mother's calling us home for dinner. So innocent and pure. So delightfully blithesome. Without a care in the world. I saw a kid playing in the puddle today. I used to do the same when I was little. Yeah, well... Now, take a deep breath and let it all go. Surround yourself with sweet nothingness. It's cold here, 
and it's dark. But it's a good kind of cold and a good kind of dark. You knew this would come. The moment you start to fade is simply the preparation for what's about to happen. The parts of who you once were begin to crumble and fall like an old tape. And you realise Seriously? Seriously? I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. I had to do it. Forgive me. Are you kidding me? There's our sleeping beauty waking up. Snooping around me bloody house, were we? Naughty, naughty. Okay, so somehow she has me. Maybe it was just a dream or other world. Maybe he killed me for, uh, for a reason. Okay, now I'm supposed to be nice to people here, but I'm never gonna be nice to her. Let me go, you bitch! She got me tied How up. How about some bloody gratitude? You would have died in that basement if I hadn't showed up just in time to pull you out. Hmm. <laughs> I'd rather die than give my blood to your ugly fucking pig. Don't you dare talk like that about Jeremy. He's better than all of you bloody bastards. Seriously. What's with everyone being so bloody rude today? I'm just gonna ignore it. Truth is, I'm really glad you showed up. That stupid bloke was getting all dried up way too fast. I had to let him go. But you... Well, you... You look full of blood. I think it's the start of a long and beautiful friendship, dear. But let's see how you bleed first. Shall we? This might work out just fine for us. She's gonna taste some of oh, no. blood. Looks like we're out of needles. That's not good. I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait. What? I think I had another box up in the attic somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Would you get out of this? My oh, head's getting tired. <laughs> Finally got it. Okay, we broke loose. <clears throat> Do I still have my gallon wonder? Full of blood? I'll give you full of blood. Alright. <clears throat> Face Bloody Mary. Okay, so what's going on? Oh, cactus, cactus. Uh, I don't think it's a good for anything other than decoration. I might as well stack it on the shelf in my room. Yeah, if I'm alive. Mm. Okay, face Bloody Mary. So, I don't have a gun. But I feel like I need to kill the pig first, right? I don't know where she went. Anyway, I think I still have to get the pig first. So we gotta go. Why are we going? What? There's up. Hang on, we're not gonna go there yet, right? Maybe that's what she went. But first, let's see if the pig is there. Here you, oh, you bloody piggy. Okay, kick it. Uh, let's kick it. See ya. <laughs> now we'll see if pigs can fly. <laughs> it's a hatty pile of shit. Let's do this now. 
We'll see if pigs can fly. Now we'll see if pigs can fly. Oh, it's got. Oh my god. Jeremy will not be speaking in class today. Okay, that was kind of funny. Sorry, piggy. Okay, uh, that's done. Is piggy really dead, though? Maybe she's not. Um, do I really need to go there? Is there anything? Um, what was this? Ah! Oh, man. Okay, we got some more uh, pistol ammo. Good guy. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to go back up. Was there anything that was here that um, I can still enter now? Because I think maybe this door was closed or something before. I don't actually remember. Yeah, I can't go down. Yeah, I think this is it. I have to go up. So let me just save my game one more time. All right, game is saved. Let's go and hopefully kill that uh, freaking lady. Go to attic. There will be no going back once I face Mary. I should make sure I'm ready for this final fight. I think I'm ready. I looked around first. No, I uh. Well, what about the clock? Yeah, I can't do anything. Now well, this has got to be it. I can't go anywhere else. Joe Willis. Ik Rose Baum E A Willis Bill Willis. Okay. Take a look at the years. 25, 42, 84, 55. 1, 2, 3, 4. They're numbered. Okay, took a screenshot of that just in case I need this. Mary. Uh, this one's luck. I don't have anything to unlock it with. Okay, more piece of ammo. Fantastic. It's uh, <clears throat> loaded. Use control panel. Wait, why? Where's Mary? Uh, lock, lock the password. Okay. Mm, maybe the names of them are passwords? Okay, so that is safe too. Uh, use control. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, Mary. Away. Oh. You shouldn't be so tough out without a pig. Oh. Let's see how you run without your skinny, pretty legs. I think this is a compliment. Okay, we got her. Oh, she had this tiny little key inside her pocket. I wonder what that's for. Probably that suitcase next to it, right? Uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh, that's it? Okay. So, let's try to use that key. I bet it unlocks Numeri's biggest secret. Well, what about the control panel? <clears throat> okay. So that's where the password is going to come from, right? One, two, three, four. Um, okay. We can wait that for a minute. Let's do the um, the secret first. It's a gun. A gun, huh? It's not just the ordinary one. This is a real hand cannon. Take this order. Well, yes, I'm going to take that. Okay, we got an awesome gun. It is weird that, you know, she has 
She had that gun, really. Okay, so let me think about the puzzle. We got four letters. One, two, three, four. Let's reason to the first one is only it's M A J B D. Second one is A N C I O. Third one is R C A N L. And the fourth one is K L M R E. Okay, so this says uh, one, yeah, four of them. January through March. This is January through March. Uh, January through. What? What? Okay, so one thing I see is that <clears throat> third quarter. I don't know. This So this lady here number three, right? It's A E, so something is missing there, right? Lockdown passwords change orderly. Change quarterly. So, as of right now, it's September, right? As we know from the calendar from the farmhouse. When we started the day on the September 3rd, I believe. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going to read them, I'm just going to look closer. So... January is missing M, and June is missing M. As was any. And yeah, we do have A in here. Okay, so <clears throat> we got that unlocked. Fantastic. Um, we could have bought him. Oh, no way! I didn't check her pearls. Oh my god. I should have checked her pearls. That is crazy. I'm already do this. Okay, so let's see if we can check her pearls. No, there's no way she survived those so many bullets. Okay. So there's, she's not some kind of superhero, so yeah, there's no way to avoid that. So I'm just gonna have to, um, <clears throat> go ahead and open this guy and just continue, I guess, and let her bite me. And we'll take this gun.
can't believe she beat me. That is crazy. Yeah. I agree. Me neither. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here, I guess. And I'm assuming that that's end of the chapter has been almost two hours. It's a long one. It's time to leave Honiton and never come back. Okay. Uh, I can't run. So I don't know if I need to go back from behind the fence or something. I forgot to turn the light off. That's unfortunate. At least Bloody Mary is dead. I'm glad she is. She was not a very nice lady. That bite on my leg is really starting to hurt. I won't be able to run. The wound must be deeper than I thought. Wait. Did I succeed in the end? I mean... The soup was a fiasco, but Mary did drink my blood in the end. Straight from my leg. Speaking of which, I must put a dressing on it when I get home. Yeah, I guess then she did really drink the blood. So, I mean... It's way past midnight already. The town's asleep. That's what the big cat again. Meant. This town is always asleep. And park so far away. In hindsight, it was really unnecessary. Oh, wait. Wasn't supposed to uh, get the fish and stuff? Guess not. Chapter 5. Fantastic. Alright, Chapter 5. Let's see what the name of this. The Valley of Many Noises. Got it. Burnhouse Lane, find me. Interesting. Should just drown back home and sell it, huh? Don't forget the the leg is still bleeding. Yeah, I can't. I still cannot run. But how did I get here? There's find me written on it in big red letters. I feel like. The smashes was left here for me. This could only mean one thing. A new task. Right. Uh, okay. All of a sudden I can run and find again. Got my new pistol, look at that. A desert eagle. Don't breathe the sea air. Is this supposed to mean something to me? <laughs> the terrifying world of horror. Waxworks, crazy. Okay, so we got the museum here. Wax museum. Creepy. This is dead end, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. We go inside the museum. Nurse! Nurse! 
Wake up! Come quick! You need to save him! This way, hurry! He's in the stable! Well, if you move, I mean, I can probably... I go a little faster. Okay. Let's go to the stable. Actually, I want to go up. Can I? <laughs> yeah, I actually can. Okay. Oh, is it the horse? No way. Not a horsey. Oh my god, it is a horsey. What's wrong with him? Is he ill? Oh, please, nurse, do something. Make him better. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Richard's gone. I'm not a vet. I don't know what to do. He's dead. There's nothing I can do. Dang it. Okay, so um, let's try to be as nice as we can here. I'm sorry, Karen. The rich is gone. Gone? But how? Why? He was fine yesterday. No. I fed him before like I left. This. That's not fair. He's a good horse. We're all gonna miss him. Oh, bloody hell. Richard, you silly old sausage. Bye, Richard. I've only known you for a short time, but... I thought you were a very sweet and a very lovely horse. I wish I had a chance to get to know you better. Yeah, farewell, matey. You were one hell of a horse. You ran like the wind. I was always proud of you. I'm glad I didn't sell you to those bloody Flanagans I am. Gosh, look on their face when I said no. <laughs> Bastards. What if... I, I just thought, uh, you remember to feed Richard every day, did you? R what? Because look at him, poor thing. He's skin and bones. Are you saying it's my fault? Well, it is someone's fault. The poor bugger didn't just drop dead for no reason. So pardon me if I'm a little pissed off to see my old friend dead like this. So let me ask you again. Did you or did you not feed Richard as you were meant to? Uh, I fed him every day. Yes, I fed him every day. You sure? Yes, I am. It wasn't even my job, but I did it anyway. You know why? Because I really liked Richard. Believe it or not, you're not the only one that's upset by his death. Ah! Bollocks to that! You could all just fuck off! He's definitely upset. He'll come around. Let's give him some time. Okay, so we gotta figure out what happened to the horse. Or maybe I need to just go and talk to him. Why is this all black and white too? It's okay. Well that doesn't help anything ever. Where is he? Oh, this is it. I should probably make another sandwich for George. Okay. Mmm, sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Is it this way? Yeah. Maybe. 
No, it's not this way. Uh, okay, now we got some color back. So let's go ahead and prepare a meal and make him another sandwich. Uh, let's see, what do I need to pick this, this time? What? Um, what's wrong with the music? All right, how about ham and cheese sandwich? Looks like we got oh, we're out of ham. What? Cheese? There's no cheese left. Someone eating it all. Mayonnaise? What is going on? Are we out of everything? Okay, we do have lettuce. <laughs> is this gonna work? Come on. Probably not, right? No, that's a strange sandwich. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, so we have lettuce. Uh, let's do cucumber. Yeah. Let's try that. Kidding me. Okay, I got a bacon sandwich. All it is inside of it is just bacon. That is it. I want to make him happy, so... So, bread, bacon, and bread. Now, where's that silly old man gone now? I gotta find George and give him the sandwich. Okay. Um, yeah, what's today's date, by the way? 10th of September. September, okay. So where is this George at? He's not here. He was outside. The heck? I'm assuming he's not here and I'm assuming I gotta go back inside the house and um, check out where the water leak is coming from. I just so. Yeah, nobody's here. Okay, so let's just go back and um, check in that water leak. Okay, here we go. Um, let's go upstairs. Not through here, though. Yeah, through here. <laughs> so it's to the right. Is there a bathroom here somewhere? There he is. What are you doing, George? Tell Steve that we're going tomorrow, will ya? We need him to get everything ready. Steve? I didn't mean to look, but we found it by accident. It was just a matter of time. You know what he's like. Naive little fool. Who did she marry yet? We'll never know. Steve isn't here. It's me, Angie. Point. Have it your way. Sarah always listened to me. For you, you were always trouble. Snap out of it, George. I know. I'm sorry. I tried. Oh, come on. You're flooding the house. Sorry, dear. I, I just... What am I supposed to think about this? Oh, he's been looking for Steve all day, and it's like he's bloody vanished. Well, wherever he is, he's not going to be in this bath, is he? Out we go, George. Oh, they're in the kitchen. What? The pearls. They're in the kitchen where you left them. Remember? Oh, oh I knew I should have called the police as soon as I saw them. Let's get you out of this bath, George. What? No, not yet. I'll drive. I told you. George. You'll have to return these. Return and apologize. I won't have it any other way. 
Goodness gracious me. A common thief under my roof. What's it come to? Okay, so it sounds like Steve might have stole some pearls <laughs> and hid them somewhere in the kitchen. Showering in your clothes. What's wrong with you? You shouldn't have taken it, son. It wasn't yours in the first place, and it sure as hell ain't yours now. George, do you hear me? These are your dirty secrets. Boy, well, won't have anything to do with it. Oh, no. It's between you and her. Is that cold water? No, that's fine. But, Steve? Steve! No! You had your whole life ahead of you, Steve! That didn't have to end like this. You, you always had it in you. This darkness. This stupid desire to destroy yourself. The sun? No. Oh, he never had a son. Uh, I guess let's get George out. Right. I'm sorry, but I'm getting you out, whether you want it or not. I don't want me to die. Maybe the water is cold, right? The fire will warm you up soon enough. You'll be alright, yeah? But... What was that all about, George? Well, I... Uh, to be honest, I don't quite remember, dear. But since you're here, we could do with a nice sandwich, if you're not too busy right now. I've already made one. Except we didn't have a lot of stuff left in the fridge, so it <clears throat> might be a little different. I'm sure it's not as bad as you say, dear. Okay, so hopefully he'll like it. I think he did. I think that means good. Yep, he's joined it. Fantastic. Ashes, ashes, dust to dust. Okay, so what's next? Nothing is next. I don't have any objectives. Are we talking a little more? Okay. I'm quite all right now, thank you. Okay, so he's good. Um, let's go back to the kitchen. Think of check, check on these pearls. I don't see anything in the kitchen. Sign it day again. I think this is all good. Sheep Margie, I think that's her name. Um, looks like he's doing okay. So what's next? Why is it still black and white besides the kitchen? That's what I would get. Some, something's not right. Jenny? Where are you? Down here! I found something! Okay, <clears throat> Jenny found something. Ah, uh, there's something written on the edge of the photo. Steve. Well, hello Steve. Nice monster. So maybe that's George's son, maybe? I don't know. That had to be upstairs, right? Uh, which room was it? Oh, it wasn't this one. It had to be upstairs. I guess it could be in the basement too. But the whole wall upstairs shook. We did the wrong thing. 
pardon? We shouldn't have killed her. It was the wrong thing to do. Look, Arno. Kieran didn't really have a choice. He had to shoot him. Her. She wouldn't hurt us. I know it. We made a terrible mistake, and now we'll pay for it. Mate, you didn't see the cellar in that house. It was literally full of... I don't mean to be rude, but can I please ask you to leave? I have some things to think through, and I'd really rather be alone right now. Yeah, okay, sure. Sorry. I saved your life, you dummy, and I'll let you stay here. That's what I get, huh? Okay, so I guess that was coming from the basement. So that's where we're going next. See? A secret door. <laughs> it was well hidden behind these shelves, <coughs> but I had a feeling there was something special about this basement. Is it locked? Of course it's locked. You ever seen a door like this that wasn't? And not just with the normal lock. Oh no, it's some fancy electronic device. I don't quite understand. But I will figure it out. I'll get in there. Even if I have to blow this fucker up. Uh, what were you looking for here and why? There's bad news, we should leave it alone. What were you looking for here? And why? There's something here. Something that even George doesn't know about. Remember that fucking priest? He knew about it, and he wanted to find it too. Huh. But the bastard was looking in the wrong fucking place. Okay, that's the lab. Like the weed lab, I think. That's what the old caretaker ran. I think you know exactly what's inside. And something tells me it isn't just a 12 year old pile of splits. I'm only trying to find something to do on this stupid farm. I'm bored. So I've tried to do a little detective work, solve the mystery of a secret door. But who am I kidding? I know you wouldn't understand. And why is that? Oh, forget it. No. Say it. You're just not a lot of fun, are you? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> um, this isn't you. Tell me what happened right now. Let's try that. This isn't you. Tell me what happened right now. I, uh, I think that that there are drugs on the other side of the door drugs that perv from the church came here because he needed them and now i do too badly i get it you're addicted to drugs the withdrawal symptoms are hitting you big time right now that explains a lot. I just need... one... more... time. It all makes sense. At the end of a great high, there's always a great low. Huh? Okay. Mm. Did you try the other door here? The one at the end? Yeah, there's nothing there. Just a little coal storage. No one's used it for years. Oh. Okay. Why? No reason. I was just curious. It sounded like you were wrecking the place. Jeez, Angie! Why do you always have a problem with everything? I just knocked over a bunch of boxes. It's not like anyone gives a fuck. So, please. 
Pull that fucking stick out of your ass and chill, yeah? Beg your pardon? Don't be so negative, could you? That bad energy on you? Fucking hell, Angie. You really need to work on that. I'll talk to you when you're in a better mood. I'm in a great mood, Angie. It'll be even better when I finally open this fucking door. But I don't need your help with that. I'm sure you have better things to do. Like changing George's diapers, starving horses to death, or maybe sucking that fat retard's dick. Huh. I bet he'd like that. But <laughs> whatever. I don't care what you do. Just don't come crying on my shoulder when you need a friend. I don't need losers like you to weigh me down. Okay, she's a bee now. Crazy. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. So am I going here? What's a uh, question mark for? This is definitely no coal storage. It's locked tight. Uh, pay here. We have a coin. Aha! Don't breathe the sea air. Got it. How do I open it? The door is missing. Okay, so we need to find the doorknob or something. Enter the cruise ship floor. So now we still have to find a doorknob. Um, what is this? Who? What? This is definitely cruise ship. This is pretty freaking cool. All right, Captain. Okay. It's really not doing anything, right? There's like a big map. I feel like there's a big map in the background. I don't know if that means something or not. So I can try to enter here, right? About this guy. I want to talk to this guy. Oh, this is it. So I have to go through this door. Okay, these people just don't want to talk to me, or I don't know what's going on with them. Holy crap! That's creepy. Okay, we got either some kind of puzzle or a bunch of doors. No, maybe not. Maybe that's not a puzzle. Maybe just doors are locked. Okay, let's see what this crocodile wants. Just uh, why is everybody froze? Oh, I think I get it. Crap! Crap! Can't move. Yeah, nobody's moving. Oh, besides that guy, what in the world? Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Put me down. Oh my god, where is he taking me? Is he gonna make a mannequin out of me?
Shit is right, that was lovely. Okay, so what do I do? Exactly what now? Hello? Oh, finally you talk. Who's that? The name's Murphy. I'm the one in the hat. Can you see me? Well, I just... Don't just stand there, help me. <laughs> what the hell What the hell happened here? Happened what the to hell's me. happened to me? Well, what do you think happened? You saw the warning signs and you ignored them. <sighs> just like me. Signs? What signs? Ah, uh, don't breathe sea air, that's right. Don't breathe the sea air. Does that ring any bells? But there's no point arguing about it. We're practically already dead. What's wrong with the air? You fill your lungs with that shit. And it freezes all your motor functions for as long as it's circling in your system. It's also painful as hell. Not at first, but mark my words. You'll feel it too. He's the man with no face. How should I know? He didn't tell me his name. I don't think he can speak at all. All I know is that he brings people here once they're paralyzed. Then he coats them in hot wax so he can turn them into statues, dressed as crew and passengers of this fucking ship. He's left for now. You know why? Yes, you guessed it. He's getting a bath of molten wax nice and ready for you, cause darling... You're about to be dipped in that shit from head to toe. So, uh, perhaps it's best that, well, you prepare for it, mentally. No. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I'm already half dead inside my wax shell, darling. Just waiting for the suffering to end. Oh, thanks to that. What would you even call him? Um... Uh, the sculptor, I call him Potato Man. Why Potato Man? Uh, the skinny man. Curator. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try to be nice, right? We want a good ending, so let's try. <laughs> no, not. Uh, but I want to pick the last one. Okay, let's go to the first. I'd call him the sculptor. Because he sculpts things out of wax. Makes sense, I guess. How long have you been here, Murphy? I don't know. The day and night cycle doesn't exist aboard this ship, but it feels like a very long time. How did you end up on Burnhouse Lane? Oh, darling, the things I'd done, it was all just a matter of time. I came to Burnhouse Lane to pay for the lifetime of overindulgence. But the price, well, the price has exceeded my expectations. And you? What's a fine young lass like yourself doing on Burnhouse Lane? You know what's cool is the boat is rocking and you can actually see it. That's really, really neat. I don't know. I just am. Sometimes I think maybe there's something good. Waiting for me at the end of Burnhouse Lane. The end? <laughs> Does it even exist? No. This is as far as we get. But we should be proud anyway. We lasted longer than most. Ah, isn't that something? Are you saying that all these sculptures have dead bodies inside them? Oh, yes. And all the ones up on the main deck, too. Some are quite old. Hollow, rotten inside. Merely holding together. Can't you tell by the stench of death? Your sculptor has been quite a busy bee. And the worst part is... I know. The worst part is... We'll soon join them. At least the pain will stop. It stops when you're dead. Right? Well, I'm not gonna die like this. Give me a moment to think. I admire your willpower, darling. 
but I've tried everything. We are gonna die here. Oh, I should have never set my foot aboard this ship in the first place. But you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. Ah, the cat, that's it. There is an idea, right? I should try the cat power. Okay, let's try the cat power. Um, gather those, talk to Murphy again, use cat power. Okay, gather those, let's see what it does. There's no way I'm going to let the sculptor do this to me, what is it to everyone else? There's gotta be a way to escape this nightmare. Okay. Let's see Murphy. anything else I can get out of him. You hang in there. I'll get us out soon. Just save yourself if you know how. Me? Well, we both know I'm already done for. <clears throat> Alright, cat power. The last cat that came to the farm, I think she will help if I call out her name. But what was it? Oh, crap. Was it Mila? I want to say it was Mila. Let's try Mila. I think it's Mila. Mila. Yeah, I think that worked, right? So what'd I do with this? Fuck me. You're seeing this too, lady? Oh, yeah. I can... <laughs> I can have a... I can be a host. Anybody, right? That is crazy. Pull lever. Oh boy. Is that supposed to happen? Unfortunately, I can't run. There's a big crate up there. Too bad I can't reach it. That's as far as I can go. Okay, so... Um, so we need to reach that crate, I'm assuming, right? Okay. And then it goes back out. Okay, so let's do this. Ah. Can we beat the captain? No, we can't. Okay, so that, her brains are totally fried, so I can only take the white ones. Oh my god. Oh, that is fantastic. Climb and pull the grate, the crate. Okay, so that person is dead now. Um, sorry about that. But you were. Oh my god, there's a person in there. Holy moly. Okay, so what's up with this guy now? Ah, uh, look at yourself. Put gas mask on yourself. Oh. I look like death, I guess smoking does that to you. Okay, so let's put the gas mask on yourself. Well done, lady. You did it! This poisonous air won't trouble you now. But, before you leave this dreadful ship, and I really hope you do, could you do me a little favor first? Yes? Thank you! Turn something big, and sharp, and smash me to pieces with it, would you? Are you mad? Why would I do that to you? I'm in so much pain. I just want the suffering to stop. Please. 
I've been here for so long. I'll welcome death with open arms. I... Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, so we gotta find something to kill him. Looks like a huge jar full of eyeballs. My goodness. The cork won't budge, so I'm gonna... Mmm, we can smash it. Oh, we got... Oh, that's a doorknob. Okay, we needed that, right? Yeah, we did. And the broken, broken gas. Maybe I should take a piece. Sure. Okay. Now, Murphy. Oh, what is this? The bowl is empty. Let's see here. Uh, what do we have for the bowl? I don't have anything for the bowl. Oh, we use bullet to reload Desert Eagle. Interesting. What? Why would we want to do that? Hang on a second. Hmm. We might have to do that. Is this empty? Is the gun empty? There's no need for the gun. I'm safe here. Okay, let's just wait. Let's just remember that we, we can do that. We have that option. So I don't know what to do with this ball. Maybe I need to find something else here. Hey guys. Turn valve left and valve right. It's a large metal valve. Turning both valves fully might result in steam pressure exceeding the safety limits. Hmm. It's a large but I saw her there. I shall see her again. Jump down. Okay. Um he will identify her. Do we want to go ahead and try this, or do we need to go see what's down there first? Let's check out what's down there first. Let's jump down. Can we even get back up? I hope so. Yeah, we can. Um, there's an axe there. The hell is this? Some kind of fleshy blob with legs? The piece of meat is blocking my way. Okay, so I need to get that mat. I need to get that um, axe. I'm assuming. And so let's go and try the valves first. See if they do anything. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Turn left. Hang on a second. Let's go left first. You won't turn any further to the left, okay? So let's go right. Okay. The valve broke. That's not good. The valve's broke off. I can't turn it by. I can't turn it by hand. That is not very good. Jump down. Yep, it's still there.
Can we use that blob on it? Will, will that do anything? Oh, we got knob, but I don't think that's for that. Mm, that sucks. Okay. We need another valve, I guess, or... I don't know what to do now. Um, I'll have to go back. I got some kind of blob, so let's see what, what the blob does. I see you found your little one. I found... something. A creature. But I don't know what it is. Put it down somewhere, will you? We'll take a closer look. Okay, so maybe that ball? Aha. Uh -huh. He's a good little boy, isn't he? What? Good God. Just look at him. He's almost starved to death. Feed him. He belongs to you now. Feed him? With what? Just give him part of yourself. That's what mothers do. Um... I don't think so. He did part of himself, he says, but which part would it be? Okay. Maybe he's blood. Maybe he's my blood. Aha, will you cut your hand with glass? Yes. Ooh. He's alive. Just look at him run. Oh, what did... good boy. Oh, look at the wrench. Okay, so now I know how to tune that. All right, anything else here? So I'm assuming I need that axe to um shred him to pieces as he wanted. I'm dying for a smoke. Do I need to turn this off now, or maybe maybe not? What's an OTV doing in a place like this? Let's go ahead and kick it. Okay, so we get some sparks now. Is that... Let's go down. Oh, we can go down. Oh yeah, we can. We still can. Okay. Okay, here's a spark. I hope Sculptor feels really mad when he finds his TV smashed to the floor. Let's see. Electrocute wall of meat. Yeah. Okay, we got the axe. Um, I think we just gotta go and smash the guy in pieces. Uh, let's go ahead and equip it. What if he starts chasing us? To pieces. It is time for my agony to end. Okay, well, it's been a pleasure. Should I shatter somebody else too? Nobody else? No? Yes, and again! It's time for the final blow!
Murphy? Holy crap. Jesus Christ, did he just eat Murphy's head? Pick it up. New item added. You'll come with me. I want to see what that looks like in my inventory. That is crazy. My goodness. I don't feel like it's a threat to me. It likes me, okay. Okay, so now what? Do we go up? Is it gonna let me go in here? Oh wait, what is this? It's a small vent, I wish I could use it to crawl out of here, but I'm too big for fit inside. Let's use this guy in there. Let's see if that works. And it does. Go Murphy. Um, can we just come? Oh, we can climb both of it, right? We don't have to have somebody uh, on the second one. Somebody killed. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, shoot. My goodness. Hang on a second. No, because I want his. I want his weapon. Okay, so I can get out of this door if I need to. What the? Yeah, I'm not going back there. Wait a minute. Yeah. Ah, there's a little kid too. Okay, so the only way we can go is right. Yeah, I can't climb it. Okay, never mind. So, let's go through this door. I think that's the only way we can go. Aha, crew only. The air is different here. All those fans must have cleared it. I think it's safe to take the mask off now. Do I still have the mask? No. Aha, save my game. Uh, yeah, game is saved. All good. Take the mask back on. I don't know why she wouldn't take it off. Oh my goodness. There he is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, so we need to find some kind of strategy, right? Oh, that's not... There we go. Finally. My goodness. It's just about timing. He's got to get lucky, I guess. Honestly. Okay. He's done. Oh, no. He's not done. Holy moly. I wonder if I have to face him again, because he's still alive. I'm gonna finish beating him. I'm done with the ship, it's time to get back to the museum's entrance hall. And how do I do that? This door? Or this door? Um... Yeah. 
I don't know. Let's try the first one first. So I'm hope hopefully I'm like backtracking, which is fine. Maybe that's what I need to do. Yeah, I think I'm good. Return to main hall. All right, so we're back. Um, right? Yeah, definitely need to save. All right, game saved. Um, now what do we do? Open the door. I have the door now, right? Yeah. But let's see what's in here first. And the cursed ship floor. No, I'm not doing it any longer. Looks like the ceiling's collapsed in there. I don't think I'm getting... Okay. So we can go there. So this is the only way to go. Let's get this door knob in there. Fantastic. Uh, hello? Say Mila. Examine. One of those wax figures that I seem to be able to control. Too bad he's behind a thick wall of glass. Okay, anything else I can do here? This skinny guy is, um... Done a lot. Is this guy alive? No, he's not. Take keys. Let's take his keys. Uh, these keys are made of wax. I don't need to take them. Oh, I see. One of these is blown. We wired all the ECTs together yesterday as per Dr. Bright's request. I told him the system couldn't handle this much power all at once. It keeps blowing the damn fuse, but can't say I didn't warn him. If this happens during the shift, just ask him to give you another fuse. He's always carrying a spare in the pocket of his coat. Doctor Who. Mella. Okay. Mm, is this the guy? No, I can't do anything with him. Okay, go up. Okay. You're it, buddy. The wall covered in writings of a madman, the name Rob, gets repeated dozens and dozens of times. Rob. Cell block 2B. Nothing happens, looks like there's no power going to this machine. Okay, that's because there's no fuse, or fuse is blown. Ah, oh, what? Is that it? What the heck do we do? Well, at least we got a turn door, I think. Well, so I missed something. Okay. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Um. Mella. Mella. Okay, so it's either this guy. Are you sure I can control him? The other one. This dude. Why not? What else am I missing? Uh, we can go upstairs still, right? That's what we're missing upstairs. Oh, what in the world? What is he doing here? That is just crazy. 
Oh, that's a doctor. Okay. So, let's do some energy. Let's try to go up. Why is he here? Is he is he waxed out too? No, he can't be real. Nothing's real in this place. Okay, we got the fuse. So we've got a fuse, let's try to put it in. Okay. Miller. Okay, so now let's try to turn this on and see what happens. Okay, um, so let's see what happens. Can we go under it? Uh, there's a bed here now. I can climb up. Oh, this guy's climbing crazy. I'm not sure what this. It's so dark in here. <laughs> Let's press it anyway, right? Ah, uh, it's a light. Can I go back? Like, can I go through? No, I don't think I can. It just stops. Who goes there? Identify yourself right now, or or I shall obliterate you. Um, wax figure of a dead man is hanging on the rope. His guts look so real, they're <laughs> they are real. Oh, you could be him in disguise, sneaking up on me. What's your name? I swear I'm gonna shoot you right in your ugly face. If you don't tell me who you are. Go on. I just want to know your name. Tell me your name. Can't speak, buddy. Who goes there? Identify your... Okay. So... That's not really helpful. Okay, so that guy is alive now, so let's see if um, we can talk to him. Hey, buddy. You can't... Well, what do I need to do here now? I got the power on. Do I need to go back? Do I need to climb it myself? I need to go all the way back. Maybe I do. No, I can't. Uh, 
That's unfortunate. Find the cat. All right, so what we got? We have a guy asking for the name, and um, oh, there we go, Rob, right, Rob? My name is Rob. Rob? Yeah, I remember you, Rob. You crooked. Thieving priest! You old perv! You stole my shotty, you bloody bastard! Well, eat shit, motherfucker! Awesome. Okay, so... Can I control him now? What can he do here? What is this? Pick up. Oh, I got a stick. Great. We got a freaking stick. Place pipe as lever. Um. Okay, so now we have a green light. Now what do we do? What's the green light for? <laughs> my god, you just fell. Oh my god, I'm so sorry buddy. Sorry mate, I'll get you down here. Okay, so I'm supposed to go here. So sort of contraption, but what exactly does it do? Turn on. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we got a sharp soul blade. That is on. Now what? Back to this guy, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Remove pipe. Right, right, right. Okay, now my ask what I need to do here. Hey, kitty. There's there's only one lever. Okay, so now we got two pipes. So, uh, where's it? Wait, where's the second one at? It's gotta be down this far, right? So we can stick one in here. And pull. Where's the pipe? There it is.
Okay, the door is unlocked. Um, now we return to Angie automatically. So Angie, let's go through that door somehow. Uh, where was that door at? Stairs, right? Something opened here. Kick. That's right, because I was able to walk um, behind this place. The wooden barricade looks pretty... Okay. Oops. Maybe the axe? Yes. Holy crap, who is this? Oh, it's the same guy, so we've been here before. Well, well, well. Oh, what? Just look who's here. Why is she here? Be nice I don't to everybody. Want to fight with you, Jenny. Can we be friends again? About that. Look, Angie. I'm not really a good friend material. I never said I was. I'm just pissed at the whole world right now, and you're part of it, so... Yeah, I just... want to be left alone. You're suffering from withdrawal symptoms. That's why you've been such a dick. Oh, yeah? Your constant smoking reminds me of how I used to do it. So... Thanks for giving me nicotine cravings. Thanks a bunch. There's nothing like a secondhand smoke when you're trying your hardest not to think about it. But it doesn't matter now. Jenny's gone. <clears throat> like, is that her right here? Dead? What do you mean gone? Or she's just not here? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Bloody Mary! With no head! My goodness! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, she's gonna get me! this time. Oh my goodness, no! That is crazy, I just have that. I know I was trying to dodge her. That's all I was trying to do. But now that it doesn't work. Okay, so... I should be able to get her now. <clears throat> since I'm ready and I have my axe on me, equipped. It's a little bit better timing. Ah, 
I'm, miss I'm hoping this is the last door. But she's gonna get close. Oh, what the crap. I got a shotgun. I got two bullets. Uh, adios. Okay, anything she dropped? No, she did not. Uh, do I still have a shotgun? I still do. I don't have any bullets. Yeah. Okay, let's grab my axe back. I still have a gun, and I have this bullet. I'm assuming I can... Yeah, we already know that I can equip that bullet for the gun. I haven't done it yet. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Not again. What? Look at his life! Look at his life! I'm barely doing any damage to him. That is crazy. Okay. Okay, that helps. But seriously. How was I going to take? Is this a dead end? No, it's not. Can we all find some bullets? Oh, that was freaking close now! <coughs> My god. So he actually hasn't killed me yet. He just kind of hung me up. Fuck. Oh, maybe he did. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, let's try calling Mila. Mila. See what that does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What we're we gonna get? What? The, oh. What? In the world is going on? No way. No way. No way. No way. Now we get some big daddy. Ready chance, so what's what I did? I'm gonna attack. Okay, hang on a second. Well that was much better. Bastard ran away again! Are you kidding me? Unbelievable! Chase him, okay. Struggling. Yeah, I'm catching up. Oh, 
no way! No way! No way! No way! <laughs> I still got him. Oh my god, that is crazy. Does that mean that little slob is dead too? That sucks. Thanks, pal. James. Am I? No. You're alive. You're safe now. Take a deep breath, Angie. The worst is over. At least for now. Are you really here? I think so, but... I... I feel like we don't have a lot of time. I'd like to hold you in my arms one last time. Just in case we wake up and find it was all just a dream. I've missed you, Angie. Those two years we had together. They were the best years of my life. I'm scared, James. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I used to pretend I was strong. I tried to be there for you, to support you. But when you died, it felt like I died with you. Nothing mattered to me. I was a broken fucking shell. I'm sorry. I didn't want that. Did you know I got sick with cancer too? Yeah. I'm dying. And I can't even blame anyone. Because I did this all to myself by smoking all those fucking cigarettes. I tried to end my life too. That's just... Fuck's sake, Angie. Why? Why would you do that? I was so confused. But it didn't work, okay? So for now I'm just... hanging around. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah. I remember that. Just waiting, and waiting, and waiting. That hook should have killed me. And yet, I'm standing here talking to you and I feel no pain. How is that even possible? I'd say, even in the worst nightmare, you get to have that one time. The luck's on your fucking side. Don't you think you deserve that? I killed the sculptor. I thought he'd never die. But I outsmarted him. Feels good. Remember how happy we used to be? I didn't think it was possible to fall for someone like that. Like, in the movies. A lonely young nurse meeting a handsome stranger. Who also happened to be her patient. We didn't care about any of that. I wish we could say the same about your matron. Yeah. But she was just jealous. She probably wanted you for herself. Oh, I looked like a fucking rock star back then, but... A dying man isn't exactly the best husband material. Even for your matron. You were in remission. We thought... Well, shit happens, don't it? Yeah. Do you ever regret... Um, any of this? Getting involved with me? On the level we did? Just to get your heart broken? 
What sort of stupid question is that? I'm not even going to answer that. You know, there was something about you I could not resist. It was like kissing a vampire. You know it's a terrible idea, but you do it anyway. I'll take that. But only because I love vampires. <laughs> I know you do. Shit. I wish I was a vampire now. Yeah. So do I. Vampires don't get cancer. How did you get here? I'm... I, I'm not really sure. I've been away, wandering the empty streets of a city I didn't know. I was cold and lost. But then I found something, and I instantly knew that it belongs to you. I, I had to give it to you. What is it? I'll take you to it in a minute. It's a reminder that sometimes not everything's fully lost. Come with me. Yeah, I will. We've got to find a way out. <laughs> I... I can't lose you again. It was bad enough the first time. I'm so sorry. I know. But I've always said one day I'll be your get-out-of-jail-free card. And I'm here now. Just tell me one thing. How many rules are you breaking by being here? Oh, I don't know. I... guess... all of them? I don't want to die. James, I'm not ready for it. I found Burnhouse Lane and discovered its secrets. I can survive this. There's a cure. I've almost got it. But sometimes, deep down, I start thinking, and it feels like I've been sent on a fool's errand. All this stuff can't be real. How could it? It's fucking ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You've said you've almost got it. It would be crazy to give up now. And what if I lose? Then we'll worry about Plan B. But right now, it's time. We must go. Close your eyes and count to five. I've got a little surprise for you. Something that'll put a big smile on your face. One. Five. Turn around. Hey. Moonlight. <clears throat> hey, it's like it's who died. How? You were dead. Come on, Angie. Do I really have to remind you how many lives cats have? I knew I had to bring him back to you as soon as I saw him. A friend you'd lost. A friend reborn. He'll guide us through the dark. All we need to do is follow him and stay inside his light. Or else the darkness will take us. Okay, so kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, this is probably dead end. Nothing here. <laughs> She's playing darkness. You should know that I'm friends with darkness nowadays. Really? I'm a big girl. Doesn't scare me anymore. The darkness I'm talking about isn't just the absence of light, Angie. It's a. Uh... James? No. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I do have a cat. Let's go, kitty. No broken lips. Okay, I'll take it. Ah, uh, you know what? Can we... <laughs> no, not this one. Somebody's sleeping. Getting here, to be fair. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. But I'm here now. Yes, welcome. Did you really have to drag me down here? This place is... Hell. It's dark and it's warm. That's what cats like the most. Well, I'm not a cat. And I hate it. I did what you asked. Can I go home now? I honestly thought you'd give up by now. But you are a persistent one. Four tasks completed. What can I say? Impressive. But you're not quite done yet. Thanks. It's time for the final task. Are you ready for it? No, but give it to me anyway. Then listen carefully. You must tell someone the whole truth about yourself. The good and the bad. And all the dirt. Like you would to a best friend, if... You had one, of course. But you can't hide anything. It won't work if you do. Why? What's the point of this? You must rid yourself of all this baggage. You people hold on to it for way too long. Ah, uh, let's see. Dr. Jenny? <laughs> I really read the face of the serial killer. They're all a bunch of idiots. There's no one I can trust in that bloody farm. <clears throat> no, we don't. I don't have any baggage. You? Please. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to say that, but okay. You're so badly conflicted with yourself that you don't even remember who you used to be. Fine. I'll just talk to Jenny. As long as you tell her everything, and she listens to it, that should be just fine. But, wait. How will I know if I've told her everything? You'll know because once it's done, a man called Mr. Fox will arrive at the farm. Let him in. He'll be so hungry he could eat a horse. Offer him food, but never speak to him. Do you understand? You cannot say even a single word to Mr. Fox, or, well, just don't. He's very peculiar about it. Fine, I'll try to keep my mouth shut. Once Mr. Fox is fed, he will go, and you will follow him to a place on the moors. He'll show you a spot where you must dig a hole and recover a treasure buried underground. With that in your possession, you will finally be able to remove the illness from your body. Oh, he will also require a drop of your blood, so don't say I didn't warn you. 
Okay, I got it. I think. Good. Go back now, get some rest. You're gonna need it. Richard! <laughs> This is a happy on, chapter. Up on his back. He won't bite. He's here to take you home. Yeah, this is like the ending of the chapter is pretty happy. I got two uh, animals re were reborn, basically, right? Hopefully that cat still had so it has uh, six lives. I'm assuming that's the end of the chapter. It's been over an hour and a half. I know I got stuck a couple times fighting those bosses, but uh, overall it wasn't too bad. I'm assuming that's chapter six. Yep. All right, chapter six, Mr. Fox. Alright, so we're back in the farm. Um, it's night time. Ooh, I forgot to make a church sandwich. Um, make a confession, I see. Ah, uh, read Red Note. Dear Angie, I did some shopping while you were gone. Uh, told me you had some urgent business to take care of, uh, which is fine. You might find some of the food in there a bit odd, but I assure you George will love it. I couldn't wait for your returns as I was in a hurry, but I trust all is well. George seems happy and well looked after, for which I'm very grateful. Take care of you. See you soon, Sarah. Okay, so that's his uh, daughter. So his date. 13th of September, it's Friday. Wait, Friday the 13th? Oh shit. <laughs> right. What is this? Ow, it's still frozen. Let's go ahead and take it. I'm not sure if I can carry a block of frozen lamb on me right now. Okay. Big mess. Where's George? Uh, was there... I've been here... I haven't been here in such a long time, I don't remember where the Astra is so I can save my game. I'm sure I'll find one soon. Well, that's outside, I believe. My god, this is kind of cool in the middle of the night, there he is. You alright, George? Oh, I'm fine, dear. You? Yeah. I don't see I'd rather confess to George, I believe, than Ginny. Or I can confess to this guy, right, that lives here? Oh my goodness. Richard, mate, you didn't magically come to life. It all must have been just a strange dream. Why is he still... Why is he still there? Nope. 
That's it, we gotta go back. Alright, so I'm back at the house. Um, I tried to go to my room, I guess, and... Um, I'm always jamming. I uh, saved my game, at least, for now. My room is upstairs, okay? So this is the basement, no. Let's not go here yet. All right, game saved. Um, so I'm assuming I can confess to Ginny or George. Oh my goodness. You know, accusing you of rich instead. Uh, he was being an arsehole. What? An arsehole. I was an arsehole. Yeah, I heard you. I just wanted you to say it again. <laughs> I was wrong. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What? Forgive me. It's all right, Kieran. I forgive you. Sometimes we all say things we don't mean. You just really loved that horse, didn't you? I did, as a matter of fact. This here is Richard's wake. Join us. Let's drink in his memory. I don't think so, Kieran. Come on, nurse. Red or white? Or do you prefer beer? I'm not a big drinker. Besides, I need a clear head for now. Then take a ball with you for later. Go on, it's on me. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and pick this up. It's a bottle of wine, I'm assuming now it's a beer, okay? Uh, we need to talk. Jenny, we need to talk. Turn it off, will you? It's too loud. You gotta speak up. I can't hear you. The music? It's it's too... I know. <laughs> this song fucking rocks. We need to talk. Now? Now. But what about the party? Come on, you'll be back before you know it. I guess, but... <gasps> hey, do you have any cigarettes? I'd really like to smoke them. Uh, should I give you one? No. No. No, I don't. But, come on, you always smoke like a chimney. I know you have them. I'll just have one. What's the big deal? Do you really want to get cancer like me? Yeah, like one cigarette is gonna kill me. What a fucking whip, will you? I don't want you to start smoking again. Oh, for God's sake, Angie. Can you just chill the fuck out? One cigarette is all it takes. Before you know it, you'll be back smoking a pack every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. But guess what? You're not my fucking mother, so stop being so fucking patronizing, will you? I'm not giving you a cigarette, Jenny. Oh, ugh, fine. Jesus, I'll ask somebody else then. But thanks for being a total asshole again. Can we just talk like normal people instead of fighting? What? Uh, can we go outside and talk? Oh, you're a real party pooper, you know? But fine. Just wait for me behind the barn. You know, where Robert died. Richard! What? 
The horse's name was Richard. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, just wait for me by the barn. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, behind the bar. Uh, I don't feel like I should be. She should be the one who I need to speak to about this. I still feel like I want to um confess to George instead. Honestly. So let's just um, check out a few more places in this house. I'm sure I'd... <laughs> there's nothing I can do here um, before I head out to George. That was a bathroom, right? No, it was George's room. Alright, nothing changed. Oh. Arno? Yes? Where do I even start? Are you... feeling alright? Oh, yes. Thank you. Why? I just thought. The things we saw in the woods. Perhaps you're suffering from PTSD or something. Because, you know, that happens to people. I was a bit upset at first when I realized we made a mistake. But now I'm back on the right track again. It feels good. Did you bring this body all the way back from the forest? Well, it didn't magically teleport here. But why would you do that? There's still so much we don't know about her. And if we left her there, she'd just become food for wild animals. I'm sure you'll agree with me that no one benefits from that. Except for wild animals, I guess. But they'll... Find something else to snack on, won't they? Oh no, this is weird. I know, I know. But I had to do this. You know how important it is to me. I do, but I feel like you've crossed a line here. Big time. I just need a day or two. Then I'll get rid of it, I promise. Is that a pentagram on the wall? I'm afraid I had to put one there, yes. And the candles? What exactly are you trying to do here? It's a little complicated, but to cut the long story short, I'm trying to finish what she started. You're trying to bring her dead father back to life? Mm, no, not exactly. I'm trying to bring her back to life. Come on. Nobody even wants her back. She's evil. She's not. She's been misunderstood. Misunderstood my ass. This woman murdered dozens of people in the name of Satan. She didn't mean it. Don't be ridiculous, Arno. She bashed my head so hard I can still feel it. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm sorry, Angie. I'm not trying to excuse her for the way she treated you. All I say is that perhaps we didn't fully understand the reason she did all those things. And I've followed this story for so long that now I feel like I deserve a closer. That's all. What exactly are you up to? I'm just trying to understand what role all this black magic played in her story. Some of these rituals are pretty interesting, but I can see where she went wrong. So now I'm trying to correct her mistakes, and soon, fingers crossed, we'll find out if it was all true. You're messing with dangerous stuff there, Arno. I know what I'm doing. Whatever, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do here. You'll get rid of it right now. I don't want to see it when I come back. But? No buts, Arno. You shouldn't be messing with this stuff. This shit is evil. 
And if there's one thing I've learned... There's some evil in this world that can never be dead enough. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna listen to me or not. Oh, I can confess to him too. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm not confessing to him. I like George the best. So, George, confession it is. Uh, yeah, let's check out the basement, see what's out there. Yeah, it's like okay. Let's just go back to George and confess everything to George, and just go from there. I was like a right or wrong person to pick to confess to. I'm um, hoping not. Wait. Why am I keep getting lost here? George's room. Uh, I think I just need to go downstairs here for sure. And then I need to go through the door. Not this one. This one. Ah, no, that's back to the kitchen. Um, here's the outside one. Okay, let's confess. I'm here to look after George, not the other way around. Oh, so I can't. He's a lovely man, but would be would he even understand someone like me? Okay, so that's not gonna work. Ah, so it's either Ginny or Arnie. Well, that's crazy. So I have to go back now. Okay, Ginny or Arnie, confess. Just go with Ginny. Oh, I need to meet her behind the barn. Duh. Okay, so I came behind the barn and it's asking me to wait for Ginny, so let's go ahead and wait. Maybe she'll never show up, who knows. Oh, she's, there she is. Well, guess what I found? Or wait, I'll give you a clue. It's about this long, it's known to cause heart and lung diseases, and it usually comes in a pack of 20. Look, I just didn't want you to get back to your old habit. Especially now that you've been drinking. You're literally doing it all the time yourself. <sighs> so please, don't be a fucking hypocrite. I'm having it whether you like it or not. Oh. <sighs> This is heaven. Oh, why did I ever quit? Jenny, there's something I want to talk to you about. Remember when I told you that I have cancer? I'm not sure if I fed Richard the way I was meant to. I hurt myself sometimes. I don't know. Remember when I told you that I have cancer? Cancer? Uh, yes. But didn't you say you were getting better? No. This is incurable, inoperable lung cancer. It'll keep growing until it kills me. Are you sure? You don't look like you're dying to me. Wait, what? Of course I'm sure. Just because there's no blood pouring out of my eyes and I don't crawl on the floor doesn't mean that I'm fine. For now. I don't believe you. My pap had cancer, and he looks like Uncle Fester. You know, from the Adams family. And he puked a lot. That's because you probably had chemo. I'm not doing it. It's too late. And I've seen what it does to people. 
I don't want to die stuck in a hospital bed. I know a good doctor in LA. I'll give you his number when I get back home. You don't understand? This can't be cured. Not by the doctors, anyway. Okay, I'm not sure if I fed Richard the way I was meant to, but I think I'm I did. I'm not sure if I fed Richard the way I was meant to. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Richard again? The horse? Oh, uh, right. Oh, sorry. Too much wine makes me forget stuff. By the way, I'm trying to get Kieran drunk so he would tell me more about the bunker door in the basement. He's lived on this farm for a long ass time, right? He's gotta know something. Another few drinks and he'll spill it all to me like a good little girl. I want to live, but I don't even know how to anymore. I can feel the doom clock ticking above my head and it's driving me insane. I should make a bucket list like other people do, to live while I still can. Do cool, crazy stuff like bungee jumping or swimming with fucking dolphins. But instead, here I am, unable to accept what's coming, desperately trying to cheat death. But no one has that kind of power, least of all me. <gasps> hey! I swam with dolphins in the Bahamas last year. Wh what? Uh-huh. Did you know? The dolphins don't really smile. I mean, they look like they do. But they don't. It's just the shape of their face. Right. Good to know. That's very useful knowledge for me. Thank you. Are you being sarcastic now? Because, damn, I'm trying my best here to take your mind off all these problems. You really need to let shit go. Yeah, I will. Sure. I get it, Jenny. As a matter of fact, if I was a dolphin, I'd be smiling right fucking now. Ugh, you are being sarcastic. That's because you're not listening to me. Fine. I'll try harder. Jesus! I don't really have any friends. I mean, I have colleagues from work, well, mostly just Tracy, because working for the agency, I travel a lot, covering shifts in hospitals and nursing homes all across the country. The pay is good, but you don't really get enough time to bond with anyone. This job here is quite different. I don't usually spend that long in one place. Angie? Why are you telling me this? I just... need a friend, I guess. A real one. Uh, but I don't think it will be you. Let's just go ahead with someone like you, right? We still gotta be nice. Someone like you? Me? Angie, are you blind? You really think I'm a good friend material for anyone, let alone someone like you. Look at me. I'm a Hollywood star. I got to the top by sleeping with every man that wanted me, and by destroying every woman that stood in my way. It's in my job description to act like a spoiled fucking bitch, to demand, to take anything I want. And I have no time or desire to be anyone's friend because I know that in the end, I'll have to stab them right in the back. I always do. I know there's a part of you that cares. You weren't looking for me in the woods. You risked your life. I was bored. This isn't the real you. Then what do you know about the real me? You're a drug addict, Jenny. And if you wanted to, you could get help. And you could get better. Holy moly. That'll teach you to mind your own fucking business. Oh, and by the way, I think you made it all up. You don't really have cancer, do you? 
You just wanted people to feel sorry for you. And that's fucking pathetic. You know. Okay, that didn't go so well. Okay, yeah, so now what? Um, what is that weird noise? And what in God's name happened to you? It's nothing. Trying to fool an old man? That's not going to work, dear. I might be old, but I'm not blind. It's time to open this big bag of worries. You've been carrying it around for weeks. All right. I'll tell you. There's a disgusting, ugly cancer growing inside my chest. It's here to kill me. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. I probably shouldn't even be here, but I'd convince myself that I should do this one last job. I thought this would pay for the trip my late husband always dreamed of. Japan. It always seemed so... cool. But now that I think about it, it's not even my dream. Do I really want to go there? Or am I desperately trying to run away from people saying they're sorry and the way they look at me? To hide and pretend that I'm still fine and nothing's happened. And yes, I was married. It felt real. It was real. But my husband was a sick man. We both knew our time was short, and no matter how loved he made me feel, I accepted we wouldn't live happily forever after. And yet, it still surprised me, how quickly it all happened. Suddenly, I was alone, but I promised James that I would be strong, and I was determined to keep that promise no matter what. I made an effort to get dressed every morning, to eat, to go to work knowing that in time, the pain would become easier to bear. And then this happened. First, the cough. Then the chest pains. And blood on the tissue. I couldn't believe the same fucking thing was happening to me. I lost a husband, but I wasn't ready to lose my life. I mean, I promised him I'd live on. But they called me in, and they confirmed what you already knew. I remember they all looked down at their shoes whenever they mentioned the word cancer. That fucking cancer! Was it because I smoked more since James had died? But some people smoke all their lives, and they never get sick. Life had taken so much from me already, and then... It still decided it wasn't enough yet, so it came back for what's left. What did I do to be punished like this? Why me? It's not fucking fair! So... Now... I know how this ends. I... Get... Nowhere. My whole life was fucking pointless. I achieved nothing, and those few people that know me will soon forget I ever existed. And on top of it, I'm probably losing my mind, because I've seen things. A talking cat from a burned house. Different worlds. Disfigured creatures. But that's probably just my cancer spreading into my brain, because I'm sure it was all in my head. George. I'm just tired. I'm scared. And now I'm covered in mud, and I don't even have any clean clothes to put on. And I... George is my homie. It's 
Thank you, George. I... I needed to let it all out, I guess. And now you also need a nice cup of tea. I'll make you one. But first, let's get you a change of clothes. I'm alright. These will dry soon. No, no. You should take one of the jumpers from the loin. Anne, there's a pair of jeans there that looks about your size, too. No, I can't. I insist. They're Sarah's old clothes. She ain't worn them in years. Ah, they're too small for her anyway. Moy was thinking I'd give them to a charity shop in Honiton. But this is even better. And it'll save us a trip in a town. Yeah? Of course. Go on, grab one and go get changed. I'll put the cat on. Okay. Uh, I did confess. I done a sweater, but which one? Well, it's not Christmas time. Let's do um. Hmm. Which sweater? I don't know. Uh, let's go with the stripes. It's not Christmas. September. And I wonder if we can still confess to this dude. I guess not. I'll see you later. But be careful, yeah? Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be just fine. Let's tell him this is a bad thing he did. You've done a terrible thing bringing her here. What were you even thinking? But look at her. She's magnificent. She's dead. And no more people like you and me don't play with dead bodies. It's creepy and just wrong. Angie, imagine you found a dead unicorn in the woods. You wouldn't just leave it there, would you? You wouldn't let that wonderful, mysterious miracle waste away without revealing its secrets to the world. This ain't no bloody unicorn, Arno. It's just a dead crazy woman that lived like a boar and died like one too. And she has no business staying here in George's family home. I know it's hard to understand, but fine. Just give me a day or two and I will dispose of the body. I promise. I'll see you later. But be careful, yeah? Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be just fine. He's gonna bring you back. She's gonna kill him again. Okay, where'd I change the clothes? Here. Uh, where'd I change clothes at? Aha. Uh -huh. And suddenly I'm back in the 80s. This is just a sweater, it's a time machine. Great. I don't have my old clothes. I still got a bottle of beer here. Okay. Uh, join George in the kitchen. Actually, hang on a second. Let's see what this little party in. Obviously not, because I don't hear the music. Let's see what's in there. Nothing here. Party's over. Oh crap, Mr. Fox. Ah, yeah, I'm not supposed to say anything.
Okay, well, I need to fit him. Uh, fit Mr. Fox. Where is that? Okay. Okay, so that's just sandwich only, right? Uh, should we make him a sandwich? He probably is not gonna... Wanna take it with me. Wanna cancel this? So, okay, let's do egg. Where's egg? There's no egg here? There used to be eggs here. <laughs> All it is is a bacon. All I did is bacon. Okay, I made a ba bacon sandwich. Uh, let's go ahead and take it. I don't know if Mr. Fox is gonna eat that or he's gonna eat the turkey I have on me. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Fox. Now it's kind of messy here, I know. So let's give him frozen lamb. Do you like it? I haven't fed him yet. Let's go meet George. He's not here. What else you want? Let's give him a sandwich. He's still hungry. Okay, do I need to make him another meal? Now, what else does he want? Okay, so I discovered something. I still have my, um, oh, it's a uh, lamb, right? Lamb and a sandwich. So check this out. Guys, I thought about the horse, right? And yeah, there he is. <laughs> this guy's just following me. Madness, indeed. I should step back. I don't want to be part of this. God, he's devouring this. Oh, Richard. This beast is tearing him to pieces. He sure is. Okay, he ate him. He ate the whole freaking horse. Ah, uh, what does that mean? What did you just point me for? Oh, uh, follow Mr. Fox, poor freaking Richard, my goodness. I bet you, no, you're too slow. Let's hope we don't bump into George, who knows what he'd do if he saw this masked weirdo. I guess, yeah, he could be, it could be a mask, right? Still, he had a freaking raw horse. All of a sudden, it's uh, definitely daytime. Where is he taking me? I... That's a good question. Maybe he wants to drive me. He wants me to drive him home. Oh no way! You're gonna do the ship now? 
Nope, he passed the sheep. Okay, I've actually never been this way before. Oh, he's gonna take me to- I gotta bury something, right? Something buried? Put finger on your lips. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's it. Tell him not to speak. This won't shut him up for long. I must stop this idiot before he opens his mouth. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, no no no. Hang on, hang on, let's give him something. No no no, let's give him beer. What? Uh hello. Crap. Crap! No! No! No, 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 my god! Oh, that's brutal. Oh, my goodness. That is brutal. Oh, my god. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, let's try to save Kieran. There's an option to put my hand on his mouth. Maybe that's what I should do. I think that's working. I'm assuming I'm gonna need it to, um, oh uh, yeah, let's save the game now. Alright, Mr. Fox. Show me what you got. She walk a little faster, though. Okay, I gotta dig here. You shall to dig in the spot, yes. What the? Okay, don't need to go there. <laughs> Unfortunate. Alright, let's jump in. goodness <clears throat> okay what's in the objective so find treasure meds are everywhere old movies planned but there's something wrong with the sound uh, a big dusty wardrobe there's nothing here okay Bathroom door. This is this is George's house. What the heck? How oh, to unlock this? I didn't know what how to unlock this. We gotta figure this out. Door is locked. I'm trapped in here. Okay. What kind of clues do we have? I don't have any freaking clues. How do we unlock this? I don't 
don't see any signs. I don't see any symbols on the wall. Is it on TV? Let's see, do I have anything? Um, <clears throat> I don't believe so. I don't know why, but I feel like someone left them for me on purpose. So we have um, these three symbols here, or four symbols or so. There we go, here we go, okay. Uh... Okay, we got some sort of key. Take the key, yes. This is apartment 6 key. Oh boy, all right. I can't get inside, the door is boarded up. Save my game, sure. How odd the boy on the painting makes me feel both sad and happy at the same time. That is odd. The door's blocked by a pile of ashes, even if it wasn't clearly missing a doorknob. That was nice. Okay, so we got a lamp here. Okay, so we got the poem here. I just read it. I just paused the recording. Um, so it's probably... Gotta... I know why you came here. My goodness. You want the box, don't you? What the hell is this? I was told to look for the treasure. This box sounds like it could be it. I'm sure it is, after all. There's nothing else here that's worth looking for. Just a whole lot of suffering, wherever you go. Who are you? Um, look. Whenever I try to remember my name, I get this huge fucking headache. It literally feels like my brain's being stabbed with hundreds of tiny knives. So, no offense, but I'll just skip that part, may I? It's not like it matters anyway. I'm just another ghost, living on Burnhouse Lane. Waiting for something. I think it should be happening any day now. Tell me more about this box. Well, it's black, which, by the way, happens to be my favorite color. And it's made of wood, about this big. But it's not the box itself that you want. It's what's in it. And what's that? I won't spoil it for you. You'll see for yourself when you get it. If you get it, I mean. Because it's not going to be easy. Do you know where I can find this box? Yeah. It's in the other building, right across this great big chasm. Look! But how can I get there? I know a way. I could take you there. But there's something we should do before we go. And I know this will sound a bit crazy. But we'll need a cat to help us. The bent cat? You know him? What? No, he's not burned. He's white as snow, with a black stripe on his tail. He kind of looks like a big raccoon, you know what I mean? Moonlight? Yes, so you know him! 
Oh, we've been to hell and back together. He's an old friend. Where is he? Well, it's a long bloody street. He could be anywhere. But you can summon him. Summon? A cat? Summon a cat, indeed. How the hell do I summon a cat? Well, there's only one way I know. So, tell me. Can you by any chance play the piano? What? Um, yeah. I can. I used to be pretty good. But, what's that got to do with bloody cats? They love it! How do you know? I have this friend who always opens the window and plays for the neighborhood cats. And they all come running like she's their cat mother calling them for dinner. Shall we ask a friend to play then? No. She... She can't come to Burnhouse Lane. Thankfully. So, yeah. It's gonna have to be you, I'm afraid. Oh! And make sure you put out a bowl of milk for the cat first. They like that. Okay. Milk and music. Yeah, I can do that. Why do you not want the box for yourself? Oh, that's because I know what's inside. And it's not for me. Or rather, I know I'd be very tempted to use it, because I really don't want to die. But that would make me someone that I don't want to be. So I'll pass. Thank you. But you can have it. It's okay. I don't judge. Stop beating around a bush and tell me what's in the box. I might as well use it, right? Mr. Gray uses one. Hmm. Maybe I can use it for something else. Ah. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what's in the box. Now. Don't start with this cat voodoo, please. I've been around cats for so long, I've grown immune to it. But since you really want to know, I'll tell you a bit more. You want spoilers? I'll spoil it for you. Why not? But I'll only do it if you play my game and give me a correct answer to my question. Interested? Sure. Yes. Great! It involves magic, so listen carefully. I am now picturing an object. A vegetable. I can see it inside my head clear as day. I will now send this image into your mind. Share it with you telepathically. I want you to focus real hard and see it too. Take your time, and then tell me, what vegetable am I thinking of? S some reason I want to say carrot, just because maybe of the horse? You're thinking about a carrot, aren't you? Yes! A carrot! Well done, you! And here's your promised spoiler. The box contains an item that's very familiar to you. It's something you adore. Something you can't live without. And that's it? Yup. That's hardly a spoiler. It's more of a hint. But I'll take it. Is there anything in particular I should play? I don't think it matters. As long as the music is coming straight from your heart. I haven't played in years. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. I'm sure of it. You're sick. Like me. 
aren't you? Everyone's sick on Burnhouse Lane. Haven't you noticed that yet? We're all dealing with it differently. Some of us give up right at the start. They put a gun to their head and pull the trigger. They swallow poison. Anything, really, just to escape the horrors waiting for them here. Then there's the weak ones. They try to fight, but how can they win against their own minds? So they all turn into pathetic shadows of their former selves, and they wander the dark corners of this place like zombies. And then there's us. We are strong enough to see it through to the end, but at what cost? Uh, wait, what did you say I have to do? It's time for me to go, okay. It's time for me. I'll talk to you later, girl. Be careful out there. I heard strange noises outside earlier tonight. Okay, so she wants to play piano. Let's see. Find treasure, leave milk for the cat, play piano to summon the cat. Where's milk? Okay, let's go down. I don't know if I should have played piano first or not. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm back over here. Oh, let's try this door. This door does work. Like apartment door. Um, can I do that? Oh, I can do it from this side, right? Sure. So that's unlocked. Okay, so that's the door I couldn't get into earlier, I don't think. Uh, so what the hell do I need this for? Oops. Uh, I'm assuming I'm supposed to do that. So that's done. Uh, should we go ahead and jump down? I don't know. We need milk for the cat. We need to play piano. Well, I can jump down from here. I think this is still locked. Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, I was here a second ago, right? Okay, so now we can draw down. Sure. Woo! Ouch. Ouch is right. Take shotgun. I'm afraid to save my game, because what if I'm doing it... ...to play that piano? Wash me back by the... Really? Okay. Okay, so I think we're okay. I can go ahead and save. Oh my... Jesus Christ. Freaking scared me. 
What is this? Take shotgun shells. Okay. I feel like we should reload. Oh boy. Go this way? No. Lots of doors here. I still I feel like I need to go back and play the freaking piano. I see. All right, let me backtrack a little bit. I know there's some areas that I haven't really seen yet. I don't think I'm supposed to play piano yet. I think I need to put in milk somewhere before I play piano. Although I can try it anyway because I saved my game, so it's not a big deal. Touch this one, it's all busted. It could give me a nasty shock. Oh my god, who the hell is this? I feel like something's crawled out of through this hole. Who knows? Could be lurk around here. It's stuck. The second hand keeps going back and forth. It's a two two oh five basically. The body looks terribly deformed and it's covered in red oozing boils. There's no doubt this man died after a long illness. In the end it turned him it turned him to a monster. His stomach looks oddly bloated. Is there something inside it? Sure. Oh. I don't know, do I need to It's not gonna work. What can we do here? A hundred knots. Yeah, we probably have to find some kind of tool. Turn on lamp. It's already on. If we turn it off. And what's up with this? All this light bulb. So we go ahead and remove the light bulb. We got a light bulb. It's red. A red light bulb. Okay, let's just keep that. Turn on lamp. Okay, so I can't even put it back, so I think I think it's meant to be off.
Light bulb is too hot to touch, but the lamp switched on, so we need to turn it off first. I need to write down this uh, saying here. Okay, so now I got a purple one. So we got a red and we got a purple. Uh, let's go ahead and try to play a piano. Unlock? I don't have the key. I can't, the piano's locked. Okay, shut. Okay, so that's gonna. Kind of makes me feel a little better that they even try to play the piano. Okay, so we got all these light bulbs. Let's go ahead and um, go all the way back. Well, this area, I've been here, right? Oh, that's actually where I need to go anyway. Or we could just fall down. Let's just fall down. Yeah, there's probably a light bulb here I can take. Yeah, clear one. White light bulb, that's what they call it here. I am a Superman. Okay. Live doesn't work. So we need to turn the power on somehow, maybe? In house 13. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's my friend, isn't it? Oh, mate, you didn't deserve to end like this. Oh, mate, you didn't deserve to end up like this. He did kill me, though, once. Okay, so we've got a new item. That is um, probably to get some of the other body, right? Uh, make espresso, make latte, and make cappuccino. There's no cup there. Clearly something is missing. Okay. Take a cup. Turn off water. The valve handle is broken off. I'll need some tool to turn it. Okay, so I can turn it back on if I need to. So now let's use a cup. Okay, espresso, latte, cappuccino. So, what has milk? Cappuccino, right? Cappuccino has milk? Espresso doesn't. Uh, maybe latte does as well, I'm not really too sure, but cappuccino I think really does. And there's just no water. So maybe just milk. Yeah, that's it. Take milk. You made a cup of milk. Great. That's what we needed. Okay. So now we have a cup of milk. It should, should say milk too. Fantastic. Now what do we do with milk? Well... What do we want to make now? That's not gonna work, I don't think. We're gonna break it.
Okay, I think that that is milk as well. So we have two glasses of milk. Okay, I almost already have one of those. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go turn the water back on. Let's go ahead and make uh, espresso now. Fantastic. You made a cup of espresso. Take it. Let's get another cup. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So now let's make maybe a latte and a cappuccino. And I don't really need, um, I don't know if I need all of this, but it's just so I don't have to come back here for something. Um, I'm gonna make all three of them. My inventory is getting huge, but oh well. Okay, we got all three of them. Life is good. I just don't know where to put this milk in. At. But we do have scissors, so we can go back and. Um... Open that one guy up. Oops, I need to be up. I need to be upstairs. Alright, so we're back to this body, so I'm assuming I can use the scissors to open them up. Let me get the key for the piano. Is the doctor see anything in there? I should put the lights on. That's not good. Uh, maybe I can just... Oh, yeah, I can just do that. Okay, this key. The man is full of keys. Uh, how do I know which is the right one? Pick a key. But which one? They all look the same. Okay. So maybe it's not the right light bulb. So we did red, let's do purple. Oh my goodness. Turn off. Remove light bulb. Let's do purple. Okay, there we go. Take glowing key. I feel like he was still breathing or something. Okay, but where do I um where do I put the milk at? Okay, here's a piano. Um Wait a second. This is where someone's been. Okay, there's a milk. That's where the milk goes. But what if we give him cappuccino? Uh, let's not do that. <clears throat> We're trying for the good ending here. Okay, so that's completed. Then uh, find treasure, play the piano to summon the cat. Unlock. And play. Mozart. The funny Valentine. Claire de Dune improvis using only white keys. Oh interesting, let's try that one. Yeah. 
hey, I think something's working. I wonder if the person who actually made this video game, no offense, knew much about cats. Um, most of them actually can't have milk. It worked. This is incredible. Cats are magical creatures. Everyone knows that. Hey, how you doing there, mate? You all right? Okay, you pet him now. Then we shall go over to the other building and wait for the elevator. Huh? I'll explain it later. Now go on, show him some love. Objective completed. Okay, so let's find the treasure. All right, so we just go. Whatever. Ow. Jumping up, I see. So, here's the plan. We need to get up to the top floor. That's where the box is. Behind the red door. Apartment 13. It's locked, but I can handle it. How exactly? Um... I've been known for my ability to... unlock things... with lockpicks. I'm not a burglar or anything, but it's a useful skill to have. Sometimes, it even saves lives. The problem is with the elevator. It doesn't work like it should. And that's where our friend Moonlight steps in. It's kinda tricky, so listen carefully. There's this device up there. A scale of swords. Moonlight can bring items scattered around here and place them on the scale. If he picks the right ones, the elevator should go straight to the top. What sort of items are we talking about? Well... At first glance, they're just ordinary, everyday objects. But they all represent the good and bad things that people like us will never get to experience in life anymore. And how is a bloody cat supposed to know what they are? Cats know more than you think. I thought you'd understand that by now. Come on then, let's get in the elevator. Find three items that represent the best sides of life that Angie and, girl and the girl will not leave to experience. Place them on the scale above the elevator shaft. The lever will move to the top when light, when right ball fully overweights the left. Okay, <clears throat> so what the hell do we need to find? Uh, where do we find it at? I just jump on it. I collect three items first, got it, okay? Yeah, I do have to go back. Mm, there's 
jump down. Oh my goodness. Aha, money. Can money buy happiness? Yes, according to most, but it can also poison our hearts with greed. Millions have spilled blood and died in its name, both on battlefield fields and dark alleys for a better life. Some are even willing to sacrifice their own souls. I don't know if that's... I should pick that up or not. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Super Mario Brothers. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> that didn't work. Oh my god, okay. Uh, there's got to be a way to get up there, right? second a ring Is that oops okay so let's try this three I guess uh, I'm not sure that's gonna work or not I don't know if there's any other items here or not so I'm gonna get get back up there somehow there we go I guess that did work, okay? I think I can see the red door. But not quite there yet. Mm, that didn't work. Let's go down and start again, shall we? Well, that sucks. Okay. Um... Okay, so that is actually a gray hair, so let's pick that one up. We're gonna get the ring from the bird, and instead of money, uh, we gotta find something else. It's gotta be something else. I don't think it's money. That didn't work. Okay, it's not money. Where else can we go? Right. Uh, let's go left first, maybe, and let's go right first. Uh, cards? What else is there? I don't think that would be it. 
Oh, baby, right? I'll be able to have babies? Oh, I can't get there. I don't think it's burger. Uh, how do I get back? A trophy is a symbol of achieving great things in life. Okay. Oh my god. The big rouge. Beer? No, I don't think so. This guy chasing me? Yeah, where was that baby at? Um, what was that? That's what it was. I think that roach opened this path for me. Ow. Oh. Okay. I forgot to read what it is. I'm sure it has something to do with the baby, I'm assuming. Uh, what is this? Drugs now. I think what we got is nice. The ring, not going to be married. Um. Then the gray hair, right? Never gonna get old. And never have a baby. So let's try that and see how that works. I just gotta get back. I made it all the way out to the top, so I think that worked. This is it! Now let's get inside. Well, shit. Spiders. My eight-legged number one nemesis. I kinda like them. You know, there's this dark, indescribable beauty in spiders. Really? Look at those spider eggs. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look beautiful to you. Yeah, okay. That's fucking gross. Alright, gave the same game. <laughs> oh my god. There was something I think I think I just saw a big spider on top. Okay, here we go. Pick up the box. Oh my goodness, there it is. There's gotta be somewhere no I can't interact with her. Uh shoot. Let's see, what do I have? Do I have a weapon? 
I don't have any freaking weapons. I don't have my axe. Shoot. Not good. It's a good thing I saved my game. But I'm pretty sure I was supposed to die anyway. Hey, Fox. Relax. You're safe now. Whatever you saw in there, it's gone. For now, at least. Oh, yes, I can talk. It's almost done. I no longer feel the hunger inside. That means you're free to speak to me, too. I see you have the box. Good. Now, put it on the big rock and open it. All right, big rock. Cigarette, really? Good. Almost done. The There's my cancer. Last but not least, you must cut your hand. We need a drop of your blood to soak into the cigarette. Um, so wait a second. Cut, cut, I cut my hand. smokes this cigarette will receive your cancer. Choose carefully who you give it to. Once the smoke hits their lungs, there will be no going back. Only death and suffering. And for you, a new life. Now forget you ever saw me. I was just a dream. A ghost, a shadow. One day we'll meet again. I'll take you with me for a long walk down to the river. But don't trouble yourself with that now. Now it's time to celebrate your success. Shouldn't you smile? Well, I was I had a chance to talk to him when I never did. Was Mr. Fox really just a dream? Oh, what difference does it make? What matters now is that all your tasks are done. You got what you wanted. Well, almost. It'll all be over as soon as someone smokes that special cigarette of yours. Easy to say. I didn't know it would be like this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I can do this. Take your time. But not too long. Soon the sickness will make you weak, and then... Well, let's just say that it would be such a shame to waste your gift after you worked so hard for it. Don't you think? Alright, next chapter. Fantastic. Chapter 7. Alright guys, chapter 7, I believe this is the last chapter of the lab. Ah. 
Angie. You're right. You haven't come down all day. I'm getting worried about you, dear. I'm sorry. I... I didn't realize. I've not been feeling too well. Oh. But I'll be down in a minute. What? Uh, no. No, no, no. You you stay in bed, darling. I, I'm managing perfectly fine here on my own. So take your time and rest, and, and don't worry about a thing. I'll go and make you a cup of tea, shall I? And a nice sandwich. Yes. I bet you'll feel better once you've had some food in you. Do you need anything, nurse? I'm going into town. I could stop at the pharmacy, get you some cough syrup or painkillers or something. No need, Kieran. Thanks, but... I just need some rest, that's all. You sure? Because that's no bother. Not at all. I'll be fine. Well, okay. But give us a shout if you need anything, yeah? Because, uh, I, um... We're all worried about you, nurse. You're not still upset about... You know, when I pushed you? Because I was really drunk at the time, and I just fucking... <sighs> snapped. But that was not cool, and I know that. And I'm sorry. It's fine. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Cause I was thinking, you could come over to LA when this is all over. I take you out for a meal and then we go shopping. I know some really amazing places, like you wouldn't believe. There's no such thing as a bad sandwich, really. It don't matter what you put on it. Still make for a hearty meal. But... I'm an old man. I know what I like, and I know what I don't. And nothing beats a good old ham and mustard, if you ask me. Well, I can make you one, if you're hungry. Not now, dear. I'm all right. It's just... good to have you back, you know? That's very sweet of you, George. Thank you, but... I guess we should probably go to the third option here. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. Oh, we can still do more than everyone thinks I'm capable of. The truth is, I don't even need a carer. But Sarah insisted, and I just didn't want to fight her. I wouldn't fight her either. She can kill people with just her eyes. But it's been nice having you around. You never shout at me. You give me sandwiches. And you're, you're good company. I like you, Angie. And helping you when you're sick is the least I can do. I feel like I've not been very helpful the last couple of weeks. That's fine. Well, I can still take care of myself and the farm. And it's not like he's completely without help. <clears throat> well, I can see you've had a good shave and you're wearing clean clothes. Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Still, I should have done more. Don't be silly. When you're sick, you're sick. And there's nothing you can do about it. It won't be long before your regular care is back. God, no. I almost forgot about Stinky Joyce. I didn't realize she had a nickname. Oh, yeah. She smells so weird, I swear. She really does. And I'm not even sensitive to smells or anything. I'm a bloody farmer, for God's sake. I've been around cows all my life. And let me tell you, dear, cows don't smell like daisies. <laughs> That's for sure. But the smell Joyce has on her. It's like, 
Oh, I don't know. That's like chemicals. For some reason, I can't stand it. It really bothers me. I should get back to work. Tell me what needs to be done, George. Oh, well, I would like to ask you a favour, actually. Yeah? What is it? Just uh, come to the living room. And uh, grab that bag of crisps on the way, would you? Okay. Uh, grab a bag of crisps. Is that it? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we got the bottle of beer for. Okay. Uh, let's go to the living room. Actually, let me go ahead and save my game. Nope, won't let me say it's not now. Okay. There you are. Sit down. And pass the crisps. The film's about to start. A film? Yes, an American one. So sit down, put your feet up, make yourself comfy. Uh, oh, there it is. You got a chair for me. I've watched it before, but that's okay. It's one of those movies you can keep watching again and again. Where's Jenny? She's become a basement dweller lately. Whatever her problem is, she don't want to share it with me. And I don't intend to pry. Oh, come on. There's plenty of room. Ah, just get on that bloody door. Well, they'd both fall in the water if he did that. But she could just scooch over or something. I swear, it feels like she just wants him to freeze to death. Are they watching Titanic? Okay, gotta find some painkillers. So I just, I saved the game, I put this cactus on the shelf and it says Karma Negative 1. So I didn't want to do that, so reload the game, no problem. So I guess I'll keep this cactus for now. Yeah, who knows. I'd have to find some medicine somewhere, maybe in the bathroom somewhere. Why would she lock the door? Oh, shit. There's a fire burning in my chest. Not good. I'm assuming there's nothing new here. Um, I don't know why she keeps locking the door. Chemicals. Joyce smell like chemicals. That's a caretaker. I wonder if there's like a meth lab underneath this basement. Or underneath this house. Somewhere. Yeah, nothing new here. Locked, maybe he's resting. Alright, um... Where? Right, downstairs, okay. There's a bathroom downstairs. There's a bathroom sink, so no medicine here either. Never been this sick before. We should call an ambulance. Or maybe I'll drive her to the hospital myself. It'll be faster that way. No, Kieran. No? 
What good will that do? This cancer is killing her. But there's no cure or treatment that'll make her better. If she goes to the hospital, they'll pump her full of morphine. Leave her to die among strangers. What sort of death is that? I don't know, George. I just don't know anything anymore. What would she want? I know what she doesn't want. And that's hospitals. She told me. And as bad as it is to watch her suffer like this, we'll make sure she stays here. With us. Until the end. After all, we're the only friends she's got. you some vegetable soup. I know you're not hungry, but you should eat something. You'll feel better with nice hot soup in your tummy. Okay, so <clears throat> I know I killed her. Uh, hey, do you want a cigarette? Should I really offer her one? Okay, be nice to everybody, no matter of um, if they're bad or good. Hey, do you want a cigarette? I haven't smoked since 1992, and I have no intention of going back to it, thank you very much. Boy, <laughs> made this nice soup for you. Angie? That's all right, darling. We'll try again later, yeah? Okay, so I think that's actually worked out. Because I can tell him, like, F off, soup sucks, <clears throat> and then he'll be getting mad at me. I think we're doing well. It's kind of stopped, sort of. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Hey, Piggy. Awesome, I think I made it. Good job, Angie. Uh, yeah, only one way down. And yet I'm still alive. Let's see, I don't have any weapons. I still got a sandwich though. What is she doing? She's back at it again. Ah, uh, this hammer won't do it. If only you had a. Uh... <laughs> Stop this noise! You'll wake up George. Huh, that old fool can hear a thing. But even if he did... Do I really look like I give a shit? 
Well, you should give a shit. He gave you shelter and food, and he's been nothing but kind to you. I don't want shelter. Or food. Fucking kindness. What do you want, then? Isn't it obvious? I want to open this goddamn fucking door. I thought my head was pounding. But it was you all along. No, uh, listen, sweetheart. Your head is pounding because you're fucking dying. So leave me alone. I'm almost there. Get out of my head, Jim. I can't take it any longer. I didn't ask to be in your head. No, shut up and let me do my thing. Will you? Uh, you don't want to know there's a monster style? Let's try that. You don't want to do this, Jenny. There's a monster inside. No. Why do you think I've been trying to open it? But it will. No, it won't. It's my monster, and it will do as I say. It will destroy you the minute you set it free. Well, there's only one way to find out. This door needs a password to open, and I happen to know it. You're showing me? You've known it all this time, and you've never told me. You never asked. Well, I'm asking now. Tell me. What's the damn password, Angie? Hmm. Interesting. Hello, hello. This is Nighthawk. Over. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Well, don't. I'm not in the mood for this shit. Uh, this camera will do it. Um, let's just try that this again. This do it. If only had a squadron of tanks. Oh, the hammer will do. Just fine. You'll see. This is pathetic, Jenny. You can't open this. And the sooner you realize it, the better for all of us. Oh, what do you know? You're just a grumpy, dying woman that stinks of piss. Okay, last choice. Hey, would you like a cigarette? You know I don't smoke. But didn't you ask me for a cigarette the other night? Yeah, well, I smoke occasionally when I'm drunk or high. But I'm neither now, so... I can get you a drink. Just look at this place. There's booze everywhere. Um, I guess... You carry on hammering on that door. I'll get you a little something to help you relax, yeah? Ah, oh, why not? I never say no to a glass of martini. Martini it is, then. Uh, get Jenny martini. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a second. What is that? A bottle of vodka in his hand, okay? So let's take the bottle of vodka, which makes a martini, right? Brandy? Vermouth? Bottle of gin. Make martini? Okay, so... There are two different martinis, right? There's vodka kind, and there's gin kind, normally. I've never heard of brandy martini. So, they all take vermouth. So, it's basically gonna be vodka... ...and vermouth. Mix. So, that's gonna be vodka martini we're gonna make. No, this isn't it. Let's start again. Really? Okay. So let's do uh, gin, vermouth, and mix it. So that's gonna be gin martini. That's it. Now let's give it a gin. Okay, so she likes gin martinis. She didn't specify which martini she wanted, so... Jenny? Oh, crap. 
Son of a gun. Spider gotta be game. Crazy dreams. Okay, so I'm well alive now, maybe, yeah? Ah, winter time? Seriously. Did I really spend all this time in bed? God, poor George left to his own devices. I really am the worst noise in the world. I should check if he's okay. Oh my goodness, what is he up to? It looks like he's brought his chair up here to be near in case I need something. It's... He's even got a torch in his lap for doing night checks. But it looks like he fell asleep, bless him. Okay. Mm, let's talk to him. No, he should rest. Let's get his torch. We have a torch now. Yeah. I don't know if we always had it. Maybe not. Okay, so what do we need to do? We don't have any objectives. Alright, I don't see anything new. This is the bathroom. Okay, so there's a basement. Um, oh, there's a Christmas tree here. <laughs> okay, that's outside. Uh, let's check the kitchen. There's a cup of tea that's still hot. Or coffee, maybe? Yeah, check the calendar. 19th of December. That is crazy. Look at the cat. Cat is right there on top. Okay, there's nothing here. Where do I need to go? Well, let's think about it. We have a torch, right? What's dark? Basement, so. Let's try that, see if that works. The door is open. Which door? Uh, this pile of clutter is blocking access to the rest of the basement. Okay, so let's talk about this door. Um, examine. Pitch black inside. Call out to Jenny. Jenny? Are you in there? Nothing but silence. Okay. Let's go. Turn on the torch, yes. <laughs> this has got to be meth lab or something. All this stuff, this must be some sort of lab. Can't run. There's a marijuana plant. <gasps> Jesus Christ. You got me. Damn, girl! You should have seen your face! You went all... Ah! And then you did the... Are you done? And anyway, 
What are you lurking in the dark like that for? Well, I finally opened the door, and let me just tell you, that fucker took some serious beating. But then, I couldn't put the lights on. I mean, I found a switch, and I flipped it, but it did fuck all. And then, five minutes later, I saw you come in with your flashlight. Great timing, Angie. As usual. No light, huh? Clearly, there's no power here. Let's see if we can fix that. Lead on then, light bearer. I will be right behind you. Uh, so I need to figure out how to turn the lights on, right? Look! A generator! I oh, shit, something's not right with this generator. Uh, let's see if we can fix it. Fix? Do you know how to fix generators? No. But I think it's all about connecting ignition wires to correct spark plugs. I literally have no idea what any of that means. Just shut up and let me think. It can't be that hard. Um... Ouch! You okay? Dead by daylight? Oh, oh X. I got push you. X. Got it. Hang on. Oh, come on! Where'd I... Where'd I need to press X at? Where that thing is? Okay, I, I got it. Something? Keep going, girl! You're not very good at it, are you? Well, that was really, really close. That's it. Just a little bit more. Finally! Okay, you guys are ready to work in. Everything is on. I'm not sure where she's going. I'm going to take a look at whatever this is. Angie. Pearl, we're in heaven. Garden soil. Let's just take one. They're too heavy. Okay. Maybe never mind. But that's okay with what I do with the garden soil anyway. Got it. What was this again? Garden waste. Chemical sprayer. I don't think I'll need it. Cannabis plants? They've been left without light and water for a long time, so they're not looking too healthy right now. Let's water them. Oh. What the, the hell is this? Fuck are you? Okay. I'm Angie. George's care. It's gotta be the caretaker. Oh, yes. The agency nurse. You guys are the worst. And who's a skinny bitch behind you? It's Jenny Wilde. Angie, what the fuck? The actress? Oh, no, no. Uh, same name. Just a coincidence. <laughs> you are her. I might be crippled, but I'm not blind. Fucking hell. You got any more celebs hiding in there? Mariah Carey? George Clooney? No. Oh, should I check? It's just the two of us. Can we go now? Please? <sighs> Not really, no. Uh, that's not pretty nice. I just want to say I have nothing to do with any of this. I'm guessing you're a George's regular carer, Joyce, is that right? I'm guessing you are George's regular carer? Joyce, is that right? Well, I sure as hell ain't Cinderella, darling. You did such a great job looking after George all these years. He's very fond of you. I doubt it. You're not really the kind of person who'd murder two innocent people in cold blood like this, are you? No, you're right. I'm a cook. I'd rather not have blood on my hands if I can avoid it. So I'll just call the boys. The boys? 
They'll know what to do. Now, get in there, and remember, I don't want to do it, but I'll shoot you if you leave me no choice. Enjoy your stay. You guys are so fucked. Hey, can we at least get high while we wait for the boys? Oh, come on. This totally fucking sucks. Got any bright ideas? Not yet. But in my experience, the best ideas are often the simplest ones. Right, so the boys are coming. Um, it's working now. Great. So now what do we do? Okay. So let's go ahead and take, turn this off. This is the only thing I can do, I believe. Oh, fucking generator. I'm not gonna wait for the boys. I'll fucking deal with it myself. Right, well, that worked out just fantastic. Jenny? Okay, so there's no way for me to turn the generator back on. I have a flashlight, right? Okay, that helps. What happened, Jenny? Crap. Okay, I'm glad to see that works. I'm not scared of them anymore. Great. I think I could climb. Okay, so we can probably need to climb this up. Heck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, let's climb. I hope he's not gonna get us. Oh crap. Um. Omar, you were one hell of a weirdo. Omar was cool, but I kind of liked you. You just couldn't escape your destiny, could you? Pull out the axe. Yuck. Okay, so we got an axe. Um, this is the end. Right, right. Silly me. Oh, uh, there's a cat. Okay. Well, I don't get to give anybody oh, cigarettes yet. You should have run while you could. I really hoped you wouldn't see the end of Burnhouse Lane. This last house. This smoldering fortress of 
death itself. It will be your grave. You're hurt. What happened to you? I tried to catch a little spider. To leave him as a present on your doorstep. But he was quick. He stunned me. Poisoned me. And now I'm dying. Sorry. I really hoped I could spare you that one last fight. You've been a good friend. Thank you. All of this would have been a lot harder without you. I couldn't really save you from the horrors of Burnhouse Lane. But I think I gave you a good enough reason to go on, didn't I? You did make me do some crazy shit, if that's what you mean. And here you are, standing tall, ready for your final fight. Why would you do all that for me? Does every act of kindness need a reason? I simply chose you, Angie, to love and protect. But why? There's nothing special about me. I'm not that brave or kind. I don't have a great sense of humor, the looks, or the wits. I'm not even a very good nurse. Feeding poor George sandwiches every day and hardly caring for him at all. Don't you think there's someone more worthy out there waiting for an opportunity like this? I've never been a perfect cat either. Fussing over food, sharpening my claws on things I shouldn't be touching. But none of that matters, Angie. It's something you people often forget about. True love is unconditional. And if I could, I'd take that magic cigarette out of your pocket and smoke it myself. But alas, cats can't smoke. Is there anything I can do? For me, no. But you can still save yourself. You went through hell to complete your tasks. You earned your prize. You found the box and the cigarette. So, use it. Don't let it go to waste. Keep on living. Isn't that what you wanted? Uh, I don't think I can do this. I'm just waiting for the red woman. It feels wrong to sacrifice someone else to save mine. It feels wrong to sacrifice someone's life to save mine. Give it to someone evil. What right do I have to make such judgments? Then maybe someone old who's already at death's door. You cats really don't get us sometimes, do you? I'm going to kill that spider for you. I promise. You are? But I thought you were scared of spiders. After all the things I've been through, I'm not scared of anything anymore. Goodbye, cat. I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we got an axe, we have a gun. Um, my best friend Cat just, just died. That is unfortunate. Well, let's go have to save the game and let's keep going. Take ammo, okay. Glad it looked. Uh, let's go ahead and. Okay, now I'm assuming that's a fight. Oh boy, okay. Crap, 
Okay, so I feel like I can only shoot him when his head is up. That's what it looked like. Ouch. Thing is, there's like, um... It just knocks him down. What is wanting to do? There we go. Aha. There we go. Okay, now how do we finish this? Um... <laughs> so that's already open. Fine, uh, so I probably don't want to jump down here. What I need to do... Jump down this way? Wait, I promised to kill that spider though. Am I still gonna going to be able to kill him? I hear party music somewhere, but where? Oh my god. This black liquid is pouring from the pipe above. It smells like gasoline. The question is, can I still kill that spider? Uh, I think he's on this floor somewhere, right? Or he was. Yeah, okay, so I got my gun back. What is this? There's a dirty torn up jumper inside the surface. It reminds me of one of the... okay. Let's take it. What the heck? It used to wrap around the X. Yes. Makeshift torch. Okay, so we got the... No, I got an idea. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Oh, shoot. Even the spider is frightened of me now. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, buddy. But it's like he, he still doesn't have life. Like, I don't see his life bar. So I don't think I'm really doing him any damage as of right now. He's got to have sound weakness. Yeah, this is not doing anything. Okay, so... I think I know what I get to do. We need to light that on fire somehow. Yeah, dip your axe in it. I should probably. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get you to do. Yeah, are you kidding me? That's it. Okay. So now it's situation. Don't well. Um, this guy's on fire, so let's try to hit him. Bastard. This way. Mm. 
There we go. I can feel the flames burning as deep as my heart. Okay. Let's try the spider now. Oh my god. Oh god. Um, was I supposed to do that? I don't know, maybe spider is already burning. Maybe that's what I need to do. Now is the last chance to save your progress before the finale. There will be no more save points after leaving the burnt house. Okay. Okay, so there's one step I want to do before I kill the spider. You want that music and that wall? right there oh, there we go it's not really much of a party oh hey I know you you're alive and so are you I was worried you'd ended up with spider food I guess the spider didn't really fancy me or maybe he was waiting for the main course. Me. But that's not happening either. See this? Yeah, a fire axe. I like it. How did you end up here? I... I was holding the door. But it wasn't long before it gave in and the damn spider fell on me like a ton of bricks. He grabbed me. Pull my clothes up and stung me with his fucking ass stinger. And then I woke up here. Oh. See, I found this piece of fabric. I torn out part of your jumper. I assumed it was... all that was left of you. Nah, I mean... I look like a homeless person. Or a zombie. And I'm sure I don't smell very nice right now, but... Yeah. I'm still standing. You can go. You're free. Free? What does it even mean? Well, this is the end of Burnhouse Lane, and with the lane ends the suffering. But who knows? Maybe your next great adventure is just around the corner. Yeah? You really think there's something else out there? There's always something out there. Your story has only just begun. How's your head? Still hurting? No. I just feel so... empty. I'm not even angry anymore. I guess I've accepted it all. Let's go. It's time to kill some spiders. Yeah, I want to see you kill that thing, if that's the last thing I do. But wait, before we go, in case we get split up again, I want you to take this. Oh, I remember this. It's Walter Green's mask. Quite disgusting, really. Why would you give it to me? Take it back to your world. It doesn't belong here. No? Okay, if you say so. Thanks, I guess. Okay, so we got the mask allegedly killer Walter Green, uh, although it was a woman. Um, so let's go kill the spider now. Uh, I guess I should probably save my game once more. Just because I got this mask now, 
And I think it's crucial for a good ending. I'm assuming it is. Because I could have missed this really easy. She come in or what? Now he's afraid of me. All right. See, I was thinking that that pipe downstairs would already killed him. Somehow it went up, but I guess it doesn't. You're dead meat, my friend. my biggest fears and I've conquered them all. What else is there to be afraid of? I'm ready. Right, so we're back in this room. We're back in this basement, right? Uh, garden soil, we cannot take it any longer. Even if we wanted to. What is this? Some kind of tool. Yeah, so finale is here. We cannot save any longer. Hey, look who's up. You gotta try this shit, Angie. Um, what? This stuff is amazing. No wonder that pervy old vicar wanted it so badly. What's going on? Are we all friends now? Oh, right. You were unconscious, I think, when Joyce fell down the stairs. You'd never guess what happened. It turned out the door to our cell was super shit. I gave it a kick and bang, it just opened. I helped Joyce up, we talked, and then we just, how do you guys say it? Um, we got on like a house on fire. <laughs> Does that mean we're free to go? It's not my call, the boys will decide. But to be honest, I really don't like the look of you, Missy. You'll call the cops first chance you get, won't you? No, I won't. Ask Jenny, she knows I can be trusted. Yeah? What do you reckon, Jenny? Is Nurse Angie a blabbermouth? I think, um... I don't want to say it, but... Yeah. She'll tell everyone. Oh, biatch. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Nurse Angie is as fun as a dry mop. Right, boys. I see we have rats in the lab. The blonde one's cool. She's not gonna. A rat is a rat. So let me deal with this, yeah? Yeah, sure. You. You like our product? I. I can see it all over your face. Was it good? You enjoy it? Y yes sir. Course you did! It's the best! But it's expensive stuff. Very expensive. Especially when dirty fucking rats stick their dirty fucking noses into it. You know what I mean? Here's what we'll do. We'll keep the blonde, for now. 
She kind of reminds me of someone. I want to try something on her. Oh, come on, mate. You promised you wouldn't do any of that. Let's get rid of the grumpy face first. You there, behind. Come forward. Take her to the garden, Johnny. Really? What is your problem now? It's freezing out there. Can't we just do it here and be done with it? Johnny. We do it here. We're gonna have blood all over the equipment. And we don't need that shit right now, do we? Come on, off you go. Let's get this done before the old man wakes up. Fine. Put your hands up so I can see them. Good. No go. Move it. Yeah, this is not looking too well. Um, I'm sure somehow I'm gonna get out of it. Go on. You know where the garden is. Um, Don't try running, yeah? Where's my gun? I <laughs> took my gun away. Uh, hit it with a cactus, maybe? How about we put this on? No. Holy crap! I told you not to run. Oh. Okay. Alright, no running. That's enough. You can stop. Don't turn around. And no funny business. So, um... Do you have any last wishes or something? I like... I'd like to have one last cigarette. Or just do it. Just do it. Don't move. Or I'll shoot. Now drop the gun and put your hands up. Good boy. Angie? Knock Johnny out or just pick up his gun? I guess knock him out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, George. That's all right, my dear. There's two more. And they've got Jenny. Oh, I'll give them a good beating with my stag. Just you wait. No, I'll do it. You should hide somewhere and wait until it's safe. Hide like a coward when there's bandits robbing my bloody house? That's not right. I'll deal with them. Trust me. I've got this. Angie, they're, they're horrible, scary people. I've met worse. Alright, so now I got the gun. Um, should I go tell... Uh, what's his name? Kieran? Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay. I'd rather not shoot a gun in George's house, but let's see how it goes. Maybe I won't need to use that at all. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens. Should I try to... Arno? What's going on? Why are you... dressed like this? Ah, I think you'll need this. Give mask. I think you'll need this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a bad man inside this door. He needs to be dealt with. If we don't do anything, he'll hurt some people. He might even kill us. But you can save us, Walter. You can save us all. 
What do you say? Oh, okay, so now I'm controlling him. Got it. Okay, what the, how do I... Okay, got it. Easy enough. My goodness. An actress, eh? You care about your looks, don't you? I'll bet you do. Well, how about we take them away? A bit of uh, sulfuric acid should do the job. What do you reckon, Joyce? I'm gonna turn her into a fucking zombie. Mate, that's a bit much. I did not sign up for this kind of shit. You caused this shit! You've been careless and left the lab open for everyone to see. Yes, but I said, come on. That's really fucked up, isn't it? Can't we just give her a slap and let her go? She won't tell. It would ruin her if she did. What? Who the fuck is that? Come any closer, and I'll fucking shoot you! Okay. Back off! I'm still going. How many balls you got? Oh, that's crazy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Fucking hell! What is what going the on? Bloody hell, what's this all about? Hey there, fuck bitch. Thank you, Kieran. So, uh... it looks like your big rifle has saved our butts once again. After all you've done for me and George. I couldn't just leave you, could I? So, I don't know if that Arnie guy was supposed to die or not. What about her? Hey, I'm not on their side. Not anymore. To be honest, if you lot didn't show up, I'd whack him right in his ugly bald skull myself. I was literally just about to do it. You would say that now, wouldn't you? <sighs> Give her a break. She really was trying to stop him. I clearly remember her aiming with the gun at us not so long ago. But fine. Have it your way, Jenny. Uh, the bald fella's still alive. And I think he's trying to see something. After a shot like this? What a beast. Let me talk to him. You fucking kill me! No, you're still alive, but you're bleeding out fast. Listen, I'm a nurse. Let me look at your wound. Maybe we can still save you. Is that all you can say? Uh, just let me fucking die. Okay. Um, uh, interesting. Should I go ahead and offer them a special secret or should I not? That is really interesting. Okay, so we can really redo this, right? I have the save file, so let's just do this first. How about a cigarette? You smoke? Yeah. Do you want it? Yes. Please.
Angie, you okay? You luck. I'm fine, Jenny. I'm really good, actually. Right, okay. But look at him. He's dead, isn't he? Oh, this is all fucked up. He killed poor Arno, and, and he kicked you, remember? I'd say he had it coming. But what do we do now? Let's lock this place up and forget it ever existed. Oh, I'm sure that would be very convenient for you. Look, I, I know it was wrong to work for these guys, but I'm done with it. No more drugs. I swear, I'll start a new life. That's all I want. A new life? Yes, you're right. I only wish Arno could have had a new life too. Wait, where is he? He was right there, and he just vanished. The freak in the costume? But didn't he get shot like 20 times? I guess 20 times wasn't enough for him. He's gone. I don't think we'll ever see him again. But... what's all this crap? What was he doing in here? He was trying to bring somebody back from the dead. It's best we never find out. He was cha changing into someone he always wanted to be. Mm. He was... changing into someone he'd always wanted to be. Well, that's one way to put it. Personally, <laughs> I'd say he lost his goddamn mind. He kept avoiding us the last few weeks. God, I should have known something was up with him. Yeah, I saw him eat a raw chicken the other day. See? He was a psycho, and you know it. Psycho or not, in the end, he saved us all. I'll be honest, I don't know him and I don't care. I don't understand half of what's going on here, but I want to make one thing clear. What happened tonight stays between us, okay? We don't talk about it, we don't think about it. No one will ever find out about the lab and the boys if we keep our mouths shut, so... Make sure they stay shut, yeah? Oh, definitely. Tomorrow, I'm going back to LA, and I don't, <laughs> ever, intend to return. This place fucking sucks. Angie? Yeah, sure. I'll tell George that those guys were just a couple of burglars and that Kieran had chased them away. But now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like to go for a walk. that Ernie or yeah Ernie right that's the same I think he's probably still alive somewhere because he disappeared oh hey there's another safe point interesting no oh yeah I'm not smoking anymore not this time okay Thanks for everything, Arno. Arno, that's his name, right? Arno. Good luck helping you life. Press A to quit. Ah, oh, that's a cigarette pack, right?
In the following days, Angie fully recovered. Soon her cancer started to feel like a long gun dream. Quitting cigarettes took some time. She stumbled and fell a few times, but she did and man man managed it in the end. To this day, she says it was the hardest thing she'd ever done. Kieran, I eventually found his other half. He met Teresa at a fair and they fell in love. She was a step dancer from New Cray and, like him, a man gun enthusiast. They had a small summer wedding and to this day live together on the farm. Jenny returned to LA just before Christmas. She dove straight back into her old life and forgot all about Angie and the fam farm. In the years that followed, she married and divorced twice and star starred in three great movies. I oh, started in three great movies and five terrible ones. She got clean from drugs for a while, but never managed to shake off her addiction for good. It followed her for years like an evil spirit growing in strength, bringing her closer and closer to destruction. Until she finally overdosed. The tabloids wrote about her death and it became the hottest topic in the world. For a week. Then everyone moved on. When asked if she'd stay at George's permanent career, career, Angie didn't hesitate for a second. After all, she had no desire to return to her empty apartment in the city. All it did was remind her of her past. And here on the farm, she felt needed. And she felt loved. In time, Angie will find new friends and travel places. But right now, she's pre perfectly happy watching old movies, taking long walks and making tea for quiet nights in with her friend George. It still surprises her that she feels joy with every breath she takes. She knows she's been given a second chance for a good life. And she will not waste it. Subside, will you get no peace at all? Ha! 
how when you sleep when your spirit runs dry and you can't tell what's real from what's in your mind you say you're a fighter till the day you die but you'll get no peace at all Sit alone in my old brown house, and I'll feel like I'm fighting on the old brown couch. And I'll watch you fall on the old brown box, and I'll get no peace at all. Okay, so let's try to get a different ending now. So let's not offer him that special cigarette, even though he's died. So I think that was the best ending I just got right prior to this one. So, alright then, bye bye. Alright then, bye bye. Oh, this is all fucked up. He killed poor Arno, and, and he kicked you, remember? I'd say he had it coming. But what do we do now? Let's lock this place up and forget it ever existed. Oh, I'm sure that would be very convenient for you. Look, I... I know it was wrong to work for these guys, but I'm done with it. No more drugs. I swear, I'll start a new life. That's all I want. A new life? Wouldn't we all want that? Agreed. No ill feelings, no regrets. We'll simply never talk about any of this to anyone. Totally. I want to leave it all behind me as soon as possible. Oh, I keep wondering, you know, why the hell do all those assholes always pick on me? I'm so fucking sick of it. Clearly the universe is trying to tell you something. Yeah, stop taking drugs with strangers. Fuck, universe. Doesn't know what it's like to be me. And what's so hard about being you? Is the bed made of diamonds a bit too hard for your back? Fuck off, Angie. Just... Fuck off. I've gotta be honest. I'm really not gonna miss you when I leave this place. Hmm. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No need. I don't think I'll miss you either. Ginny, how about a cigarette before you say goodbye? Can I offer you a cigarette, Joyce? Okay, so it looks like we got three more endings. Um, so let's go ahead with Ginny first, and we'll do Joyce, and then I'm gonna smoke the cigarette myself. I wish they let me save right before this, but they don't, so that's okay. I don't mind replaying. Jenny, how about a cigarette before we say goodbye? <sighs> but why? You hate my guts, and I've just told you to fuck off. I've offered you a cigarette, Jenny, not one of my kidneys. Besides, you're leaving soon, and I don't want us to part as enemies. I only smoke when I'm drunk. You know that. Uh, 
You're right, forget then after a night like this, one little cigarette won't kill you. After a night like this, one little cigarette won't kill you. Oh, give her a break. She could barely walk a minute ago. Jenny, didn't you have a broken rib or something? It's better now. And? Angie's right. It has been a crazy night. No doubt about it. Ugh. Yeah, I guess I'll have one. Let's go outside then. Do we have to? It's freezing out there. Especially you with your nasty cough. Should stay away from the cold. I'll be fine. And my cough? Well... I have a feeling it should clear up soon. Oh, look at all these cuties. Lined up like little soldiers. Got a light? Ginny Wilde left the farm the very next day. Soon after, Ginny's symptoms gradually subsided and she started to feel better. Oh, Angie's symptoms, yeah. But her cancer wasn't gone, it simply moved into Ginny and it waited on Ginny's cons conscience more than she thought it would. In the weeks that followed, she hardly smiled or spoke with anyone. On 16th of March, she said her goodbyes to George and the farm and returned home. It felt cold and empty even more than before. She couldn't stay here, there, not after everything that hap happened, so she packed her suitcase and booked a flight. She arrived in Japan on Monday. It started to rain as soon as she got off the plane and it rained almost every day during her first her two weeks there. She traveled from place to place, first Tokyo, then small towns and villages. But all she could think about was the burnt cat, Ginny and the farm. And then one day she realized something. It was James' dream to see Japan, not hers. She was only doing it because she thought her husband would, would have wanted it. But in her heart, all alone, she wished she was back at the farm. She picked up her phone and called George's daughter to ask if she can get her job back and if not, it was okay to just visit for a day or two. There was a fire, she was told. It started from the basement. The house lit up like a torch and George didn't make it out in time. Shared remains of his body were laid to rest next to his wife in St. Michael churchyard near the town of Huntington. This is awful ending. With an aching heart, she stood at George's grave and wondered if she was to blame for this tragedy. It was most likely the faulty electrical installation that caused the fire, but what if it was the bold thug they left locked up in the lab that did it? She never know for sure. When Ginny returned home to LA, she tried to dive straight back into her old life and forget about old George, Angie and the farm. But not even a week had passed before she started to feel sick and it was unlike anything she ever experienced. Soon she got diagnosed with lung cancer. It seemed to be progressing extremely fast and while she was offered several experimental treatments, she knew that nothing could be done to stop it. 
and just cancer like a vicious monster got its hooks deep inside Ginny and it wouldn't let go until she was dead. But Ginny wouldn't allow it to get that far. She refused to go down Burnhouse Lane like Angie did. She took her own life with a heroin overdose. On the 6th of May, alone in her bedroom, the tabloids wrote about her death and it became the hottest topic in the world for a week. Then everyone moved on. Yeah, that's a burnt house for sure. This was awful ending. What? All right, Joyce, you turn. Can I have a cigarette, Joyce? Oh no. Keep those death sticks away from me, thank you very much. I don't smoke. Really? I used to. But I quit years ago and there's no way I'll ever pick up this dirty habit ever again. But... But you take drugs. Oh, I've got that shit under control. I can stop when I want to. Oh, I see. So there's no way I can do the Joyce. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it ourselves now. Never mind. I'm going outside for a smoke. Put your coat on. It's cold tonight. And you have this cough. That's because I'm. Oh, doesn't matter. See you later. Hey, Mr. Fox, look at this guy. Welcome back, my friend. Well, if I go, I go peacefully, so... Um, thanks, Fox.
Well, at least this way George is alive. Angie Weather died on Sunday, 22nd of February. She was buried in St. Michael's Churchyard in Huntington, not far from the farm where she spent the last weeks of her life. George visits her often to this day. Despite his age, he feels well and remembers her. A few months later, Kieran's life took a while to turn for the better. He met Tress Tressa at a fair and they fell in love. She was a step dancer from New Quay like and like him, a mad gun enthusiast. They had a small summer wedding and to this day live together on a farm. Jenny returned to LA just before Christmas. She dove straight back to her own life and forgot all about the Angie and the farm. In the years that followed, she married and divorced twice and starred in three great movies and ter five terrible ones. She got clean from drugs for a while but never managed to shake off her addiction for good. It followed her for years like an evil spirit, growing in strength, bringing her closer and closer to destruction until she finally overdosed. The tabloids wrote about her death and it became the hottest topic in the world. For a week, then everyone moved on. George often wishes things turned out differently. He's certain something could have been done for to prevent this. Sometimes he wakes up at night thinking he knows what it is, but those thoughts vanish as quickly as they come. Deep down, he knows it was Angie's battle to fight, not his. He's glad that in the end she had accepted her fate and welcomed it without fear. But he misses her all the time. Okay, so what if we don't give the mask to Arna? That's be the same thing as not saving him earlier, right? So let's try that. So, you are Walter Green now. The rituals didn't work. All that black magic bullshit did fuck all, as you'd imagine. But you found another way to bring Walter back. And here you are. You can't talk anymore, can you? It's okay. I get it. This isn't right. You shouldn't throw your life away like this. You're not Walter. Or Sheila Green. You're Arno. A perfectly nice guy. I wish I could change your mind, but... It's your choice. I'm not gonna stop you. Will you come with me? Arna keeps staring at me as he tries to tell me something. Could it be Sheila's green mask that he wants? No. It better not, with the mask he could turn into a real serial killer. And what would we do then? Okay, so... I guess I'll just go. Do I get my gun? Okay. You care about your looks, don't you? I bet you do. Well, how about we take them away? A bit of uh, sulfuric acid should do the job. What do you reckon, Joyce? I'm gonna turn her into a fucking zombie. Mate, that's a bit much. I did not sign up for this kind of shit. You caused this shit! You've been careless and left the lab open 
for everyone to see. Yes, but I said, come on. That's really fucked up, isn't it? Can't we just give her a slap and let her go? She won't tell. It would ruin her if she did. You're pissing me off, Joyce. You really are. You think you have a say in this, because you know how to cook this shit. Well, you're wrong. It won't take me long to train someone else. So fuck off upstairs if you really don't want to look. I'd prefer that, to be fair. Your ugly mouth puts me off every time I catch sight of it. Don't leave me, Joyce. You won't. Oh, will you just shut the. Oh, should you whack him? Okay, cool. Arsehole. Nice jump. You're alive? Yeah, sort of. Where's Johnny? Johnny's. Well, he's incapacitated. Sleeping in the garden, but it won't last long. Oh, he'll run away when he wakes up, the little coward that he is. I don't think we'll ever see him again. Why did you help us? Let's just say, I've had a change of heart. Can you walk, Jenny? I, uh... I think he broke my ribs with that kick. We'll give you a hand. Grab her, nurse, and do it fast. Let's get the fuck out of here before this bald fucker wakes up. Come on, let's go! Okay, so, uh, I still got my gun, right? Um, maybe I don't really need it. I don't know why you wouldn't... I had to pick that up. Oh, there he is. Somebody's gonna die. <sighs> Shut that door, nurse. Let's trap the bastard in there. Fuck it! He can rot to death in that lab for all I care. Um. What about. Yeah, this thing? Okay, makes sense. We did it. We're safe now, aren't we? I'd say so. I know this lab like the back of my hand. There is no other way out. He can survive in there for a while, but in the end, he'll just starve to death. So, we basically murdered him. Great. Oh well, I'm not gonna miss him. Are you? Speaking of murder, I could really murder a nice cup of tea right now. Hmm. Yeah, so I bet- so agreed. No ill feelings, no regrets. We'll simply never talk about any of this to anyone. Totally. I want to leave it all behind me as soon as possible. Oh, I keep wondering, you know, why the hell do all those assholes always pick on me? I'm so fucking sick of it. Clearly the universe is trying to tell you something. Yeah, stop taking drugs with strangers. Well, fuck universe doesn't know what it's like to be me 
And what's so hard about being you? Is the bed made of diamonds a bit too hard for your back? Fuck off, Angie. Just... Fuck off. I've gotta be honest. I'm really not gonna miss you when I leave this place. Hmm. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No need. I don't think I'll miss you either. Okay, so basically this is it, right? It will be what if we just went through all those endings. So, hey, I think I got the best ending the first time and I'm sure there were a couple other endings maybe? I, I don't know. Because one of them same RNA. Maybe maybe there maybe there isn't. Or there aren't any more endings. Maybe that's what it is in this game. 